Welcome everyone to episode 12 of this mobcast. We've got Kledge here. This is the third not at uh, the second not one of the two of us persons. Yeah, because Rio doesn't count. Yeah. But say wow. hello. <laughs> He's on stream right now. He can probably hear okay, Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well he should yeah. focus on streaming, because that's that's uh yeah. I go focus on streaming, Rio. But uh but yeah, uh, for those who don't know, uh, introduce yourself, because like, uh, like I'm sure there are some people in our audiences that don't know who the hell you are. Sure. Uh, hi everybody, I'm uh, I'm Klidge, Klidge Radio. You can find me at Klidge or Klidge Radio. Uh, yeah, Stinky Goat Man Pog, there you go. That's pretty much all you really need to know. Yeah. Uh, I do mostly... Uh, history stuff i have bad opinions on fgo gameplay but primarily Ooh. uh um primarily primarily uh like actual behind character lore stuff yeah uh god is there any, is there really anything else <laughs> it's uh, hard, hard I, to think it's well, mostly that and i i stream i'm i do vtubing stuff mostly yeah, yeah he's a vtuber and, but right now he's a png tuber because i made him one yeah yeah. Downgrade. Uh, I don't know. This came out great. This thing is adorable. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a lot cheaper, too. Yeah, right? Oh, well, yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, <laughs> so I wrote out a bunch of questions that uh, a lot of which are kind of generic. Uh, I'm hoping that Plushy did, too, but I'm not banking on it. Look. I... <laughs> look. I perform better <laughs> when I wing it. Uh, <laughs> Well, you see, you see, that's that's the mindset that fucked me up in college because I was like, ah, I don't need to take notes. I perform well without notes, and then I got it's like C's and B's for the look. first time in my life. Yeah. No, but like when 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 you get C's and B's on a podcast, you get clipped. That's for yeah. true. Yeah, that's free advertising. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, I I was so proud to see someone casually tweeting about. Our podcast like this morning but the, uh, the jurassic park one yeah, yeah i'm really glad i saw that on my timeline thank you very much and then yeah, somebody dude. underneath that twitter post like posted a manga i've not seen in ages of the t-rex girl and that oh made me my really god happy. yeah dude i that saw that is, too mm. i that that unlocked some some weird memories man like i yeah. used to <laughs> no, i used to be a real thing i yeah. kind of want to read that yeah, it's um, of course you do. <laughs> um, it's pretty tight. Yeah, that yeah. that reminds me of uh of those those beginning weeb days because uh, I'm a bit of a late bloomer. Uh, I I only got into anime when I was like in college, so like four year four or five years ago. Uh, but at the time, I was in like the these these very strange Facebook groups, and. Uh, and they they liked sharing around like that's a lot of the like a lot of fate shit. They liked sharing out of context Dojin stuff, so that's the reason I'm familiar with fucking anything Dojin. That's a Dojin. No, nope. no, that's a whole manga. No, nah. no, nah, oh, that's that's a completely a, different thing. What a disappointment! Thing. It's just like I didn't... yeah, Facebook hell groups. Ugh. Oh, Ugh. fate they fans could be on worse, Facebook. Dude. When I was back, so I was into anime originally, like, when I was a kid, like, I was Naruto, Durarara, Toonami, all that good stuff. Yeah. And then I kind of fell out of it in high school, and then back in college, unironically, Monster Masume is what, like, wrote me back oh my in. God. And then the thing that I did all of my, like, my first foray into content creating was on iFunny, as an anime oh, iFunny no. creator. <laughs> Oh, bro. So don't worry. Facebook is one thing, but here's the curse knowledge there. Bro, I I, I hate to say it. Uh, actually, I think I said it last week, but Monster Masuma is kind of what got me into anime, too. Uh, so Your the first... Drug. Yeah, the first gateway drug, because there were multiple <laughs> gateway drugs. Uh, the first one was JoJo, because JoJo was crazy and it was a lot of fun. Uh... <laughs> Jojo's I, not an anime. I made the bad decision of watching, you know, that one episode of, uh, in part three. Like, actually, I don't know if you guys even know, uh, if, if you guys even watch Jojo. Do you watch Jojo? I do. Of course I watch Jojo. Oh, okay. Which one? 
Is this so, a Steely Dan episode? Uh, that's Steely like Dan. The, that's like no. the one everyone knows. Uh, no, it was the it was the one with uh, the magnet chick. You know, it, it's some oh, it's some very oh. strange <laughs> things to yeah. look at. I made the yeah, mistake okay, of watching yeah. that in the middle of my college cafeteria, where people could just walk by and see that shit if they wanted to. Oh hell yeah! Now, yeah. Fortunately, I mean, no one look, no one said so anything. Joke. But people know that. <laughs> Wh which scene is it? I is it the one where her breasts expand, or is it the one where Avdol is boning Joseph? Uh, I mean, like, I watched the whole episode there, so, like, it oh. could have been any of them. <laughs> but, you know, you know, I did that, uh, I did that, you know, the textbook thing that, uh, that, that school kids do when they're trying to hide their phone. They, like, you know, they, like, sort of lean forward on their arm like that. They've got their yeah, arm yeah, wrapped yeah. around it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. pretending yeah. you're sleeping on the yeah. desk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Something like that. The most obvious possible. Yeah. 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 Is JoJo a gateway drug to be weeb or be gay? Yes. I'm pretty sure the gay part is bigger, actually. <laughs> part I don't know. five. I mean, it didn't work on me, so. <laughs> Watching hardcore porn would have been less sus. I mean, it's JoJo. Like, come on. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I never really got into JoJo, unfortunately. I don't know. Uh, the, I, ne I don't know, yeah, I would be a generic, generic hater and say I just never like the art style. I yeah. mean, it, it's, it's the same thing, yeah, like, I, I can't watch One Piece because of the- Okay, don't kill me, I'm sorry. No, I, I, no, I totally understand. No, there's a lot of reasons <laughs> yeah. to not watch One Piece, dude. I mean, I mean, for me, I, I've never gotten into it, so I don't know other reasons, but like, for me, it's mainly the art style as well, so I, 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 I get that. That's totally understand. The only reason I'm watching One Piece right now is to have a buddy of mine who's going through all of it, and she's been going through all of it for uh, like the last four or five months, and uh, it's good. Uh, I can say definitively, definitively from what I've seen, it's actually really good. It's really fun, but the art style is so ass at times. Yeah, it's like, I don't... They'll make a character who's like really, really important. Like, okay, this is a character named Ivan. I'm not going to say what Ivan does, but there's this character named Ivan. Is he He's terrible? this really... Well, we'll get into that. <laughs> He's, like, this really important character, like a cultural touchstone for a lot of people, and they made him the most disgusting-looking design possible. He's essentially, like, uh, a head with arms and fishnets. And, like, a blue afro, and I can't, I can't stand the way that he looks. Oh, but everything Jesus. else about him is amazing, but every his design is so ass. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Did you look him up? Dude's a fucking monstrosity. Ugh. What like, are they I love doing? Everything ab I love everything about him except how he looks. Which I'm sure that's oh, controversial my. to oh. somebody, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid to pull this on stream. I, this wh is... Why, is this, why is this proportion like this? I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I should pull it on the stream just for just so why, 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 why is he like a chibi person? He's, he's not like a no. I I mean not like One Piece characters have normal proportions, but like yeah, he's, I, he's, I, he's like like you can literally only cast Peter Tinklish to play him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro. I, I yeah I don't I don't I don't know what the deal is with that. It's One Piece has some amazing designs and some of the worst designs I've seen in anime, and they'll put them next to each other, and you're just like, this can't be from the same show. It's amazing. <laughs> Yikes! It's fascinating to a degree, really. I guess it's uh, it's not something you'll ever forget. Uh, that that's what it achieves, maybe. Well, it's I never like, forget very it. Very iconic. <laughs> We have this thing, it's like a curse, where anytime I watch One Piece with her, that character shows up, they'll go full arcs without that character showing up, and then I'll go in, I'll be watching in the Discord oh with God. them, and then the, for one episode, he'll show up. Say Is this something some kind of leave. like, some kind of like creepy pasta where you get cursed by an anime character, he just oh like God. shows up in your dream? <laughs> I oh, hope geez. not. Have you if seen I wake up tomorrow... And that guy is standing over my fucking futon. I'm gonna shit my pants. Okay, 
<laughs> Finally ready. This is what he looks like. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, That's... literally everything Ugh. about him except for the way he looks is actually amazing. Like, his personality's I mean... awesome. He's, like, a really, really important character to a lot of people. And he looks like this. Yeah, I'll for that, I have to take your word for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. It's, uh... I'll ask my brother there, about like him. Why is there like a gender uh, bent version? Of him? Oh yeah, it's spoiler yeah, that... reasons. Oh uh, yeah, I, I okay. saw I saw a character there. All right, that's uh, that's very interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna question it. Yet. Yeah, I, I don't want to go into too many details because I know people Spoilers do like maybe. One Piece and don't want to get spoiled for it. But yeah, there there, yeah. there is stuff to do with that. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. My brother, uh, All my right. brother. Apparently, he stopped watching it a while ago, and he never told me, uh, despite the fact that I talked to him about it occasionally. But his wife is an avid watcher of One Piece, and he won't. Oh. He, he bought, he bought her like a huge fucking collection of uh, of like physical manga of it. And, like, damn, uh, I I cannot, I cannot uh, relate to being that obsessed with it, but like, yeah. Damn. I also just realized, yeah, I'm the one to criticize his design when my PNG tube character looks like that. It's like I kind of look like his, his like little <laughs> you know sister. What? Yeah, like what? You the know, fuck? I, I, <laughs> I, um, I, I completely forgot that you're still wearing your costume for yeah, Halloween. I, what? Why <laughs> still a clown? Hey, happy Halloween. Yeah, why? Why are you? <laughs> You're just still a clown for I, no I, reason. I, I, I kind of, I kind of look like his little sister, you know. Like, <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The ir the irony. Yeah, yeah I, I have yeah. no control over your fashion choices, sir. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's let's walk into some of these questions because I got like ten of them ready. Um, oh boy. So, what got you into Fco, and when did you start? I guess that's two uh, questions, but it's one. Sure. Uh, so back in 2017, 2018, one of those two, I had a buddy of mine who, uh, um, somebody's going to crucify me for saying this, actually, now that I think about it. I had a buddy of mine who was really into Fate, uh, and I had, you know, I've been doing i funny content creation at the time because i was a loser and i Jeez. uh found an image of i think it was our it was right when camelot dropped is when i started the first anniversary oh because my first ssr was da vinci uh oh wait so was that on, so was that on jp or on na on na ah okay i only recently got into jp yeah uh, gotcha yeah, and so I, I went to him with this image of um, Artoria Lancer, and I asked him, uh, which, what, I asked him, what saber is this? I had no concept of what anything fate-related was, so I thought they were all just saber. And I asked him, what saber is this? And then he kind of just, like, looked at me like I had ten heads, and then sat down and explained the concept of fate to me, and I was like, yeah, all right. And I just... <laughs> It sounds interesting, and then I downloaded it, and then I was like, yeah, this is okay. Matt, this shield girl's kind of cute, and then just kind of stuck with no. it from there. But ever since, just like, I always think about that. I want to say it was, I think I still have the comic for it. It was, it's the one where Mordred runs into, uh, is like teasing a bunch of Artorias, and then runs into the one with the big tits, and then she starts, oh. like, she does the animation where she starts disappearing. <laughs> And I know exactly which one you're talking yeah. about. It's like Lancer, a Lancer altar. Like yeah. I mean, she always makes Lancer altar the best. Kind of. Yeah. And I was just like, "What saber is this?" Because he just he was just like so flabbergasted by the concept that I even asked that. And now I, I think mean, that he's no the longer right question to ask though. I mean, yeah, I guess that was on the money that on is, that on accident. Yeah, like which saber is that exactly? Uh, uh, like, all I knew was Saber. I kind of knew Ren. I think I'd seen the Stay Night Dean anime and thought it was dog shit and never got into it. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Which that, 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 that was actually the first Fate anime I watched. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> I honestly didn't feel like it was that bad, but I didn't have very high standards back then, so it's not really that big of a shock. But, yeah, a uh, fucking big CGI sex dragon that ate his arm. <laughs> Love that shit. Hey, damn. And Medusa in the Dean anime goes hard. Yeah. Medusa goes hard in general, but yeah. I mean, yeah. she got pretty screwed over in UVW, right? Yeah. She didn't really do shit. Yeah. 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 Be that way. No, I don't know. Yeah. People <laughs> people don't like my opinions on the uh on the Stay Night franchise <laughs> at all. Why? I don't like Why, it. it. I mean it the I think people put a lot of stuff on pedestals because they are the first ever, which I mean fair enough, right? But Sure, sure. Like 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 the, the like there's there's a reason why you know like people improve right like I, I i think i think it's just there are certainly flaws in stay night but i also hesitate to say anything about it because fate fans yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. fate fans made a whole day for a shonen protagonist who is just okay god and, they hate and they uh, don't like that they don't like people hate the fact i hate emia I say, hey, that's a strong word. I'm indifferent to Emia. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. I'm, I'm so glad that yeah. FGO made a um, a version of Shiro where I can hate and not get called names. Yes. Which is Muramasa. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yes. Guys, guys, it's time for that one time of every single podcast where we shit on Muramasa. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. That's, that, 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 that's what I was going But for with. once, that's we're not shitting on him for gameplay. Yeah. I mean, I his character is fine. He's probably, a, he's probably you know, more sufferable than Shiro. But, like, why? But, like, of course, you know, he's, he's supposed to be mature. I don't know. Anyways. Um, <clears throat> don't kill me. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. The don't worry, there, Plushie. I, like I will shield you, uh... Unless my life is threatened. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm, my opinions on Muramasa are pretty much just. I don't know. He, he's a grumpy old man. I like his. I like how he acts around Castoria. But other than that, I don't know. I feel like he yeah. doesn't get very much screen time, so I can't really judge him. Gameplay wise, yeah. uh, he's not a Buster unit, so meh. Oh, they okay. No, damn. I'm, 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 no, I'm, 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 I'm not even <laughs> saying that. I'm not. No, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> I am so scared. He should have been Buster, honestly, because like, he, he, what he does, it, it feels more like what a Buster servant would do. Uh, he just stole that card type from him. Yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's just how it is. Yeah, like, and that's then really what happened. and then later on, they made Ibuki into Arts, and uh, yeah, if we all know what happened, what went down yeah. from there. Ibuki literally stole his job. Now he has to become quick. She stole everyone's jobs. <laughs> Yeah. He, he, he needs to be like, I don't know, Buster AoE Berserker, and then he'd be like Budget Morgan. Congrats, dude! I was having a, how I, I was having a bit of an angry conversation with someone yesterday, and uh, plus you might have seen that because because uh, I was on it was on one of his videos. Um, someone was trying to say that Chloe was like actually really useful, and like the point that they brought up was uh, you can use her to give your Castoria a break, like, if you don't want to use Castoria, and I'm like... So which, which Chloe? Which Chloe? The Avenger one? Yeah. yeah. I mean... She's like, she's like a really I, awkward, gimmicky 30% charger, and like, why not just use, I like, think what they up? meant was just, like, what they meant was just, their Castoria's Bond 15. And yeah. And they don't want to use it. Yeah, but they weren't really... Use Jufu, so. Yeah. They, you, you literally can't just use Shufu, so... Yeah, that, but we weren't that, really that, arguing that, from that, his perspective, that. so, like, I... Oh. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, he, he was one of those guys that, uh... That, like... You know, there's some people who think that challenge quest content, uh... Challenging content in general is just... Pointless. Like, I mean, it's, like, not worth gauging a new servant based on. Because most of the games... I fun. mean... I mean, it, to I... some to some extent, extent it is true, but we have to extend the same logic over to farming because farming isn't really that difficult either. 
No, he, like I, I blame La Single for this because yeah. I remember when I got into FGO. I'm not gonna dwell too long on this because this is not about Klidge, but like, I, I, I remember when I first got into FGO and like YouTube, people loved exhibition quests uh, during NeroFest. Like, I, I would go as far as to say people cared more about clearing exhibition quests than farming the lotto efficiently. Um, yeah. And then like years happen and then this is where we are now so uh very unfortunate uh in terms of content creation especially in my opinion like gameplay content creation uh at the very least but uh yeah that, that's just yeah. that's just how it is yeah yeah the reason i brought that up is because uh basically i i, I told him like like hey if you have castoria just pick a support summer ibuki and you're not going to have any issues farming whatsoever so like why even bother with chloe so but yeah, yeah whatever uh basically like if if someone else is going to argue that my point doesn't matter i'll just argue that your point doesn't matter because like we all care too much about this game honestly it's just fgo like it's yeah. it's so much what aboutism i guess that's what you call it because like yeah. there's always a way to argue you know ar argue a way uh, how do i put this there, there's always a way to argue against and towards one argument because like you know and, and it there's no there's not going to be a conclusion unless his argument is like hyper crap which i mean it happens yeah. a lot because uh, fate fans but anyways um <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways hi klidge uh you were hi. here uh what got you into <laughs> making fgo content <laughs> oh uh that's a good question uh <laughs> i don't know I'll be honest with you, I don't have a really good reason. I was one day just, uh, I'd been doing video editing for friend stuff and like minor gameplay stuff for myself. And I mean, that still, still has no views and that's fine. Yeah. Overwatch. Uh, yeah. Overwatch did some apex stuff and it's just like, I mean, that, that's a hyper oversaturated yeah. market. It was mostly just like time capsule stuff to remember. Yeah. years ago yeah, those are still yeah, fun yeah. to go back and watch but uh I, it was literally one day i was at work uh i had downtime and so i was just like you know what i really like chin liang Yu. i wonder what her deal is and then i dove down the rabbit hole of like doing research into her and i was like i wonder how many people actually know what chin liang Yu's deal is and if i had to take a shot in the dark i would say like of fate fans maybe like two percent who aren't chinese and even then uh and i was That's like actually yeah. so interesting yeah, like, i was like, like the I, fact that it's chin Liang yu i love chin liang yu she's ah uh, god she got done so dirty her kid is so i don't so want to say it's weird. bad but it's so it's, so it's hyper very, niche yeah it's very gimmicky She's yeah. a little better now that she's gotten buffed because she can at least crit more often, but it's still just really weird. Yeah, I, I can but... confirm some stuff you said uh, regarding Fate fans. Like I, I took like one and a half years of mandatory Chinese history. I have no idea who the fuck she is. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> like, like literally nobody knows who she is. All right. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. It's just... Well, no, it's just. I... <laughs> She, I, I was all, I was very interested to learn that she was a, uh, an actual female in history in yeah, China. In, yeah, in like, God, when was she around? She was like technically medieval era. It's been so long since I've looked into her. So my, didn't she live until very long as well, which is very weird. Yeah, she was a... in her 70s when she died. Yeah, yeah, which for, for like a ancient warrior woman i guess those already don't exist but like a legit yeah. girl like, boss also, yeah Bruh. yeah straight uh, up she's very cool yeah, yeah it i was looked just... up uh some more lore as well yeah she was just so such a good lead i mean really i mean if i'm remembering her history right it was her dad was like had a, a quote-unquote modern mindset of i think that women might actually be smart too and then Damn, no actually like no, let actually let her get educated and then lo and behold she was an incredibly successful general and leader mm -hmm. in china and mm -hmm. yeah she was I, it was it was amazing i was like oh my god that's super interesting how many people know this and like you said 
that she's she's a fucking footnote in history. Nobody knows who the hell she is. I yeah. had to go and do like Google translating websites to get some information on her. Wait, you're telling That's me so that? That's so unfortunate. You're telling me that there's a lot you, of care if she gave women an education, they'd actually be equal to men. What? It's insanity. I mean, I mean that that is insanity in Chinese like like views. Even to the, no, I'm no, okay. I'm joking. I'm, I'm not. in a way. Uh, like, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's just, there's so many characters that are like Chin Liang Yu that I think are like super interesting, but there's almost either, there's either no English resources on them, so no one knows about them already, and if you wanted to, you can't find them, or you have characters who are like Sugitani, who I just recently did a video on, who has one, like one or two sources that are badly Google translated, or it's a guy who's talking like he's from like a 2011 like hype video. So here's where here's where Sugitani got into the badass situation that she was in. She got into this tree perch and she was gonna snipe the ever loving fuck out of Oda Nobu. It's like, dude, this is not yeah, recent. No scope or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, my college professors are ripping their hair out right now, imagining that this is real. So I had to go uh, in and like translate a bunch of stuff myself with that and. It was, it's fascinating. Like another character who I love who has n literally no English sources and the ones that are out there are horribly Google translated is uh, old man, like Li Xuan. Like he's oh. such a fascinating character in history. His story is, if you ever seen like the movie Ip Man, he's Ip Man. Yeah. And like in real life. And it, <sighs> There's no sources. It's so hard to find anything on it. And it's hard to say what's accurate and not because you'll go to some sites and it'll be like, I don't know, Baji Kwan dot fandom. And I'm like, I don't think that this is this is not a, <laughs> this ain't a reliable source. I don't know if I can trust this. So I'm not going to make that's a some, on that's it. some Chinese scam site and a half, bro. Right. A fandom yeah. I mean, yeah, that, his, his um his martial arts is certainly the one that that left a name instead of him which is uh sad yeah. i guess well, also interesting thing about um kin Liang yu is that i i'm very surprised after trying to look up a little bit of her stuff that people were so like like mulan basically like like why isn't her story the one being you know spread because mulan was kind of fictional i guess that's why that was spread because it was it, it was like a poem but i i don't know man like i i, I really think you know th like this there's this this like real historically accurate basically probably cooler than mulan character and they, they just never thought to adapt it which is uh kind of unfortunate yeah i mean i would be very yeah. interested to know if there's like a chin liang you like novel or movie out ever because yeah. she's such a fascinating like being able to do what she did during the time that she did and as successfully as she did it defies everything that you know about that time period yep i mean we can just wait really for interesting. i don't know like yeah. china's been trying to get their like film industry and stuff uh yeah you know boom and even though they just they just adapt investiture of the gods 20 times instead of trying to do anything else unfortunately Jesus but... Christ, yeah <laughs> who doesn't like dodgy right yeah, everyone loves dodgy and neza and tai gong wong and all them yeah <laughs> everyone loves watching <laughs> dodgy throw people onto hot stoves yeah it's hot i mean what yeah yeah it's hot it's literally <laughs> hot i'm not yeah i'm not yeah yeah, yeah, yeah gonna go. gonna double yeah, down on yeah, that take like... Yeah, that's why I said that, that's what that, that's what I mean. I, anyways, yeah. So, uh, uh, so next question: uh, who who's your favorite servant and why? Uh, Ushi Hot. All right. Uh, next question. <laughs> no, 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 I have more to it than that, but no. Uh... Ushi, I love I love Ushi. I love Ushi's story. Ushi's real history is really fun. Her design is great. I love Tangu. I mean, I'm a, obviously a fucking weeb. That's, that's interesting. So, 
Yeah, I don't know. She was she I think was the first servant I ever grailed to because I was like, I don't really have any good single target riders. And then I used her more and I was like, oh, she's really, really fun. And then Babylonia dropped and I'm like, oh, she's fucking awesome. And then, yeah, yeah. I don't know. FGO does Ushi a lot of good services, so I'm yeah, yeah I'm they, very they, very they, happy with they very that. much the anime. Her. The anime was amazing as well. That you know her fights and stuff in it. Yeah, it, it's very nice to see uh, a character that you like get a lot of love. Like even putting her in like into Melty Blood. Like I bought Melty oh, Blood yeah. for Ushi. <laughs> well, I tried and, to learn her combos, but I can't. Hey, Kyra, Dude, thanks for I the raid. Bro. Yeah, uh, speaking of characters, uh, uh, your favorite character getting a lot of love. Hi, my favorite character is Queen of Sheba. Uh, well, look, am, you, you have... I'm sorry. You have Ibuki. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> look, you... I, there's a lot of Ibuki bias, but... Bro, like, the, the, most th the most they do for Sheba is putting her in, like, every other event's farming nodes. Like, it is actually ridiculous yeah. how often she comes up in farming notes. She might yeah, be in the shop. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny to make jokes about her. I I'm pretty sure, like, most of her names in farming notes is something like... Scammer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she, yeah, she, like, lost all her money at the casino in uh, Summer 4. That's, that's, uh... That's the joke for her, even though she's yeah. she's a very money minded individual who would definitely not gamble all of it away. But that's no, a, not at all. But yeah, that's really yeah. fun. No, Sheba's great. I, I that's another character I wish they did more with. I really like her, but I don't know her kit. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> yeah, she yeah. <laughs> yeah she's one of those servants that just uh, the kit's not really much anything there. Like the best thing about her. Honestly, is just like her internals. She has amazing NP gain for some weird reason, but that's that's most of it. <laughs> yeah. No. She she has less things than Carmilla, which is saying something. Uh, yeah. Carmilla is not very popular, but yeah, Sheba's really. Has has Sheba shown up in any major story things since Salem? I don't think she has. Has she? Uh, I mean, no. she was. She was just like in events and and stuff like I guess so. I don't yeah. know. Kind of kind of getting to the Hime treatment on that one where it just shows up a lot but is still like not expounded upon ever. Yeah. Isn't that because of his artist? Oh, her artist, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's uh yeah, her artist is just MIA. Like yeah. uh, no know. one's no one's heard anything out of the the artist in a long while. Uh, they did the, really? yeah. yeah they did the illustrations for uh, you know that vending machine anime yeah, they they did the illustrations for uh, <laughs> yeah the same artist uh, <laughs> bro, the, fucking, the, the dungeon vending machine isekai is the Shiba yes. artist yes um <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, dude, he, dude, I tried to watch. Like, I tried to watch that anime. Like, I I watched oh, like God. three episodes of it, and I was like, you know, like, I mean, it's a funny idea, but like, it, it's suffering from the same thing as every, basically every other gimmick isekai, which is like, okay, here's a funny idea. Let's not do anything with it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, they just don't know how to actually write the thing. They just have a cool idea that yeah. they probably brought up in, like, a conversation. Like this one, right? Like, oh my god, wouldn't it be funny if I did this? Yeah, dude. Now what? I, I, that's just what I feel like a lot of stuff. Yeah, is have, you, now. Uh, have you seen, like, uh, like those old Tumblr posts where, where a person would, like, have, like, this idea for, like, a like a story and they're like oh i cool idea for a story and then it's just like the start of a story like uh uh like like one of the ones that comes to mind is like uh, an idea for a story where the protagonist has to fight for everyone to stay dead or whatever because it's post-apocalyptic uh but basically mm -hmm. it's it's like that <laughs> with isekai these days Cosmos it's just you have to have yeah you have to have as no. 
you have to have a really novel concept to stand out, and then, like, even if you do manage to stand out, you don't do anything with it. Uh, yeah, you it would, use it. Yeah. Earlier this year, actually, I, I had a bit of a binge through, like, a, all sorts of different isekai anime that are more modern. Uh, one of the most fascinating ones to me, uh, just because it's really representative of all sorts of problems with isekai, uh, it's this one called Fruit of Evolution, uh, which, like, it, it it's crazy because, like, every single time it comes up with a good idea, it just gives up on it. Like, like it's a it's supposed to be about this this fat bullied kid who gets separated from the rest of the class because everyone gets isekai'd. Uh, but then he eats fruit that makes him evolve into uh, Kirito. Basically, he doesn't. Oh. He's not fat anymore. Oh my! Yeah. Then Damn. he really. Yeah. Then he meets this big gorilla, like this big female gorilla that falls in love with him, and they actually build a relationship. But then. She eats the, uh -huh. the same fruit and turns into a generic waifu. Like, how can ah, <laughs> dude, see, they, they're lame. They, if they made the chick built like Bar Guest, that would have been better. Yeah, right. Like, I, I don't, I don't know why they, yeah. they always be like, oh my yeah, god, just... I have to, I have to look like the generic. Yeah, yeah it's. It's it's just it's just such an interesting thing to me because like it actually like season one was actually kind of interesting with how like like they it, they were consistently shitty in fun ways I guess uh, they just sucked at anything they tried to do basically yeah I I don't understand because like I feel like at this point they should know people are into that stuff like like big women I don't know like yeah. like. Yeah, I mean, women like uh, what's her name, Ghislaine from uh, from Mushoku Tensei. You know oh the my God. Uh, the big cat girl woman. Uh, Just the only thing about that show that I know, other than the <laughs> fact that the kid is a fucking weirdo. Fucking courses. <laughs> it's the only thing I know about that show. <laughs> How hot yeah. the fucking buff girl is. Oh man. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like people like... I'm not saying, like, shock value. I'm just saying, like, you know, like, people like not generic stuff. Like, I don't I don't yeah. understand why they're so afraid of doing that, right? Like It's like, how many times can you see, like, Orihime from Bleach in a different hair color? How many times? Mm -hmm. And there's mm -hmm. so I, many... Yeah. So many anime characters like that. It's just harem waifu A. It's like I I don't I don't know. Don't Maybe that's care. why I gravitated towards Vargas so much because big. Yeah, cuz cuz she eats children. I mean, cuz she's uh cuz she's built different. There you go. Um there's no child support but... if there is no child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but there's that's also no al people... but and there's also no alimony if you eat the husband. True. A lot of a lot of people um, volunteering to be Adonis right now. It's unfortunate, but that's I volunteer. <laughs> oh, brother! Let it be it's known. Like, it's like the God. It's like the Hunger Games. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know what I'm getting into. I'm built different. I'll figure it out. Uh, well, <laughs> at least in my case, I guess I'll be a full couple meals. <laughs> like, Damn gotta look at it the bright side. <laughs> There you that's, go. See, that's I my excuse. That's my excuse for being <laughs> yes. out of shape. I'm just making a bigger meal. I just Jeez. got here and y'all are talking about eating children. Welcome. How's it going? Hey, we're not children. Welcome. Look, are we? It's 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 an FGO. It's a it's Smobcast. It's like episode what thirteen. You should have expected it. Anyways, what does Smob <laughs> stand for, by the way? Uh, it's short for. Uh, well, it's short for Smush Bob, and Bob is short for Bavanshi or Bavansi. Uh, so she, she, she's on the yeah, wall back there. I, I, I noticed her <laughs> kind of looking at me like that. Yeah, she's on. She's on. She's on the wall yeah. back there. Yeah, I got an emo to a chat <laughs> uh, in the chat. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, Do you still have actually... it split in two, or is it one emote? Uh, it's split in two on Discord. 
but it's not splitting uh, to elsewhere. Let me move that out of the way. Phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Cats is just cast. Yeah. What? What, what is this supposed to be? What do you mean? It's small Bob on Chief caster. It's the new summer servant That's next year. Smooky. Oh boy. Another one. Smooky. <laughs> yeah. That's great. That I don't know why that sounds dirty. We also got smidge. Like a... Wait, what is wait? Smartilla. Not... Dude, uh... smoky sounds like a like a slur. No, not a slur. It sounds like I don't know. It sounds like a slang word for the pussy. I yeah, exactly. Smooth. There you go. It's, it sounds like it. you're trying to say like coochie, except you have like a lisp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! You got that smoky, bro. Oh, God, that's horrible. Um, it's how to, how to never get laid one on one? Say that to a girl. <laughs> Damn girl, you got that smoky? No, actually, <laughs> a smush Kaya. <laughs> As a matter of fact, smidge. no, I don't. Yeah, that is called you... smush. It just didn't embed for some reason. You got? Oh my God, that's so bad, bro. You, <laughs> bro. Plushie, that is your fault for opening up with the pounce factor, explaining that. <laughs> what that? How, how is that? That was so long ago. Also, like that's that's yeah. that's what you wanna. That's what you want in an animal. You know, they, they in go an feral. animal. We're not talking about okay. animals here. We're what talking about right now, women Plush, that have I animal features. I thought Plushy's you said right. pounce factor. There you go. I thought you said pounce factors referring to last week when like, oh, why, yeah. why do you like monster girls? Because they because they uh, they pounce you and they have rabies. No, I don't like them having rabies. Actually. But um, no, that's a bad way to go. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's a bad no. way to go. <laughs> it's like guaranteed death. It's kind of scary. They should yeah. make a move out of it in Pokemon. Oh it's God! Like, it's like par it's like Paris song, but it's uh, it's it does damage. Okay, anyways, it was two weeks. It's, basic, it's not even two it's weeks ago. Toxic. It was like it was like one week ago. Yeah, that yeah that was last yeah. week because last week was Halloween and uh, you know Monster Girls are yeah. Halloween related. I guess <laughs> that was my yeah. idea, which yeah. I actually stole from Klidge. Thank you for that uh, that idea that I took from you. Consensual. Hey, no. I did ask about. Yeah, you did ask. You didn't have to, but I do appreciate the fact that you did. <laughs> yeah. No, share the love. I I adore Monster Girls. It's one of my. It's pro. It's probably like the the quote unquote weird fetish that I have. Oh, some brother. people like armpits. Some people like feet. I like Spider Girls. They're, yeah, I, I saw. I saw that in your uh, your Discord. Profile. It's the only. Yeah. I think that's the only thing in my Discord bio. <laughs> Yeah, I honestly think that. Oh my yeah. God, why? I honestly think it's more healthy than. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna like you kink shame people. All right, I'm. I'm not a horrible person. All right, but like, I. I. I don't know. It's a. It's. It's a good trend. It. It should continue. It should. I feel like it's definitely gaining traction. Uh, it and it should continue. Yeah. But uh, chat, yes, I do mean Ragnara. If I had to pick, yeah, like, what that was, what that the was forever his. what the forever waifu is is Ragnara. I love Ushi. I love Bargast. Ragnara is always number one forever. I know I'm the Ibuki guy, but it doesn't really have anything to do with it. But um, but my favorite is probably Mia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fair snake enough, girl. Yeah, yeah, she I know. Cute. I know it, it, it's ironic because like I like? Snake Girl, but it, it's. I, I swear that's it. not the reason like why. Cold. It's more of a personality thing. Yeah. Uh, like Lala is another good one. Yeah. The, oh, the dual yeah. Hand. You can dual get very girl. creative with the head. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a funny. You can get very creative with the. Uh, the yeah. There's some yeah. interesting documentation on that. We don't need to go into that, though. Yeah. <laughs> me, me when I get spooked by Lobo. Bro. <laughs> good Batman. I mean, okay, to be fair, you've never seen his head. That's true. You, you, you do not know that Actually, he's, not, wait, he's not a woman. We have. We, we've seen what, it we've have? seen it once. It's a siren. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I thought you were, yeah. I thought you were going there. <laughs> never mind. No. <laughs> never that, mind. We we have that's that canon. siren head. <laughs> it's literal <laughs> siren head. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. 
Holy shit. The siren head riding a dog. That sounds pretty scary when you, like, don't see an image of it. No, actually... Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I, <laughs> actually, yeah, that, that doesn't really sound that scary. Like, imagine the image of, you know, this this big, liminal, scary cryptid. Riding but a it's dog? riding like yeah. a... Like a like a random ass dog. I, I, it's a golden retriever. It's yeah. not Lobo. It's just yeah. like a dog. Yeah, it's yeah. a, it's like it's a dachshund, a an oversized it, dachshund, <laughs> huge dachshund, corgi. Some yeah, kind like of, like, short like it ass can't dog. it can't even run as fast as the average human. So like it doesn't, like it's not threatening at all. Yeah, it's just loud. somebody should make an SCP out of it. Yeah, somebody should. I don't know. It has, it has to exist. It has to. Bro. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> but yeah. Uh, okay. I'm so. Like sidetracking you after every question. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> the, it's no, fine. No, the whole podcast is yeah, just yeah. about side, that, side that tells me that you have not much. watched uh, one of our episodes yet. That we are 100% tangents here. <laughs> I was watching yeah. the. Uh, I was watching the Monster Girl one uh, last night. Hmm. And uh, I, I didn't get to the end. I need to hold on. I need to make some judgment calls real quick. Oh, yeah. I need to go look at the end so I can be critical. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, he's uh... as as a connoisseur. Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna kill someone. There you Maybe. go. Maybe you put Nita Walter in A. I'm leaving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's actually one of the things I wrote down uh, for things to talk to you about. Hey. Uh... Hi. Yeah, yeah, she's not in S tier like you wanted. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Not really sorry. Look, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think her like Egyptian aesthetic is S tier though. Like, I don't know. It's, uh, it's probably one of the. Damn, we, we've got a lot of bangers this year in terms of character design. Like, oh my I, God, I, I, yeah. I, yeah. I, I think Durga is also really good. Like, even though I know a lot of people don't like her as Sakura, but I I, I like the Kali Ascension a lot. Um, and uh, I don't know. I just uh, I, I feel like we've reached this point where they're not even Sakura anymore. Yeah, they're like, not. Like it's it just looks it has a bow and straight hair. So yeah, it's Sakura. It. Yeah. Okay, Bargas is an S. Okay, Koji's an S. Okay. Yeah, Kashin Koji underrated. Yeah. Uh, I, I honestly I, I think they did her a disservice by not making her she MP is a spider girl, form. So. Like they should have yeah. made her MP form, you know, where she's an actual yes, spider have. into a third third ascension. Like they shouldn't have done two doll ascensions, but I kinda understand why. Like maybe it it, it it's almost like the um what is that smash joke? Like Ridley is too big, they can't add him to the game. Like I <laughs> Yeah, and then and they Buki added them is to the, the game. size of a goddamn house. True. I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I Ivan, love... Ivan exists. Bro, I love how I love how much they nerfed the size of Summer Ibuki. Cause like you look at the 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 billowing clouds that Saber Ibuki has, and it covers up like the other two servants. But then you got Summer Ibuki, and she's like literally crouched with tiny clouds just so she's not in anyone's way there's hmm. too many like elements in her design probably yeah, like very she, busy she's got design. A... fortunately yeah like un busy unless designs. you unless you use the one where she got them fake jays then that's probably fine <laughs> that's <Yeah. true>. <laughs> <laughs> all right you know what your s tier i like the s tier i would i would personally make a couple of changes but what changes with this? Yeah, well, yeah, like, Nito like Alter. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I would move Nito uh, Alter up. Uh, no, I have, okay. I, I have a hyper bias again with Nito. I think Nito Chris and Nito Alter are like c combined. Is let's just put them in, into like a one category. I have like just hands down one of the best designs in the entire game. Their artist uh, fucking a... killed it. I'm gonna ask one question. So the proposal is swap Suzuka and Koyan Dark. Do you agree? With Koyan Dark. Yeah. Why is Suzuka at the top of S? Because oh! it, it, because it was my list. I yeah, mean, plus she was <laughs> along for the ride, but but hey, I I cheated because I know he likes Koyan Skaya. I I I cheated. I I knew I was gonna win that. 
<laughs> they... I mean, like, anyway, I mean, I, I would make the argument. Well, actually, now that I think about it, Koyan Dark Ascension Two, I think, is of of all the Koyan Ascensions, is my favorite. Oh yeah, the the clown so, sky one, the ringleader based. Yes. Yeah, I, I cool. really like that one. Uh, yeah. I mean, Suzuka is a monster girl because she's an Oni. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. I, I would move Tiamat up further, too. I have a, I have a hyper bias to Tiamat, though. Yeah, Tiamat That's deserves Tia, top Tiamat. of S. Yeah. Like, maybe not Tiamat, absolute top, but... Yeah, Tiamat and the Tammies, yeah. I have a, a hyper bias, too. Uh, yeah, I mean, they are the the... Especially like Tiamat, I guess. Like she, I, I'm pretty sure she was like one of the highest grossing banners this year because people were waiting for her. I, I thought Draco was gonna actually gross higher than her because you know beast class and stuff. But yeah, I think Nero. Tiamat beat her by quite a bit as well. So oh yeah, like people love Tiamat. So yep. The what is it? Uh, I don't think Tomo is Tiam on this list for some reason. Did I forget to put oh, yeah. her on here? Yeah. Uh, also, Huyon. I'm dumb as hell. <laughs> no, she played games. Yeah. I lied. No, the other two gamers are here. She's the only gamer who wasn't invited because she's fit. Jaguar fan <laughs> says Jaguar should be higher. Uh, yeah. Jaguar? Jaguar I mean, yeah. fan likes Jaguar a lot, yeah. believe it or not. Yeah, I mean, I made a joke. I'm. I hope he 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 doesn't scroll to that part where I made the joke about Jaguar Man last week. But uh, yeah. Well, now yeah. he's gonna look for it. Oh well, in, shit! In fairness, uh, the the comment was made that it was. Oh, a he Kiara did see cult, the joke. Which you saw the joke. <laughs> it is a Kiara look. cult, though. Yeah, uh, it is, is a Kiara cult. Yeah, this is the tier the... list from last week. Uh, okay. The only other the one that I would bump up to S tier, and this is only because I've uh, like th th probably the most insane bias is for uh uh oh my she? god oh, was my Ushi brain here? is blanking. No, Ushi's not a monster Ushi? girl. She's just she's tanuki. crazy. She's like she's like Tanuki Mario. Like she Kinda. she ate a leaf. Yeah. Uh. No Riku. I would bump Riku up. Oh, yeah. Riku, that's fair. Yeah, I, I really love her design, too. I, I, I don't would, know. It was just kind that, of confusing to me, because she's not, like, very monstrous. She's just, like, horror-based, I would say. She's a ghost. Like a ghost. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, mean okay. all of them are ghosts. They're I, spirits. Yeah, I, I, so I, ghosts. They're heroic spirits. I, I think it definitely <laughs> was my fault, because when I see Monster Girl tier list, I just think furry. I yeah, mean, that's fair. I'm sorry. It, it's it, it's what you assume, but then again, there's like it's what robots and vampires. So yeah, like I, I like every time I just like that's why I said the pounce thing because I was like, oh my god, it's an animal. Like yeah. it's it's kind of funny seeing <laughs> Ryoma right here. Is it just like out of context? Yeah. It's just like this it's one dude Oreo. here. He's lost. Yeah, yeah. We 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 got all sorts of monsters here. We got like you know, fox girls. We got spiders. We got Japanese men. We got clowns. Yeah. That's that's a social commentary and a half. Jesus. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> rats. I love the rats. Um, we rats. ended up not putting the uh, uh, the newer summer ones because, like, by the looks of things, most of the the summer variants of characters weren't included yeah I, I did leave them out on purpose because it felt kind of redundant to do that but yeah, yeah. except summer friend uh wait. except summer friend wait was berserker friend yeah. even here i don't remember I don't think that. so yeah. i mean summer friend is a typical halloween monster dressed up as another typical halloween monster she's frankenstein's yeah. monster dressed up as a mummy that's like double, <laughs> double the monster. Ex tier. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> it's how uh, it's Halloween. It was very yes. Halloween yeah. related. That's kind of why she got put up very there. Very Halloween. Because, not because like I was a fan of her or anything. It's just like yeah, I, she yeah. deserves to be up there just because she's literally Frankenstein's monster. 
Yeah. We have the got that clout. monster of all. Yeah. British people. I mean, look, we got British monster girls. All right. Like, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Bargas is up in EX tier. Oh, uh, dude. I look, I, as much as I don't like dubbed anime and stuff, like, I really personally, I, I can't really, you know, watch it. But I really want, like, all the Lost Belt 6 characters dubbed in with a british accent i think somebody did it with melusine with ai like they 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 broke down pretty how sure she that sounded was in japanese <laughs> yeah that was yeah like they 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 used an ai to break down her voice and then simulated what she would have sounded as a british woman and that was get, pretty funny they should get the guys who dubbed ghost stories to do it oh no <laughs> that would be the oh. best thing oh ever. A uh, bit of trivia. I, I feel like you probably already know this. Um, mm. uh, is it okay if I uh, spoiler the if I spoiled the villain for the next Guda Guda? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so you know who the the villain of that is. So that is the same uh, spirit that is possessing the cat from uh, Ghost Stories, Amino Jaku. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, huh. that shit, like, fucked with me as soon as I figured it out. It's great. Wait, which Gouda Gouda? The T one? Uh, no, the one NA's about to get. The one with, uh, Okuni. Oh, oh, oh. I, I do not remember that event. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Hey, hey, don't I mean, apologize I got, to I... me. I wasn't the one that made it. I, I think I got I got fucked by the uh, the Rioma banner and then I just didn't care. Damn. Yeah. Dang. It'd be like yeah. that though. Not because you're a rabbit, but because you're black. I just love how she. <laughs> I just love the delivery on that one. That dub is legendary. I gotta be careful. What's the fucking thing? Is I she? Gotta be careful is it? With... Yeah. Is it a ghost isn't, or is isn't it a bitch? Where... Yeah, it's a ghost and a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Uh, I mean, I've only me saw clips of it. <laughs> but th that's kind of... They reach legendary status. Uh, it's kind amazing. Of. Yeah. This is Plushie's tier. No, it's not my tier list. If it's my tier list, Koi and Dark would have been top. Yeah, it's the I mean, one... Carmilla. It's the one we did last week. It's just looking at it uh, with... Uh... Our dear I definitely friend meant Carmilla. Uh, yeah. I'm being judgmental. I'm sorry. Hey, <laughs> well, I mean, we're copying. We're copying you. Like, uh, like we nah, deserve nah, criticism. Nah. Do we? I mean, <laughs> nah. No. Nah. No. Nah. Fuck everyone else. We're right. <laughs> no, I don't. Look. What do you mean? Look. I. I. I've been accused of many things. I. Yeah, I and you're innocent of, of all of them. Accused. <laughs> I'm innocent of all of them, exactly. What do you mean I'm a furry? How's the wife? Wait, wait, okay, that actually is true, though. What? I'm not a furry. Man, even the... You're over here talking I, about I, the pounce factor and shit. No. That's I can't different. even say that. Hmm. Dude, I, I can't even say that with a straight face, because, like, if you've been in voice chat, I think this Friday I was in my own server's voice chat. I'm pretty sure I said some heinous stuff I don't remember, but people keep telling me I said some <laughs> heinous stuff about bro, animals. I, bro, I was there. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what 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 happened? Oh, okay, uh, I remember what I said. Uh so so like so, somebody accused me of liking a Sonic character. I think I forgot which Sonic character it was, it was because I don't yeah, and then I was like, no, she ha she needs to have a snout. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it yeah. Is. Man, maybe maybe you're not beating the allegations, damn. Yeah. I'm not beating the allegation, but it's uh it's fun. You know what? To each their own. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, I I I love a game with the snouts. And the uh, anyways, let's go to the next. Let's go okay. to the next one. So. Uh, did I already say this one? Uh, what's your beef with Liz? Oh God! Oh yeah! Oh no! I feel like this. I feel like this might. Uh, this might be oh, something Jesus. the two you want to discuss. Oh Jesus! What a discuss. can of worms! I really like that. Uh, 
Is that an animation? I don't know. But, like, the get the fuck out of my house one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I keep seeing that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh... Yeah, that was my buddy Chris. Go, go, uh... <laughs> go commission him for art. Yeah. I had I had him make that. It's one of my favorite memes of all time is the, the get the fuck out of my house. Fight Liz in front of the Denny's parking lot at 3 a.m. Yeah. So my, my beef with Liz is this. So... Uh, I've come to realize I use the word I hate way too much because I don't actually hate things. I just have tend to say that uh, because it's simpler. So you hate uh, saying you, that you hate so much? Exactly. It's a pretty vicious cycle. Uh, I have I like Liz as a character. I think she's cute. She's fun. I, I genuinely enjoy when she shows up because she is goofy as this nice air to pretty much any any scenario that she's into. Except any time I've rolled the gotcha on any account I've ever made, I have multiple copies of Liz within the first 90 courts. Every single one. I My it's initial good. account, she was one of my first servants. Uh, on my JP account, she was in my starting role. I have a free-to-play account, starting role on there, got two of her. Uh, and then she just, everywhere I go, I see her face. She never stops. Damn. She continues to show up forever. And so it's less of a, a beat. It's less that I have. Well, it is. I have beef with her. I never want her to show up in my gotcha, but she has this tendency to just do it, especially when I'm looking for Lancers. Like I did the Vritra. I did like Vritra gotcha on Newt. Was that? No, it was Christmas. And I had to hit pity for Vritra. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I hit pity for Vritra, and I'm pretty sure got spooked by Liz, I think, twice. Oh, that's horrible. And so, yeah, yeah. she just has this tendency to uh, show up at the worst possible times. Gotcha can sour your feelings towards a character. Like, I I've always yes. been open that I am very... I've become, like, I've turned from, like, really infatuated by the character to like i really can't stand that character uh which is Krimhild. it's kind of the opposite problem mm. where, where she she gave me a lot of trouble uh when i pulled her gotcha and i just like i physically kind of can't i i mean i don't hate her but like it's it's just i don't it it, it doesn't hit the same anymore yeah you know like because now you yeah. see her and you think about what it took to get here yeah, it's just like, ugh. I don't know why her in particular. I guess I just never liked her that much, I guess. Because, like, I've been screwed by other banners, and I never had this kind of feeling. But, like, towards her, I really... That's weird. I never do that, but except for her, which is... Anyways. Yeah. No one had a good yeah. experience from, uh, with Creamhild from what I had seen, because I didn't either. Uh, uh, it's horrible. I, I don't know why MP5. they. <laughs> both of us. One, I think both of us. Gina gotcha. <laughs> oh, one Gina, yeah. And oh, I yeah, that's, I spent okay. a, yeah, that, that I one's spent a, lot a total better. of one, like I think less than one pack for one Gina. I got her MP5. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so yeah, I, I did so... hit pity for one Gina. I think I have like ten Crim Hills or something right now. Unfortunate. Yeah, that's dude. Unfortunate. Uh, I think both Plushy and I hit. Uh, NP5 Charlie before NP2 Creamhild. <laughs> really? Oh, MP4. I, I I didn't get MP5 Charlie. I I, I got MP4 Charlie. Oh, um, oh wow. But, yeah, I I got NP5 but, yeah. Charlie the same role as NP2 Creamhild, and I was going for Creamhild. So, yeah. Four it, stars. I think I spent. It's not, yeah. I don't. I think really I spent... dislike Charlie. It's just like I I didn't fucking want to see him. <laughs> like bro. Yeah. I think I spent oh like a thousand like the the number that people keep talking about it like I, t I tossed out was twelve hundred for the first copy. Oh but, wow! Yeah, twelve hundred Saint Courts for the first copy of Creamhild, uh, which is horrible. Um, and I stopped at two because I think I got the second one pretty luckily. It's, it was like maybe a daily single or like a random multi afterwards. But th yeah, that, that's that's a that that was not a good experience. Uh, and I never want to experience that again. So I'm very glad that uh, Bob and she was relatively kind to me this summer. 
because that yeah I yeah I never mentioned split it. banners uh I never I don't think I've ever mentioned it but uh like immediately after that I think I went to pity on Moriarty so it was it was not a pleasant oh, wow. event Moriarty. for me yeah that's why well, he's only in people was it for was oh no yeah I forgot you yeah you you, you just wanted Moriarty I respect the grind. How, how did the how did the the Uma Musume go? What MP is she? I mean, okay, and and the and the dwarf. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, I kept MP three. I think I got him like MP seven though. So oh, you yeah. burned some of them. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's, it's not like much of esports anything, and I I didn't really th think I was gonna do any sort of investment in him whatsoever. I kind of wish I Man. actually did keep in P5, but... MP5? Like yeah, I, I just, why not? I, I just didn't really want to see much more of a man. Like, I mean, it's Don Quixote. Yeah, but... I, like, I, I think I for recently the, saw, like... For uh, the first time in my life, I was seeking a twink and not finding one. What yeah. do you mean? You got the best twink, Don Quixote. <laughs> I, thought yeah. were, I thought you were going to say plushie. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Stop. Stop this. No, this can't happen. This ship cannot happen. This, this, this ship cannot happen, bro. Hey, yo, I didn't know Stop. this was a ship. This was a ship, apparently. Hey. But like, yeah, after, dude. like, the first two episodes. Yeah, dude, like, not even, God. like, on one of the episodes. Like, the, uh, we collaborated for last, uh, anniversary. And, like, pretty late in the stream, someone asked if we were boyfriends or something. It was like, oh, god damn. Dude, yeah, this, that was uh, just a reaction to JP stream. Yeah, never mind. It wasn't yeah, even, it was before the podcast. Jesus. I, I'm, I'm fine with bros. I, I'm not, I'm not up for anything further than that, sir. Nah. Yeah. I, I, I just remember, like, recently I saw, like, a, like, a seven-turn big Kiara run with Don Quixote frontline only as well i think and i just imagine kiara but she's uh she's a windmill that's pretty funny yeah. but yeah that's yeah. i don't know dude a rash can do that really now hot. like the fact that a rash yeah. can can seven turn that stage is actually kind of nuts wait did a rash so seven turn that? i didn't yeah I yeah someone shared it earlier uh, uh it's like face card only uh, i mean no. obviously no, uh, actually, I actually it wasn't know, the last turn mp uh, it's well, kind of... Did, did he use Guts? Yeah, he like used mixed. Chloe, he used... Uh, I want to say he used oh, Nightingale. Chloe. Uh, he also used Tonaliko. I mean, probably need... Which is really uh, interesting, because Tonaliko gives Guts. It's just a Guts giver. Yeah, and, yeah. and also, um, the, the charisma scales with uh, how low your HP is, so if you kill yourself... Oh, shit, can I even say that? Look, I don't mean that. I don't mean in if, Minecraft. You, if you use his MP and sacrifice himself in FGO. All right. Like, I think you're fine because of the context. Yeah. So like, uh, I if, mean, if, if you if you YouTube end yourself, doesn't. You have. Yeah, YouTube probably you, isn't gonna care much after uh, over an hour. It's been about an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Tona Tona Lico is a character that you know after you end yourself, you get back up and you become stronger. I mean, yeah. It's inspirational. Yeah. <laughs> is, is it? <laughs> but yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah. There. I don't know. I don't know where we were. I yeah. lost it. We were talking about gotcha Don, Qu Don Quixote, who uh, I, I people don't like that I call him this, but I, I like calling him Donny DeVito because he's really short. And he's a funny character. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I like that. That that is exactly what he is. <laughs> I yeah. guess. Oh my god. So, I just imagine I imagine him in the um I drop my monster condom scene. Bro. But he's talking to like Sancho. Or my Magnum <laughs> Dong. I mean she's a horse, she wouldn't need it. Anyways, um <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Oh uh, okay. Uh, Alright. Yeah. I don't uh also I, I kind of like the horse in Monster Musume, even though she's kind of just budget darkness see, with a horse ass, which see, is kind of sad. Like, I, can't, I like I can't her too, it's horse. just like the logistics of it, you know? Like, there's no happy way about it, you know? What do you mean? 
It's always, it, like, no matter how you approach it, it's a horse. Yeah. Like, but, and I, mean, so, no, like, I mean, as someone who was born and raised on a farm, no. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, yeah. that's what I'm going to say. No. It's the best part. Oh, what no, the fuck is wrong with you? Bro, bro, and it's... Farm animals are disgusting no, creatures. No, no. Okay, Dude. okay, whoever said Mr. Hands, we gotta ban him. Uh... uh. I mean, I we, feel like that we, was we, inevitable. We, 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 we got to we, 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 we gotta kill him. We're like we Mrs. Gotta, we gotta kill him. <laughs> we, we, got, we gotta kill him. Fun fact, do you know Shang Yu's horse is a female horse? So if he was truly fused to his horse, he would not have a penis. Are you telling me? I don't me, know why I see that. You telling me he has, uh, he's, I don't know. Let's move off of this top. <laughs> let's, let's move on here. All right. Yeah. Uh, so why was Ibuki the only one that got the, the less than a minute review, uh, video? Like, this is specific to your channel. Cause like, uh, uh you, you. That you video is not public. Oh, it's not public. Uh, no. It's on a playlist. Uh -oh. Is it? Yeah. Fuck, I need to hide uh, that. That, no. shit is, that shit is awful. That is a tear. Oh, so uh, I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what that was. That I need to go private that shit. Or delete it. <laughs> There's nothing Quick bad in it. It's just. Up. It's just awful. Yeah, it's just yeah, not it's, a good video. It's just not really anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what I was gonna do is I was gonna ex I was going to experiment with a. Yeah, it's a 30 second video. What the fuck? Delete this shit. Yeah, 36 seconds. Uh -oh. What playlist no, he... is this in? It was a playlist that was visible on your homepage. <laughs> really? It was actually exposed. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. <laughs> the... yeah, that would see. Okay, I'll tell you what that was. It's not anything bad. I was going to do some experimental stuff with like some gameplay related, uh, some gameplay related content that was like less than a minute. Uh, yeah. For Maybe newer people fun. who are getting into the game, and I was just—I was, I was doing some testing stuff. I uh, linked it to some of my Twitch subs to see if they were like how they reacted to it, and it, it was kind of like a lukewarm reaction. So I was just kind of like, ah, I don't think I'm going to go yeah. through with this. Huh? Yeah, I know. Uh, Maybe in the future, but yeah, that—that's that, why that—that's why that's there. I didn't know that was yeah, literally 36 seconds. I don't yeah. know why that was. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I know that like. A year or so back, uh, Fino started doing stuff like that, and it was that seemed like a pretty smart thing to do. Uh, I actually started doing that with the 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 scant amount of reviews that I've done. Like I've I've taken bits of it and uh, made short shorts. I yeah, mean, dude, dude my yeah. most popular video, my most popular video is a short about a video that is nowhere near as popular as the short. <laughs> Damn, it's. My it's, most popular uh, video is yeah. about a Stolfo being gay, so I I think you're you're better off with that in that yeah. aspect. My most popular video is a video I don't like anymore. <laughs> Bro. It's the oh. it's the three yeah. words or less one. I a lot a lot of the jokes in there I just don't think are very funny anymore. Yeah, that kind of uh, that kind of a, yeah. you leave a, a legacy. Joke. Yeah, it, it <laughs> That kind of a I'm joke can like be it. really cringe. Like it's kind of hard yeah. to make something like that actually funny. No, uh, yeah, I, I haven't watched that. it. I'll say ever. this: I'll, I, I'm glad that people like that video. I cannot ever watch it again. I'm sh and there, are, I do think that some of the stuff in there is good. But when you do 300 individual jokes, you're gonna, you know, I mean, that, yeah, it is glitch history because that was like my first big video. It's the I think it's currently the most watched video with like a couple hundred like a hundred thousand some views. I think yeah, slowly I think like after that it's an Astolfo related video something. too. <laughs> Bro. Bro, I need to make why, an Astolfo video. Hey man, it's, why is that cute? Cursed? Yeah, look, no, I okay. The look, one I know look, I'm not, the most uh, we've been over this. I'm not chasing twinks. <laughs> The, the 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 one I know from you the most is the uh excuses of gender bends. I actually I, I like that one. I like that one too. I, I definitely missed some stuff hmm. uh, in that video, which is why I remade it recently. But like, yeah, like <laughs> I think back then the, the translations for the uh, for the Fey Knights wasn't fully out, and so I thought that they were like it actually Gender infused ben. with the characters, and that's what it was. It's like no, they just they just have the name. 
Yeah. And so I mean, be, yeah. people, it it's funny how people come back two years, like a year and a half later, and like, you were fucking wrong. You're an idiot. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah, absolutely right. I am. And you're right. <laughs> Thanks. In hindsight. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. you you missed the, the dumbest reason is probably Typhon, but. Um, well, yeah, yeah that's. Is, yeah. that's that, that, that was a little news. bit new. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, made made too early the video. Yeah, it happens. Why is Typhoon? <laughs> I've not actually seen why Typhoon is woman. Can can I spoil it? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I, uh, uh, I, I feel like that mind? might be a that might. Right, fair enough. Uh, I'm, oh. I'm one person in chat says you can. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Three people. The. All right. Well, it's because, yes, because she's. She, it's because she's a banana. I mean, it's not a banana. She's she's like, she she she's the fruit that Typhon got tricked into eating, and I'm pretty sure that isn't canon. That's like a fate thing. Did did Typhon ever eat like a fruit? I don't remember. <clears throat> I uh, I need to look. I don't that. think so. I, I did a video on a fate Ke thing. I did something on Echidna recently, and Typhoon and Echidna uh, like, are fucking so yeah. Well, I, mm. I'm pretty sure it's a fate thing. Like, I, I've never... Because, okay, to be fair, I never know much about Typhon. It's just, you know, Zeus is scared of him. And he, yeah. got, through, he got thrown into Mount Etna. That's, it, like, that's, like, the two things I know about it. But apparently yeah. in fate... In fate, he got tricked into eating a fruit. Which is an anti-wish machine. Okay, that... Now that I say it, it definitely sounds like made-up bullshit. But, um... I mean, he, he, he got is. tricked into... He he got tricked into eating a fruit that was an anti wish machine, and he lost all his powers because of it, and that's how he got like in prison under Mount Etna. Oh, interesting. And then, and then the the chick is the fruit, and it's not Typhon. It's she's the fruit that he ate. Interesting. I I've really liked your theory. Uh, I did see your theory on her being the Christmas servant. I thought that was actually really smart. <laughs> Oh, that, that, that would make okay. all the sense honestly, in the world. Honestly, I only wrote that tweet for like to 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 make the joke where I wanted to breed. But yeah, I I mean that definitely sounds like an FGO plotline where oh it's an anti wish machine, so I'm going to ruin Christmas. So everybody's wish is uh, topsy turvy. Absolutely, that's one hundred percent. I mean, fucking Vritra's whole thing is like, yeah. I'm going to make it so you can't open your presents. I'm so bad, like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then she did it again in Valentine's. She what got is this like Nick zero shit. <laughs> She's the, the, the Grinch, the yeah, most exactly. like, uh, like arguably the most powerful. I uh, probably not, but like one of the. I mean, you know, she she gave Indra some trouble, right? With the. It, with Vritra the bullshit, is, you can't kill her. Like it, lore yeah, wise, she's functionally condition. immortal. Yeah, you have to like beat her at dusk with bubbles or some shit. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like uh, I I don't know who came up with it, but you know that's you know, smart, you know, brilliant. But anyways, but like yeah, and then she got reduced to being the Grinch. Yeah. Hey, at least she's I, hot. Is. Yeah, I I think her MP is one of the coolest. I, I don't so care how I, I really like. I don't MP. care how her small how small her heart is. All right, that's not that's not the Dude, thing I'm concerned. She's with. so pit. She's so petty. Her her Valentine's gift was literally like. She, it she, out. she gave us a bite like of the most like the best chocolate you could ever taste in the world, and then Fujimara's like, "Holy shit! I need to just have it." It's like Squidward trying out like uh Krabby Patties for the first time and then she fucking locks it in some cosmic uh, cosmic maze box safe that you can never open yeah if Perfect. you open it and, and it just she, melts and she's it like, or something okay, see ya. yeah she she said if you brute force it like tell like if you tell Herc to use his MP on it or something it just just it just disappears and then you have to solve this like Rubik's cube from hell, and then bye. Yeah, that's I don't know. Pinhead <laughs> comes out and drags you to hell, and you become a Cenobite, <laughs> and it's it's a whole ordeal. <laughs> but yeah, um, 
funny 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 joke that's probably gonna be her whole character from now on like every time she appears in an event she's probably just gonna does she appear in another event i think she should have a summer soon i really like the uh the art for um uh ocean flyer i mean people Vritra, love that just for gameplay as well Vritra is one of those characters that was kind of soured on me a little bit initially because i did have to hit pity for her and i didn't want her that bad and then yeah. also, as soon as I hit pity with her, I got another copy of her in the in the same role after the pity. I mean, MP two is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, I I use her. I like her a lot, and like since yeah, then she's go. really grown on me. But it's just like, yeah, she needs to. I, I want to see more of her. There's something about something about the way she looks does a lot for me. Yeah, she got a lot of <laughs> like the 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 tan skin she got the she got the piercing and she got, got the, the tail got the veil and of course she's dragon like yeah so really cool character oh yeah, i like her stupid she, axolotl she's, horns <laughs> she's an s tier on that uh, that list yes she deserves oh, dude it. this actually sounds like an event so somebody in the chat said she if she makes a maze you can now throw theseus at it because he can, mm, he can get yeah. out of it. That that really sounds like an event. Like, they're going to make a maze, and then she's going to make a maze, like Summer Vitra, maybe. And then he's going to, Thesis is going to get a costume, and he's going to get out of there in his, like, swim trunks. I don't know. And finally, Asterios will get an animation update. Yeah! Uh, yeah! Right. Best, best, right, we can do is, best we can do is an an <laughs> another NPC skin that we just see for one fight. <laughs> yeah yeah congratulations palette right. swap shiny npc and yeah they, 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 they don't do that no more bro they don't i they it don't, makes me so don't. sad my, yeah. my boy eric forever trapped in da 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 hell yeah La, da, 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 da. <laughs> that is so sad yeah jolter dude okay jolter has a chance because i do believe next year's collab is gonna be samurai remnant but yeah, I, I think yeah. she'll get she'll get the hookup on that. If 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 they don't give it to her, then she's never getting it. Yeah. If Jolter can't get it, nobody gets it, dude. It's right. Jolter. It's like literally the VIP of FGO. If she doesn't get it, nobody gets it, bro. Right. Yeah. It's in my opinion. Yeah. Jean, Helena, Ibuki, Anita, Chris got a skin and didn't get an AU. Y yeah. Look, I, I'm going to hold out hope. I'm going to huff this copium until either my brain cells all kill. I mean, die. And sorry. <laughs> can, it's a... I have to, have to make sure you don't get demonetized. Uh, uh, this correction, it was actually shooting, not a not Ibuki. Ibuki is completely set. Uh, the devs yes. clearly love her a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Man, so, uh, I, it's so insane to me that, that shooting, despite the fact that she is, like... An art servant with two arts cards. She has twice as many Buster card animations as she has arts card animations. <laughs> I didn't and she has that. one Buster actually. card. And it's, it's actually so it's actually kind of cool because like her second uh, Buster card animation is a reference to her uh, her actual noble phantasm because she doesn't use that. Is it the one where she debones she, you like yeah, a chicken? Yeah, and she rips your uh, ske yeah, yeah, skeleton okay. out. Uh, Without breaking skin yeah, somehow. The, yeah, the the Mortal Kombat yeah, fatality, bone collector. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, oh, yeah she's. I, I feel like she is a character that deserves a bit more love too. Like she is very popular. I'm and just. They made Tez. <laughs> yeah. No, don't worry. They're they're gonna buff Koi and Dark next Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Jesus Sorry, Christ, I, I shouldn't I shouldn't laugh, but it's look, you don't uh, <laughs> we all we all have to hold out hope. Wait and cope. It, look, it's she's in the she's in the main visual of the yeah. she's main she's in the main visual of the event. She she has to she didn't even get a banner. Like she's gonna get a banner and then she's gonna get a buff and she's gonna hit harder than Cuckoo somehow. There you go. And Eric Bloodaxe will appear in the main story. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. see an NP buff happening for her because I mean, look, like, Eric Bloodaxe can hold out hope forever because Caligula got it. All right, like he. Yeah. 
Yeah, right? but people like Caligula. <laughs> Do they? <laughs> yeah, people really liked Caligula before because he has the he's got that Nero connection. Ah uh, well, uh, yeah. yes, tangentially I... because he is also a fan of a popular character. Also, yeah, he's also Rome. He's Roman, and people have the biggest fucking hard on for Roman servants. Oh my god, yeah. Los Angles like. Oh, it wasn't Los Angle at the time. It's still Delight Works, I think. But you know, like, g give me a good reason why I should give you an animation update. I like Nero. All right, good. good. I'm convinced. We got good. you. Good. Right. I'm convinced. We uh, got him. All right. It's gonna seen... be. It's gonna be a very hard thing for me to do, but I'll, I'll see what I can get shooting to like, uh, like. <laughs> oh yeah, Bodica. Bodica got one. Yeah, but Boudica hates. Him? But Boudica hates Rome. Wait. Yeah, but Boudica gets a lot of screen time and events and stuff. Is the thing. Like she's one of those characters that shows up in stories sometimes, but like she's in a ton of events. Even if she is just like kitchen crew. Yeah. Animation update or summer? Pick your poison. Uh, what, what were you gonna say, Klitsch? I forgot. Oh, I've you guys ever seen? the uh the art that uh helena britomart's artist did of eric's wife no, no i have not haven't. i'm very interested in it uh it's on my twitter somewhere let me pull it up i can send it to you it, it, I it only looks know... so good. is it good it's yeah. really good I, I only know about helena's like proto design can i call it that like yeah. scrap design and i kind of enjoy it which is uh Unfortunately, didn't took that. Yeah, DM I guess she would be a little screen. bit. I guess she would be a little bit generic in terms of the officers' uniform nowadays, because like they really, like, they really like putting those in in like anime and stuff now. But oh, that's an interesting question. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a second. Uh, I'll ask that question in a second, but I'm uh, just waiting on the art. Uh, assuming you're still looking for it. If you're not, I if am... you can't find it, then don't worry. Whoa. The guys need to wake up. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Well, well, you better that. You better wake up, dude. Like, we aren't here. You're having a very strange dream. It's time to wake up for the podcast. It's not coming up. Dude, daylight saving time screwed me up so bad today. Dude, I didn't even I know. Didn't... Uh, I didn't even know I it didn't happened. I didn't know either. I but, didn't know. I was like, "Why is why did FGO update at 3 a.m. instead of no instead of five? Dude, and I was like, "Oh shit!" I I haven't plugged in my uh my alarm clock yet since I moved, so I'm going off of my time on my computer and on my phone, and they adjusted without me even realizing it. Yeah, it should adjust. Wait, did it did it adjust? Yeah. Oh no, okay, it did. Because my clock didn't and my computer did. Yeah, never mind. I yeah. Got I, 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 no wonder I woke up early though. Like I, I slept well. Uh, daylight savings that's like is the this one thing. It's this archaic thing that the US I, does uh where thought, part of yeah, the why? Yeah, part of the thought like half dying. of the year uh we move our clocks one hour backwards and then the other half we move it I back did forwards. not get that. Ever yeah, I since can... I moved to the U.S., I did not fucking understand why. It's a I can tell you why. Yeah, it's it something to do farmers? with farmers. Yep, it's yeah, everything to do with farmers. Oh my god! It's that they get more daylight to work the fields, but you know we have these amazing inventions now called the light bulb and industrial <sighs> spotlights. And being someone who grew up in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, all of them got it. They don't need the goddamn sun. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh so, and so the reasoning for it is non-existent. I thought they were doing away with it. Like, I thought they were done with that last time they switched the clocks. So this is the picture that uh, he was talking about with... Uh, oh, what is, is wow. Name, isn't it like Helga or something? Or Hild? Gunhild. Gunhild, right. Is it Hild something. Uh, yeah, this is it's Eric's the wife. <laughs> yeah, this is his it's evil like... wife who curses you. Uh, it's it's like the the what well, that, the fucking Nordic version well, of the in my opinion, evil is yeah. <laughs> evil is relative. Yeah, I mean yes, that's Eric's wife. This is what you pull by being the by being Eric Bloodaxe, the guy who yeah, carries this the is, axe. This is his shitty first skill. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. Two turn oh, attack down mean... and defense down. Yes. Whenever you're mean to Eric, this is who you're being mean to. Yeah, when you charm Dang. him in that uh, in that one exhibition quest, she oh, just yeah. curses everyone. It's hilarious. <laughs> this yeah, is who has so your IP cool. address. <laughs> <laughs> she gets so pissed. I remember trying to fight her with like Kama, and she got so pissed. But the curse is like a hundred damage a, a piece. It's like nothing. They should have made it harder. They should have made a lot of fights harder, in my opinion. But eh. Yeah. Well, she's cute. I like those quests. She is okay. cute. Uh, so she's someone in content. chat asked uh, while we were waiting there, and they asked what our favorite male characters are. Like, the three of us. Like, mm. each of us. So, Kludge goes first, of course. Yeah, I take it Canis doesn't count because Canis is... Yeah. yeah, that's uh, Canis that's uh, yeah, let's that's a let's out. yeah, that one's that's uh, a that out. one's complicated. Uh, if I had to say, uh, my level 100 on NA male, I think I only have one level 100 NA on male, and that's Ezo. I love, I love my stupid drunk dog son, <laughs> he's great, I adore him. Uh, on JP, I have a level 100 Babbage who. Oh. I, I adore Babbage. He's such an interesting character in Fate. And I, it's it's kind of disappointing that they relegate him mostly to just being, you know... Robot. Yeah, he's haha -ha robot man. Yeah. But... Imagine I being mean, a... Imagine being an Edison fan, though. Like, I, I'm not saying... Suffering. I'm, yeah, like... Like, he's either... Imagine being an Edison fan, but not a he's, furry. He's right. either the dumb, uh, the dumb antagonist to anything Tesla is doing, or he is the uh, he is tying for the number one simp for Helena. So, yeah. <laughs> or he's just well, haha, America capitalism. Like this is just that. Nah. Don't you love karma. one characters? Yeah, you you win in life, you lose in FGO. <laughs> yeah, don't you yeah, love right. it when they make? All of the presidents, uh, all of the American presidents, one character, but the one character that they're in isn't even a fucking president. <laughs> yeah, it's the Metro Goldman line, of course. The most important oh, American character. Yeah. yeah. They're never gonna make Abraham. And they made him a furry, too. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I think I think I think if you go if you go to look at my my uh, my Twitch account my pinned clip is of my friends seeing Edison for the first time and the opening line is what the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it is still. Oh, Wait, no. did they know it's Thomas Edison or they just saw no. the lion? And they were like, that was the, the from the very first guess who this fake character is. Oh, uh, from like bro. over two, like almost two years ago, and they were both just like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the that is the correct is reaction. Yeah. The presidents uh, are not Edison; they're Edison spandex. Cool. I'm I'm so glad to know that that George Washington is on the ass cheeks of a furry. That th this I is information I wanted to know. <laughs> It would take every greasy old white man and Barack Obama to hold back that lion's bulge. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, it, it, is it canon that um, when when a president passes, they get added to Edison? Yes. It's, it, oh it, my God. it's like the American throne of heroes, except it's 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 a servant that Bro. isn't. <laughs> it, he just gets stronger. Every time some some presidents pass, yeah, dude, actually no, dude, it might be a nerf. Dude, it's like, like honestly, if it's if, like if one he got for all, Biden, it's probably a nerf. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> if he absorbs Joe Biden, it'd probably be a nerf, honestly. But uh, <laughs> I'm, yeah, oh uh, god, <laughs> Nasu hates America, dude. America is literally like it exists in a joke event, which is the um the Paul Bunyan event, like the entirety of American history is just learning with manga. Like the Paul Bunyan like storyline you can still buy in the Rare Prism shop. Didn't it have like all the the American characters? Like, but it's not actually, but it's just all Altera. 
Yeah. Like it's it, it's just every Amer like iconic American historical character, but it's Altera. I love the minor yeah, subtext you. about conquerors. <laughs> about that. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Wow, we got a little we, we, we kinda I mean, went we off got topic Calamity there. Jane. Dude, <laughs> Calamity Jane is like one of the most relevant American characters in FGO for some fucking reason. She's I, a I guess very, very strange. Really? Very strange. Yeah, very weird. So Edison well, isn't yeah. any of our favorites, <laughs> but we still no, ended Edison. up talking about him. Uh, Plushy, who's I your mean, favorite? His gameplay is really fun, though. I don't oh, know. Yeah. Okay, look, I think it's. I, I think a Stolfel's a cop out. Like, yeah, a Stolfel's such yeah, a that's the Coomer choice. Yeah, that's such a Coomer choice. I mean, he is the he's the one cooming, but it's still a Coomer choice. Uh, I mean, but it could um, be mutual. Unison cooming. I'd hope it's. I have mutual. to think about it. No, I don't. I don't want to think about it. He he's he will forever be my most viewed video. I mean, but I I, I might have to think <laughs> about it. If not for us, awful. He's also like my only grailed male character. Damn. Uh, so I have to think Damn, about I... it. Plushy, thank you for reminding me that I'm not as much of a coomer as I could be, because <laughs> like I look at my grail list. I see dozens of women, but I'm glad to see that there are like two men. <laughs> that is better than like 80% of FGO players. Yeah. That's probably more men that you grailed than 80% of FGO players. Shout out What's to every 120 uh, Jolter out there. You guys are very original. No, no, no. What's original? <laughs> what's original is 120 God. Morgan. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah. I mean, male Morgan characters or are. Male characters are usually pretty cool. Like Tez Kali Polka is cool, right? Yeah. Like there, there's a lot of cool. Like I, I, I think Rasputin's pretty cool, right? Like I mean, there's a lot of really cool ca male characters. Moriarty, like, people, like, Moriarty's design goes hard as fuck. Dude is true, awesome. Moriarty. Yeah, and That's... then Oberon. People love Oberon, even though I think he's a bit overrated. Yeah, a little bit. But... Uh, oh, somebody's gonna kill. Uh, actually, no. I, I think people can understand when no. I say I think Oberon's a bit overrated. Like honestly. I... I res I'll say this, I respect Oberon because I I because of like how he came into the game and what he did for Lost Belt 6. And yeah. I respect the artist a lot for like going from completely hand drawn to digital to make him. Uh yeah. it's still not my favorite design ever. Yeah. But it's good. It's I mean fine. I mean in terms of Lost Belt males, like uh, like what they did in the story and stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but like Tez Kali Polka is definitely a lot cooler to me than uh, than Oberon. Yeah. But uh, I mean, also because you know he is Tez Kali Polka. Like his lore was already pretty, like not toppable. <laughs> it's yeah, kind of wild pretty, what he does. Pretty based individual. Yeah. yeah, pretty based. So I did watch that video about like Aztec, or uh, you made about the uh, Lost Boat Seven. With Talaluk. Oh yeah, they're and, uh... reading about Aztec mythology is insane because uh, the immediate it's so the the comments on that video are interesting because you have the people who are like I'm happy that they were all genocided by the Spanish and then you have the people who are like that was really cool <laughs> and there's not really an in between on that like it's just like what? these. I, I shit, go look at those comments. There are people who are just like, wow, I'm glad the Spanish came and did that shit. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Ex fuck, excuse me. <laughs> we didn't get any of that in Lost Belt Seven, though. I think no. Oh, I mean, I, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, what's my favorite male character? Yes, that is the question that I asked. Yeah, that's a. Can 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 you do yours first? I am struggling All right. here. All right, I'll give you time to think if you actually do think about it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I am thinking about it. Okay, I'm so. So I've got four male servants gra uh, grailed, and on two of my uh, uh, they're on separate accounts for the most part. Uh, two of my accounts have two of them each, which are the same servants. Um, on both NA and JP, I have Salieri and Tawara Toda uh, grailed. Oh hell, the fuck yeah! Uh, Salieri's probably my favorite one. Um, he just sucks in gameplay, and I'm really, really sad about that. Uh, because, like, I, I love his design. Uh, I'm 
I was a band kid, so I, I do love music. Uh, dude, I, I would I would wail for a Tchaikovsky servant, like male or female, honestly. <laughs> um, but I also like Tota because he's he's got some Chad energy. Uh, like the story behind him, it's pretty simple, but I do like the the energy behind it. Basically, uh, I do also have an account where I have a 120 Fergus, who's just like absolutely maxed the fuck out so uh but that's not 100 percent because i really like him uh it's just like I, I had a feeling that like whenever they buffed him he'd he'd pop off and he yeah he really did and then i also grilled caster Gilles on that account because it's funny um <laughs> after yeah like i would also say kentucky is one of my favorites. I've never grilled Kentucky, but I'd love to. Uh, it's just none of the accounts I have them on. I I don't have that freedom. <laughs> I, I just have so many other grails I want to do. Which one, Zerker Rider? Uh, Zerker. I find Zerker is uh, uh, a bit. I I like him more. Uh, I, I like his gameplay more. I'd say. Uh, I know that's a very strange thing to say because like when people think of Kentucky, they don't really think of gameplay, because he's very one-note. But, uh... I wish we could keep his clothes and the shades and change the hair. <laughs> because the, the bowl cut, it doesn't quite do it for me. <laughs> like, yeah. Are, you know, like yeah. He-Man? Uh, it's just He-Man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Oh my god. I think Arcade has the option of changing his, up his hair, but yeah. Arcade should have just had a He Man costume, to be honest. Should be uh, more meme costume. No, dude. Instead, we will get blackface for Sean. <laughs> oh, yeah, they. Well, I mean, let, us, let, it, let us white face Ozymandias. <laughs> at, at least it's just. Uh... It's just uh, you know, it's a calibration. Oh, that sounds so bad. Like we calibrate. calibrated, so it's so, it's, so so they're now black. I mean, like that. That, that I, I think that's what the color, the, the the palette swap is called in an arcade. It's called calibration, calibration skins, um, which is just palette swaps, like like in fighting games and stuff. So, yeah. I was gonna say that like they do that shit in fighting games all the time. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's blackface, but it's. Uh, yeah, I don't know if but it's the do podcast they? Like, <laughs> but do, yeah. do they usually change the skin color on those? Yeah, it's like Guilty Gear Strive. Yeah, yeah, you can you can do. make like uh, uh, I don't know. I don't, yeah, they do. I don't yeah, play you can fighting change, games. You can, I, yeah, no, you you can normally change like yeah. entire appearances like that. Yeah, yeah because yeah, it's, it, just... it's like they have like a couple of color blocks on a character, and they just like remix it. So it's yeah. actually quite often you get like dark skin. On, on a previously white character. Yeah. I mean, I'd say this. I don't. If it's one hundred percent not done with malicious intent, I mean, that's yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that's a lot of that is just because you want to be able to differentiate in case you're playing a ditto comp, right? Uh, but that's it, not exactly what happens in FGO. I don't know. It's just these days, yeah, like these days with how things are, you kind of have to think about that type thing, type of thing more often. Yeah. You it's have to just, be very it's just careful. How society is now. Yeah, yeah, like how NA bleached Emia Alter. Yeah, I, I oh, love bro. that. That's oh, amazing. That's weird. That one's really uh, weird. Yeah, uh, yeah. I I think that's very stupid, but I'm not gonna. Not as stupid on as that, that one guy that was harassing their Twitter until he got blocked because of it. I yeah. remember that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's Every that? post. What that a, wasn't what a the guy. Yeah, that wasn't the same guy that uh that dressed up in blackface and took a picture with Albert, was it? Because did someone cosplay what? as as Emia Alter? Uh, and oh, no. yeah, yeah, and it, it it's it's kind of a funny picture because Albert looks so uncomfortable there, <laughs> and I don't blame him. Jesus. Uh. Oh, dude. That's horrible. I've not seen that. That makes me very, un very upset. Like yeah. Christ. Yeah. That's horrible. People on NA are weird. People on JP are just 
un uh, they are insane though like uh, it's it, a lot of people don't see yeah. this type of people but like i mean there's motherfuckers out there who who have wailed for np 200 oh, yeah. proto merlin yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> and rhinus they have, yeah they have a single copy of proto merlin from level one to level 100 yeah each level so they have a level one programmer, they have a level two programmer, they have a level three, all the way up to level 100. Yeah, they're insane. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck that happens, but... It's the one, is they... Well, being someone who lives in Japan, I, this is, I can't make a generalization, so don't take this as that, but I know some people who do some, stuff that's similar, except not with, like, fate, not, like, games. There's a girl who I know who just, like, the one thing that she puts her money into is buying, like, precious stones. And not even like hmm. expensive, expensive ones like ruby or amethyst, like quartz, like big quartz. ass things of quartz. Hey, hey, that's them. where plus she puts his money Same too. Quartz, let's go. Oh let's shit! Go. She's it all IRL comes back F. around. Player. It why? all comes back to F. Joe, baby. Yeah. To answer the question as to why, why do you spend money on gotcha? Why do you yeah, spend it... money on anything that that is just like a an expense to have some like anime figures for example it's you buy it because it's something you want and why yeah. do you want them they, they, i don't fucking know do, do i look clairvoyant yeah <laughs> we assign our own value to it dude that's yeah. why that's why the number one investment is land but i'd imagine that's a little harder to get in japan so, yes. land, i mean yeah land is not a lot of any it. land bro yeah, it's like, seventy percent forest and mountains, and good luck. Yeah, I I do not know the like the super detail about Japanese housing right now, but I I mean I was in Taiwan. It's like almost as bad, and it's just horrendous. Like you literally you spend so much money, and then they cram you into like a washing machine. I live Damn. in a two room I, apartment. It, it... <laughs> oh my god! Sorry, not even an apartment. It's it's not an apartment. It's a it's a duplex. I share a wall with somebody. Oh. oh no! Mind yeah, it's you, just, yeah, it's uh, it hello, could be worse. Dude. Hello, Klidge's roommate. Hello. Yeah, it's just dude, he doesn't speak dude. English. It's okay. Uh, Ohio. Uh, I do worry about him hearing me react to gotcha shit and screaming at like nine in the morning. Sorry, nine at night. <laughs> nine. Nine's pretty early, huh? Yeah. Uh, yes and no. Dude, I got screamed at by my uh, roommate once because i was watching jp stream and it was like 5 a.m oh hell yeah wow and then he moved out and then now i just don't have a roommate and i took over the whole house the, the whole apartment oh hell yeah yeah nice. poggers nice. <laughs> is he still paying his rent or now you have to cover no that? no 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 <laughs> i mean no his room is locked so i, oh, I only okay. like we only share the living room and the kitchen so, but I get to have the whole kitchen. That's cool. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 I make like pan fried salmon. Damn, I don't you, know fry what I said. you fry that shit with your hands? Damn. Yeah, no, it said pan, but then yeah. annoy your room. Oh, I thought I you said pan. You got... said pan. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't, th I don't think they left because I annoyed them, but I was a little bit like guilty. I feel a little bit guilty because like they they left like at about the time when phd students graduate here so i'm gonna assume mm. that's what happened but yeah hey, don't feel bad about it you're in a better place now because of it now yeah. uh yeah yeah i'm <laughs> by the sounds of things i'm one of the worst types of roommates <laughs> yeah. i mean yeah like hey if they don't like me they should move out and I am going and to actively make complaint. it worse until then. I'm yeah, not he... good at cooking. I just cook because it's cheaper and I can spend more on gotcha. I'm not joking. Oh, yeah. E eating out yeah. in America fucking sucks. This shit is pricey. Yeah. Dude. And like, especially if I want to call DoorDash. Bruh. Oh my oh, god. Dude. Yeah, minus $50. Have fun. Yeah, yeah, let me <laughs> let me horrendous. spend uh, fifteen dollars for like a burger and have someone angry that I didn't tip enough. Yeah, like I mean, I could be getting minerals. World. Like I, I I don't have a car and I live in fucking Baltimore. If I, if I don't go home at seven, I get shot. 
No, I was going to say, you're in Baltimore? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm in Baltimore, bro. That's a, that's a huge meme, but yeah, I'm in Baltimore. That's a, Yeah, have fun with that. That's fu a funny, funny place. Funny, funny place. <laughs> oh, dude, I know, right? Dude, I hate, I hate tipping culture. Like, I was, I played, uh, I played, uh, I spent a decent amount of time as like a, a pizza delivery driver and like as far as tips go like they are well set uh, because tip culture around that is a lot better than in a lot of places but but holy shit i just hate the fact that tip culture is a thing because it shouldn't be like it's it, you're just forcing part of the uh burden of paying your employees onto the customers yeah and if yeah. you don't do that, if you don't pay extra money for something, then they, uh, then the anger has to be redirected onto the customer, which is stupid because the, the fault yeah. lies with the restaurant for not fucking paying. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know how that is a thing. Is, uh, I can tell you, but it's not a fun stream topic. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I, yeah, I don't literally mean that, but I, I remember yeah. like, like my father told me because he lived in the states for a bit he said he like went back and then he like went to japan once and he tried to leave a tip and then he left and then the clerk like chased him out and then yep. told him did, did you did you forget about your money and it was like it was like barely anything as well and then but they like they just not they're not used to this thing and they're just mm -hmm. like oh you know they, they don't immediately think of oh that must be a tip no they don't they're like, oh, he definitely dropped his money, right? Which is like, it yeah. just doesn't, it just doesn't exist anywhere else. Yeah, we're gaslit into thinking that we're tipping because we're nice people, when the reason yeah. why we're tipping is because we're making up for the restaurants. Restaurants are bad people. Paying. Like, dude, yeah, I was, dude, I was shopping around for jobs the other day, and I, I saw this one job uh, that was a buster position, and it said. We're we're starting you at four dollars an hour. Like, what? Like I know they they pay they pay some of the differential there, but like holy shit, four dollars? You're supposed to pay? Oh god. Yeah, that's like, a like it's bad. It's yeah, bad dude. Shit. I live in Georgia. We have like one of the lowest minimum wages, but that's still like half of that. Ugh. Yeah. Four dollars an hour, Holy including shit. tax. Uh, I, I don't know the whole logistics of it, but usually, usually they will have like a base rate that they will uh, that they pay you, and if you don't make uh, enough, like it, with tips, if you don't make enough to hit minimum wage, they'll pay the difference. Uh, but okay. like, okay, so on a bad day, you're making minimum wage. That's not. That's shit. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. And that's why I don't <sighs> like tip jobs. <laughs> and that's why I'm unemployed. <laughs> yeah, uh, shit sucks. All right, uh, well, that's... Yeah. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, uh, our friend here it can't be here for the whole stream. Because, uh, he has yeah, work. I've got... Yeah. <laughs> speaking yeah. of work... <laughs> yeah, speaking of me being unemployed... Oh. Uh, yeah, if you have any last questions... Uh, oh, yeah. What are my... Oh. last questions uh -oh. um some of these were kind of just like answered without being asked but uh but it was Hell just yeah. like time filler stuff yeah sure yeah i, I think you just uh, got think one more good. all right got let me ask more. you guys a question then oh, oh okay. all right sure. oh, oh go, sure, sure. Yeah, go right ahead no, no, please please uh, i don't no, uh what was wait okay. what were you saying were you gonna ask yeah him what a were question? you saying no, it's no. He no, I wasn't. What? Uh, uh, Quidge, I wasn't. you talk. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're bad at this. All right. If you could make one major change, okay. No, better. No, better question. This is what I love asking people. If you could remove any one servant from FGO forever and it could never be replaced, who would it be? Castoria. You know, you know, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I'm not bro. Joking. It's Bro. either it's either Castoria or Oberon. It, yeah, mm. like you remove Castoria, that is just going to massively change the game. And honestly, I don't feel like it'll be in too bad of a way because she's just she's just a cheat button. She's just the answer to everything. I mean, maybe Oberon. Like, okay, 
if I assume 90 plus plus like HP wouldn't be as high if we remove Oberon, then my answer might be Oberon. But uh, if we don't, ass I don't know, man. Like, okay. I, but I think of this though: like, is Oberon going to be as good without Castoria? I mean, it's, yeah. Uh, you like w okay? Uh, without Castoria, okay. you just make Buster the best farming. Type. Well, yeah. Yeah, it, it... and then Ober and then Oberon makes it even worse because he 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 boosts Buster damage even more. Uh, but like obviously, I, I know there's gonna be some issues, and I did grail a lot, dude. Okay, I grailed Durga, um, Summer Kiara, Summer Ibuki, Summer Kama, and Space Ishtar. I grailed like five AOE arts, right? Like so, so if we remove Castoria, I'd be like ultra fucked in terms of gameplay, but. I, I really think Castoria's existence made a lot of challenge quests like like yeah. people stop caring because it's just there's no point because you just win if you bring her and this is yeah. Honestly, dude, like I feel like even even if you do remove Castoria, I still feel like Arts is gonna be the best in challenge quests. Just because like even eh. without her, there's still oh, a you lot have of Proto Merlin. Yeah, I there's... forgot Proto Merlin. Yeah, there's this, still man. a lot of art synergizing uh supports out there like it's the most convenient type uh, it's just you can't spam as easily but you still have other ones like you, you will still have jufu like yeah, that's yeah not I, much i mean but yeah something like gameplay wise probably castoria unfortunately um i'd much rather they just keep the berserker one in terms of her gameplay um but yeah the funny answer is Muramasa. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that, that was the serious answer. Now, what's the one that is? What's the absolute hater answer? Just out of the spite. Hater answer. Out, out of spite. spite. Okay. Like for me, out I would get spite. rid of Emia because funny. Wow, bro. I'd get rid of. Um, <laughs> who can I get rid of to piss people off? Exactly. <laughs> okay, you know what? Okay, people are gonna kill me, and I don't. I don't genuinely think this, but it would be so funny if they just removed Musashi from the game to be lore accurate. Bro, that would be really funny. <laughs> that would be, that so would be funny. hilarious. It, it would be so if they just removed her from the game, like I'm after, sorry, like if you pa <laughs> if you pa pass Lost Ball Five, she just fucking like just dips from your collection. That'd be so funny. Just can't use her anymore. Yeah, she's just gone. Like it's yeah. just bye. She, she, her, her, um, her servant icon becomes a purchase link for a uh, samurai remnant. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, question: By yeah. remove one servant, does that mean all variations of that servant, or just one servant? Yes. Oh all my of god! I, gone. Get yeah, that me. that changes things a bit. <laughs> no, you can kill like twenty Liz with one stone. Yeah. I, I wouldn't do that though because you know you know i feel like the most chaotic evil thing i could do would be remove nero like Ooh. like uh it, it, i just find nero fans really fucking annoying <laughs> so wow so really? hey I mean, I so hey if they have no if they have no reason to play this game i don't have to deal with them anymore <laughs> boy Draco though, yeah. Draco yeah, though. Yeah, I've got more Draco. I've got more threats from Saber fans than Nero fans, but I don't know. Basically, I like Nero but, more. See, if you remove Saber, you'd solve both problems. You'd still remove yeah. Castoria. If if you if you removed all Artorias, you'd still remove Castor. How many Artorias are there? Like, holy shit! You'd remove yes. so many characters in this game. Jesus yeah. Christ. You, you remove, oh, like, yeah. is, when you, probably wait, actually, second. like, almost 20 characters. Wait, if we if remove we Castoria, that would, that would by proxy remove all of them anyways. Oh my god. Yeah. Would that yeah. remove Morgan? No. No. Okay. No, you, no, Tonalico lives. Okay. She wins. Yeah. Let's That'd go. Be... If, oh, if you okay. remove Saber Oh my god. Yeah, many, yeah, remove all know. Saber faces. Bruh. The game would be so different if you were It would, it'd be fan. better. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, I gotta go to work. Right. <laughs> on, on that bombshell. Thanks that was a good man. question that to hit us cool. with. Uh, I kinda wish you guys yeah. asked it earlier, but it was a good one to leave off on still. Yeah, sorry. Uh, well, what yeah. a great idea. Have a good day uh, at work, you, man. Bro. Thank you so much right, for yeah, being thanks here. Thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it was a, it was a lot of fun.
It was a lot of fun. Yep. If you ever want to, you know, ever want to go yep. again, just hit me up. All right. I, I, I'll be honest, I kind of got fucked over by daylight savings. I don't even live in that country anymore. Because yeah. yeah, I, uh, I woke up at 4.30 instead of 5.30 because I forgot the clocks got shifted. Oh, yeah. no, I'm sorry. You yeah. lost an hour of sleep. Yeah, this sucks, man. I, I hope they don't do it no, yeah, they, they should yeah. stop doing it. <laughs> they should. Yeah, they should stop. No reason for but, it. Yeah. All right. So you guys, I hope you guys have a good rest of your podcast. It was yeah. great, great, great right. part of it. I really appreciate it. Sorry to leave in such a hurry. <laughs> That's fine. All right. See you. See you. Have fun. Peace yeah, out, man. Later, guys. Peace out. Right, Go check out their stuff. Bye. Yeah. Good. Ju- check out his stuff too. Yeah. Why is he still talk? Okay. Huh? He- okay. Never mind. Well, it's screen uh, delay. I was like. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we still, we still have a bit of podcasting to do here. Uh, we can still yeah chat about stuff. Like uh, I don't think we've really chatted about uh, the most recent the servants. Servant? Yeah. So uh, we True, can just true because just, I yeah yeah we can just fill that. I'm, uh, I am almost done with the hot take. God, I I am I've been procrastinating so hard because um. Recently, there's some stuff at uh, school. It's just uh, feels bad, yeah. but it's not really procrastinating. Yeah. If more important things get in the way, it's just uh, it's just how things work, yeah. the way I see it, at least. Uh... Yeah. What's your favorite male servant? Oh yeah, here's the thing. My favorite oh. male servant changes depending on like the story. Like, because I I usually don't have like an attachment to a male servant, so it's really like dependent on how cool they are in the story and i would have to say like as of now it's probably either rasputin or tez cutley polka rasputin because i actually like how he plays like as as weird as it sounds i like his play style yeah i like his like talk yeah, like guts it. bullshit it, it's really funny uh and tez cutley polka is because he is just such a he's such a badass in lost spell seven he doesn't give a shit he just kills people like, he's probably the most, like, no bullshit FGO character that would just kill a guy. And it's not even, like, killing a guy by, like, you know, like, very, it, like, crazy. No, he just shoots you in the forehead. He is so crazy. Like, I love him so much in the story. He's, like, he's he's he's, he's amazing. Even though I don't like his third ascension art. Like, uh, ugh. I, I just don't think that translates well into like. Ha- have you seen the artist's art book of Tez? Uh, like, I mean, I didn't buy it, but like, have you seen him tweet like just promotional images of it? I have not. Uh, like, you you're literally not just me. take. Yeah, I mean, I'm asking you, but like, you literally take any page. It probably looked better than his third ascension art in game. Like, I'm not yeah. joking. You literally take like any page of that art book where it's it's not. It doesn't feel like watercolor because i follow his twitter now because he he's he's pretty funny he, he posts about his like fgo play where he i, I think he rolled on dolman and he, he like hit pity or something i don't know jeez <laughs> but, but yeah like he's um he he got into fgo because of tez and then like he he's been like a new i i always love these like like artists or vas who got into fgo uh yeah. because of their character These's and then he's people. like the only one He's like the only one who constantly posts updates about his account. It's so funny. It's wholesome. <laughs> like, because because most other people, I feel like they just post it like once or twice. They just they either drop the game or they just like play it in private. But he's like the only one who constantly tweets about it still. And it's Damn. just I, I I don't know. He's he's a funny guy. Um, but yeah, like he uh he he got so many cool art in his like art book of tez and he also has like i don't know he's just cool anyway all right so i got it set up now we can uh, we should probably just start with ptolemaeus uh yeah ptolemaeus yeah ptolemaeus so here's this guy oh is that it's actually great to talk about him before i finish off my hot take because i might change some stuff because yeah yeah well He's weird as shit. Uh, His face cards suck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Actual horror. Yeah, so... Yeah, 0.43%. You multiply that by 3, you get, like... What? It's 1.29%. 
which yeah it sounds yeah. normal for like a an arts deck but he doesn't have an arts deck he has a buster np with yeah. two arts cards or he has an arts np and his arts quick card and his quick hit count isn't like higher it's also three yeah it's actually fucking horrible like if his quick was like six hits maybe i don't know dude it's horrible it his, his mighty chain mp gain is actually so bad it's disappointing because it's like okay i'll we'll, i'll get to that later because it's one of his skills sorry yeah he, uh it just feels like the internals of an art stack uh it's they just yeah um but yeah buster arts kind of weird uh but like it makes sense with what the, you do with them uh i do like his first skill hey thanks for the uh, thanks for the raid we're in the middle of a podcast right now. Uh, thank you. I think his first that. skill is... Yeah. Other than the 15 stars, it's kind of like... I feel like they, they, they have a lot of these kinds of skills formatted where there's like a charisma and there's like a couple of return effects for the team. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, like, I kind of like the idea behind it, but they did they did something like this really recently with... Uh, with one uh, Gina? Yeah, one Gina. Except hers is just yeah. way better better Cause, yeah because it's region for five turns five. and instead of stars yeah. it's np region which is better yeah like this is just i honestly i think his his star per turn is fine like 15 is a big number but i i, I think the region is such a waste like if the region was mp gen per turn instead bro yeah he that might make him too good at looping though i don't know yeah it's just, it's it, i don't like the cooldown though um it makes sense because yeah. like it, it's just uh an objectively better charisma but still uh then we yeah. got uh team arts and buster so he's already got all of the same buffs as shiba <laughs> for the team uh and then like hot sorry you, you, go, uh, ahead. you go ahead okay so Hot take, because one thing I love to say every single time when I see one of those spread skills is that I hope it's single target and the number is higher. But honestly, for him in this skill in particular, I think I actually kind of like it being AoE because I know if it's only to himself, it's still just going to be 30% anyways. So like I actually kind of like the spread buff being team-wide, not AoE, sorry, team-wide, uh, because yeah. it pairs with the charisma kind of kind of works kind of maybe a little bit yeah I don't know. yeah like uh it's also nice like uh team buster buffs is kind of whatever but team arts buffs are good because that means your supports are going to get a little bit better in gain too it's something i've noticed with yeah. shiba um yeah. and then the crit chance down like it's a shame it's not 30 percent, but you're probably not going to use them against the the things that have 30 percent crit chance I think most sabers are like 15 or 20. So, how does this work again? Uh, it depends on it depends on what enemy it is, but most classes most enemy classes have specific uh numbers that they follow. I think sabers are normally 15%, so it would go down to uh less than 0% chance of critting for them because it's additive. They just don't crit. Yeah. Um uh, assassins Is there a list of it? Um, I'm not sure if there's a compiled list for it, but you can find all, you can find all those numbers okay. in, uh, uh, in Atlas, uh, on enemies. Uh, I, I might have to, like, God, I might have to include this list then. Yeah, it's, uh, that is one thing that people just, uh, mess up with on crit chance, uh, uh, crit resist in particular, I, I really do like because uh, usually they'll gear it towards uh, resisting that their counterclass, or the thing they're counterclassing, uh, which is good because that's mm -hmm. that means they're he's just helping protect uh, the casters from the sabers that he's going to be up against, mm -hmm. and then it's a fifty percent battery. I don't like the cooldown, but that's because it's a pretty loaded skill, honestly. Yeah, it, it's like I am kind of sure it's Koyam proofing, but I, I mean, I don't know why you would care about 111 farming, but yeah. Wow, Saber is 10%. Is it like the same for every class, or is it like different enemies can be different? 
base crit chance. I'm I'm sorry, I was reading something in chat. Were you asking me something? Yeah, I, I was asking about the base crit chance thing. Like, like, is uh, it just specifically tied to each class, or like enemies can vary? I think like even I think they're... certain bosses can have higher ones, but uh, uh... I think they're generally around the same. Uh, like, I think berserkers are basically always at ten percent, but there are some weird exceptions. Like, for example, in the, uh, you know, the that advanced quest that has uh, Jekyll. And he turns into hide. Oh, uh, that's a yeah. very niche situation because he maintains probably... the crit rate from uh, the assassin, the assassin. Uh, which is why he crits so often. It's still thirty yeah. percent instead of ten percent. That's that's so interesting. I look. I I did not know um, that it was tied to class. Yeah, it, it <laughs> it's kind of random. I, I haven't really looked into a lot of them, but uh, I yeah. I know that. Berserkers are consistently low and assassins are consistently high. Uh, I see. But it's sort of just like the server mod stuff. It's uh, it's very specific to whatever class. Uh, just more stuff that isn't mentioned in the game at all. Yeah, like this is such a... Uh, like crit, crit resist is probably like one of the most like unknown mechanics. Yeah. Like, like I, 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 I feel like it's fair to say crit resist is probably one of the most unknown mechanics by by most people. It's just yeah, like um, like you don't even know what the twenty percent means for like half the time for people. I feel like yeah, like, just... uh, and I think that's uh, that's one thing that a lot of people mess up on it. Like a lot of people think it's even less useful because they assume that it's a multiplicative chain. Yeah, oh, so like so like. If they have a base 30% chance and you have a 20% uh, debuff on them, then that doesn't mean they remove 6%. That means they remove 20%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's just complicated stuff. Uh, so anyways, yeah, they, speaking of complicated stuff, he's got a weird third skill. Uh, oh, of I, I looked at this like as soon as it dropped on Atlas, it was... I, had, I almost had an aneurysm. Yeah, because Atlas doesn't, um, it doesn't translate it to, uh, to, um, readable format, yeah. if I shall say. Because, like, it, it just said, uh, like, uh, transform something, something, enemy yeah. form, something. It, something it's yeah. automatically added in, so, like, it, yeah. uh, I'm not going to fault them for it. Because, yeah. like, I don't think we've even had a skill like this before, so. Uh, but, yeah, like... Uh, if he is in stage one or two, he this skill gives him uh, thirty percent charge, uh, thirty percent MP damage uh, for three turns, and then makes him become AOE arts. And he, yeah, uh, and then yep. if you do it the other way around, so you can do it either way on the same stage. Like you can use it on turn five, uh, and then yep. turn ten, and just switch back and forth. Yeah. Uh, but then this yeah. switches him back into single target Buster, which gives him Buster Crit. This skill's kind of busted. If you look yeah, at yeah. This is a really good skill. Um, yeah. Uh, Thirty percent in Pigeon. It's just the complicated aspect of it is you have to choose between those because, uh, like, you've got five turns of this uh, downtime. Like, honestly. Like, I don't know if this is even a hot take. I think he would just straight up be a better servant if if this skill just is one time. Like, the transformation is only one time. But, like, like for example, if you start with AoE, he just sticks. He just becomes single target forever. And if, and if you start with single target, he just becomes AoE forever. And, like, this skill, the crit thing at five turn cooldown, bro. Yeah, yeah I get that. Yeah. Uh, he's just kind of complicated, I, I'd say. Uh, I don't yeah. think it's as bad, but, like, I haven't used him that much, but I I'm sort of just applying uh, the logic that I've used with Bargast, because Bargast functions similarly. Uh, she isn't forced to switch, but you still might want to switch in certain contexts. We'll get to that in a second, though. Uh, like, a, a, a weird thing I found out about using him is like this skill is almost a six turn cooldown. 
uh, the third skill, which is a weird thing to say, but the reason I say that is because majority of the meta supports uh, card buff, card type buffs are at the six turn cooldown. So like, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, like if, if you want to line it up, like you, you can technically treat it. I don't know. You, you know, you know what I mean? Like, like if you want to line it up, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Well, his passives are sort of just normal. He's got an arts buff passive, which is nice. Uh, it doesn't yeah. help him that much, I would say, because he just has a really low, low base number. Uh, so I feel like it's more impactful on his damage, if anything at all. Uh, I mean, yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, but, it helps his refund. He's an arts looper, so why yeah. not? Yeah. Uh, but speaking of arts looping, his NP in his first two stages, single target buster, uh, ignores defense. Uh, hold on, actually. I'm going to resize this window. It, it's kind of cramped. I mean, it's go. different from UDK Vargas. Like, he's very different from UDK Vargas yeah. in terms of, in yeah. my opinion. But... but Yeah, pretty simple. It's just defense down after damage, NP damage before damage. Uh, the other one is basically the same thing. It's AoE Arts, except instead of uh, instead of Ignore Defense, he has Ignore Evade. Uh, everything else is very similar. Uh, so, but yeah, it's AoE Arts. He has good refund from what I've seen. Um, hold on. Just run my own calcs right quick. 0.4 times 15... Yeah, 6.4 at base. Yeah, that's really solid. Um, yeah, because it's five hits. It's like yeah. most... like It's it's kind of like Summary Buki? Question? I don't remember her numbers, but... Yeah, I think that's... I think they're around the same amount. Um, yeah. Yeah, but he, he doesn't quite... Well, actually, he has a very comparable amount of modifiers for it, because he has 31% arts and 30% MP gain. Yeah. Because he'll... If you're arts looping with him, you'll start in his first two ascensions, just so you can use this skill, uh, and you can use this skill because that's really good for. Uh, oh wait, actually, the NP gain. No, he. Yeah, the. No, he doesn't have. He doesn't get it. He he gets the thirty battery. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought yeah. the NP gain buff happened on both. No, no, no. My bad. No, he'd be too good. Like he, I I, I did the calculation because you know people like looping. He can loop one one. He he's like he his looping freedom is the same as Ruler Melusin. Yeah, he can loop and like if, if you overkill on one hit of his MP, he can loop one 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 berserkers with uh of of course it's you know double Castoria plug Oberon, but he doesn't need starting charge. Yeah, um, which is I don't know if people care, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one thing that kind of. That uh, I I know for a fact people don't like though, is he doesn't really have a niche. Like basically everyone, yeah. especially farmers, have have uh, like their own earth or yeah. or man attribute niches, but he doesn't have any of those. So so like this this NP multiplier here, that's that's what you get. Like uh, it's yeah. whatever. Like you're not gonna be boosting that in contexts. Yeah. Uh, so I think one issue that a lot of people have is they don't want to use this skill twice. Uh, and yep. I, I get that because you're probably going to try and build a more art-centric team or a more buster-centric team. Uh, and yep. you might not want to switch back and forth on that because that can be a bit complicated or random. It just depends on where you are. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't think it's really that crazy, though, if you plan ahead. Because, like, let's say you're in a an AoE challenge quest. So, like, you're going to be dealing with a lot of enemies. Uh, but towards the end of the fight, you're probably only going to have one or two enemies left. And if you switch yeah. back to single target, that can help you deal with those last ones faster. Because you're going to be yeah. uh, lower on the value that you have at the end. And... Finishing them off real fast is a 
kind of a nice thing. That's one thing I really like about uh, UDK, because she's able to... You can use her as AoE, mm -hmm. but like at the end, if you've killed one or two enemies, you can just switch her over and she kills faster. Yeah, UDK actually has a, pulls this off better. Like I, oh yeah, I I tried both. I tried like fighting boss. Okay, so 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 I I tried him in CQs. If you start, if you build like a Buster team around him, you never want to press that again. Yeah, it's horrible. But if if you start with Arts, it's fine. Cause like the the thing with CQs is like even if you're using a Buster servant, you usually still bring Castoria. Yeah. So. For, for like cq so so like it doesn't really matter uh so like e even in single target form i i calculated i calculated the damage only for farming because like you you literally cannot calc damage for for cqs but like um ptolemyus's Tal damage single target with single target without 100 percent arts up is about the same as aoe with 100 percent extra arts up in terms of the mp damage which is very funny uh, the single target wins out by a little bit, um, but yeah. yeah I, I'd imagine that like the time, the time you want to switch this is over is when you've lost like all your arts buffs or buster buffs. But uh, yeah, I get what you're talking about with uh, switching yeah, yeah, one yeah. to the other, but not the other way around. Because like yeah. if if I'm at the point where I'm, uh, so if I'm building a team around Buster. A Buster Servant. Uh, I am less likely to... A Buster Servant is more likely to appreciate arts uh, supports than a, an art servant is going to appreciate yeah. Buster supports. Yeah, uh, I appreciate Buster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, guess, I guess that is a point, yeah. Yeah, because Buster is, like, really specialized uh, in just focusing on damage, whereas arts yeah. uh, not only has better supports, but it also has, like, it, everyone... Yeah. Everyone likes arts buffs. Like, Quick yeah. likes arts buffs. Buster likes arts buffs because arts is just universally a really useful card. Yeah. So, and, and also, like, yeah, art supports are just generally better. Um, yeah. yeah, so, like, I'd imagine just, like, switching, uh, switching back into AoE can be a bit awkward. Trash? Yeah. Oh, well, fuck you. He's not trash. <laughs> he is he is not trash bro so like his his de like yeah he doesn't have anti-trade right but if we just compare him with like aoe arts archers john does john has anti-law force no john buffs lawful she doesn't have any she no, doesn't she have any she has anti-law for it does she have anti-trade she john doesn't Archer? have anything anti uh yeah okay. she so yeah, but she does buff lawful servants. Yeah, so John Archer doesn't have any anti trait. Durga has two anti traits, but like depends on what your fight. I do think Durga's better in the boss fight, but I don't know. It's uh, like his damage. Okay, if his damage doesn't beat the other options neutral, I'd say that's a huge problem without yeah. anti trait. But his damage actually beats the other traitless. Like, like if, if everyone is traitless, he does the most damage out of all the AoE arts. Like, e even if we consider uh, Black Grill and, like, Castoria and stuff. So, I see. like, yeah. So, like, his damage is actually pretty good. Like, his damage without, um, without traits is, is the highest. And also, when, if we talk CQs, he can, he can ramp up the defense down yeah which can be pretty huge so like i don't think it's actually that big of a but like for farming it could be a problem like for farming it could definitely be a problem because you know the defense down is like it doesn't do shit on farming but yeah i mean yeah 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 it's uh uh i, I do feel like i don't know i kind of want to say i like durga more as far as gameplay goes like, he's interesting. Uh, he's definitely very interesting yeah. and very unique. Uh, but I feel Durga's like... Durga's a straightforward, easy to use in CQs. Yeah, and also, right. like, her survival. Uh, it's a lot more selfish, but it's a lot better. Because, like, three time... Yeah. Isn't it a three time, three turn invuln? Yeah, yeah, three time, three turn invuln. Yeah. It is six turn cooldown, but it's pretty good. Like, it's bad in solos, but it's really good in teams. 
she's really boring, but like I feel like she's yeah. going to be a little more consistent in that regard, at least. Uh, yeah, I think in Challenge Quest, Darga is easier to use. Like in Challenge Quest, you just you are like in terms of when you should press that third skill is just it's gonna fuck you up in my opinion. Like if you're not yeah. very experienced with him, he's he's a servant for smart people. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess you can play him dumb, uh, but like. Durga yeah. has bad refund? No, she doesn't. She has bad card gain. She doesn't have bad refund. She has eight hits on her MP, bro. No, ten hits, sorry. Is it? Damn, ten hits. Jeez. It's ten. It's ten hits because of the. um, Because of lore. I I'm assuming. Be because... Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and assume hits? that. What Wait. he meant was like the cards not being good. Yeah, but, yeah. Because like yeah, I know some cards. Yeah, because yeah, some people use those terms. Oh no, she has eight hits, is... bro. She doesn't have ten hits. Oh, I thought she had. No, she has eight hits. What am I talking about? I'm sorry. I know some wow, people, nice one twenty yeah. burger. I don't even know how many hits she has. She has eight hits. My bad. I thought it was eight. I thought it was eight. Uh, yeah, she but I eight. wasn't going to. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to correct you on it because you're the Durga expert here. Why does she why does she not have 10 hits? Lore wise she should have 10 hits. She gets 10 weapons. She has 10 divine weapons, bro. Yeah, anyways. Yeah, I, I feel like some people have a bad habit of like misconstruing those terms, like swapping them around. Um Yeah, probably. Yeah, cuz like I mean refund I use it Yeah. Yeah, refund should be specifically on MP. Yeah. Just because you get it back from using it, that's why yeah. it's called refund. But I, I mean, I I, yeah. I I do use wrong terms as well. Yeah. Like some... I, I had to... This is why I have to re-record my hot takes so much. <laughs> like, people are like, why, why do you spend so much time on this shit? Because I used the wrong term. Like, I literally did it again, like, earlier. When, when I said team-wide buff, I said AOE buff. Like, what the fuck is an AOE buff? Like it, it's a team wide buff, but it's it's not it's not a it's not area I mean, of effect. But I I just call it AOE. I mean, uh, so I have it, to like it, fix it. It still makes sense, I guess. Uh, yeah. Like looping. It and only reloading. makes sense in arcade. Uh, I'm gonna get a drink for oh that. Oh my god. <laughs> it only makes sense in arcade because in arcade the buffs are actually like a range around the support servant. And they can nerf the support by reducing the range of the buff, mm. which is funny. Like, like I, I think they nerfed Merlin. Or, no, they nerfed Waver. I'm pretty sure they nerfed Waver in Arcade, so his MP doesn't hit that wide. Like, like his MP doesn't cover like half the map, or something, <laughs> because it was too good. That's so funny. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, uh, part of the thing about what I feel like uh, Durga, the reason why I feel like Durga is a bit more, um, more consistent. Uh, so, like, I know, I know you have your issues with her third skill, but, uh, but I kind of feel like the third skill helps her NP gain a bit because, like, you can go like if you're not using. Uh, the, if you don't need the Pierce Envil, uh, you can just use it on a turn where you get like two quick cards or a quick and a buster card, but you actually want to loop. So hmm. uh, that I, I feel like that. Agree. I feel like that's kind of uh, that's like one of the most interesting things about her, in my opinion. It it actually happens for me. Like I never learned to appreciate that skill until I really started to do TAs with her, which is funnily enough, because like, like, there are some TAs where you you don't, you, you don't kill your esports servant. So you just have like, you just have that many cards. Yeah. So having, essentially having two to like one or two more arts cards is good because there are turns where like, you need a you need a card to refund on like for example the second turn but like you just don't you already use the cards on turn one uh you already use like both arts cards on turn one but i don't have to reset if i'm using durga because i can just if i get any cards on turn two i can pop that skill uh skill three and get the arts card for it 
So it's honestly pretty good. Like I, I, I agree. Like it's just bad in solos, and I don't know why you would solo with her. She's like I tried. It's just it's not gonna work well, anyways. Um, but yeah. Yep. Well, let's. Uh, I think we spent enough time on Ptolemaeus, so let's move on to. Wait, really? Sugma, uh... Sugmatani Zinjibo. Uh, so this is this is a pretty interesting servant I, I would say I, I've I feel like this is a servant I would enjoy if I grailed uh, but I, I think that mm -hmm. there are some slight issues that uh that aren't immediately apparent uh, but that that's I like that... her sorry uh, no, no, no you go first uh, I feel like there's some some problems that uh people might imme not immediately know just because of lack of experience but yeah uh, what were you saying? I like her flavor. Her flavor. Like the flavor they, the 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 flavor they put in the skills. Yeah. Which basically yeah, means like like mean. the, yeah, like because she's she's reloading. So like when you don't take the shot, you actually get rewarded, right? You if if you don't take the shot immediately, you you get rewarded by um. You know, but by having like a better like like if his if all of the buffs on her MP lands, it's really scary. It's like a really good MP if all yeah. of her buffs land. Yeah. Um, but you kind of have to. Hey, yeah. hey spoilers though. <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, so right off the bat, same deck as uh, Ptolemaeus, except she, and uh, she has good cards. Unlike him, wow, because uh, those are like basically two percent arts cards, as opposed to his barely yep. above one percent. Uh, and she also yep. has a, a quick card that hits a normal amount of times. Uh, I mean, three used to be normal, but uh, three's weak shit these days. Yeah, uh, weeks, no, three sucks. Three hit sucks. Very quick. Yeah, but um, yeah. It, also, single target archer that is a buster. It's very funny that she's on the same banner as Ptolemaeus. Yeah. So, first skill is pretty simple. It's uh, 3 turn, 30% buster, and then 50% buster crit for 3 turns. So, it's it's a pretty good skill. It uh, It's very standard. It basically just doubles your uh, buster crit damage. But that's... Yeah. Because one point like, three. I'm gonna say is, I'm not gonna be too upset if they put it uh, if they put this on an SSR. Like I'm not gonna be really upset about it, which is you know. Yeah. I feel like, I guess they don't really do that for recent three stars anymore. Like recent three stars is some crazy shit, but yeah, like it definitely yeah. uh definitely a year 2023 th uh, three star. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Then she also has this. Uh, deep of clear is always nice. It's nice that they put it at the beginning of the skill instead of afterwards, because that means buff block is not going to cock block. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, you get a regen buff, so every turn you get 50% crit for one time, and then you get starts per turn, which is a really cool gimmick. That means like if you're unlucky with your crits, or if you just want to save up for one big burst, uh, you can you can enjoy them all at once. And get like 100 percent, one hundred and fifty percent. You can go all the way up to two hundred and fifty percent, and then you yeah, add you in. Can hold it. Yeah, and then you can also add this the in, and go. you get three hundred percent. That's yep. pretty pointless though, because it like you're gonna miss out on so much damage. Like, why even bother? Uh, yeah, it's just fun stuff you can do though. Uh, I I like the skill. Mm-hmm. And then we've got this skill, which is a really good skill, I gotta say. Because it's th that pseudo-PFA thing, where it's 3 times 3 turn yep. evasion. It's just really nice. And then Buster Card Absorb, which is... Uh, I mean, she's an archer. It doesn't really matter that much, but... On actually, it kind of really does, because... It does. Uh, cause like when, if you're, when you're soloing, I guess? Yeah. Well, if you're... If you're mighty chaining, you might want to take oh, the arts true. card and the buster card, but you want to use the crit on the buster card instead of the arts yeah, card. Yeah, you want to use buster first. Yeah. Yeah, so you might oh, be able oh, to... Oh, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah, because so, cards so you do... You remove more... the stars from the... 
Oh, that's so smart. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Yeah, just so, because, like, the later in the chain it is, the higher damage is. So. Yeah, because that was the one problem I have with her is because, like, when I want to do a damaging MP chain, I do, like, QAB, and then the, the quick card just blows the crit, and just, she doesn't get it anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you also I get this region buff where you get buff success uh, every turn for... Uh, for five turns uh, and it stacks up the same way as this which uh, it comes into play with the NP which is very interesting it's very RNG uh, mm. so you get 85% chance to ignore evasion 55% chance to get 20% uh, NP damage each time uh, then it removes all the buff success buffs and then it also, you got 70% chance for Buster and Arts. Uh, so, basically, it's a multi-stage loading up an NP. So, like, yeah. after one turn, it guarantees the evasion. The, the rest is RNG. Sure, yeah. After two yeah. turns, it guarantees the Arts the art, and Buster. The art, uh, and then after three turns, it guarantees the NP damage. Because it, uh, it applies to everything in the skill. Yeah. It's a it's a really cool idea, uh, and yeah. and the nice thing is you don't really need the buff success to for it to happen. It still can yeah, randomly you, happen. Yeah, you can just you can just RNG it if you want. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and even if you don't have like three stacks, if you have two stacks, well, you're still going to have uh, an eighty five percent chance on these NP damage buffs. So it's still better. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it, it's a really hard hitting MP. It's not trait dependent. It's not. I mean, you know, Robin is Robin, but like this is this is obviously really good, right? So, yeah. and and her survival. I I think she's really like the issue with like like the, the, there are two kinds of clears with low stars, right? There uh, like excluding if you just like her and you grow her. There is pure low star clears, and there's like. I'm just trying to be F2P and like the second part is just I feel like arts is too strong in terms of support so people would gravitate away from her yeah otherwise like her, her skills are very good for the CQs the the full cleanse and the pseudo PFA like put together is just one of the best like survival things you can have against like higher difficulty content um yeah yeah so like all of this is great uh, but, like, we also, we still have to look at this as, like, framed from a three-star. Like, all of this on a grailed three-star is great. Uh, but, like, these big crit numbers, they aren't as big as people might think they are, just at a glance. Because we're working off of a low-er attack stat... And then it's also, she's also an archer, so that, that's 5% reduction just off of yep. anything. 0.95. Yeah. yeah, it sucks. So, like, even though you do have, like, these big crit buffs stacking up, we're talking about, like, a crit, like, okay, you get, like, this buster crit that's 50,000. That's mm -hmm. not really that impressive, honestly. Like, uh, like I, I used her a decent amount, uh, like, when she first came out. Her, her crit's don't really feel like that incredible and like yeah the the thing with buffs is that the more of the same type buffs you stack together the less impactful each successive yeah. one is so like honestly i i think a better way to do this gimmick would have been like at most every card would expend one crit buff like, if you load it up for two turns, then it's two hits of 50% crit up instead of one hit of 100% crit up. Yeah, that, like, maybe it would have been yeah. better if you loaded, like, if you, if they designed it that way. Or, like, at most two, like, maybe you can load up to two shots per, per card. Like, I don't know. But but it's definitely, like, a cool, like, I really like yeah. the, oh my god, I'm, I'm loading up my, my bullets. Like, when should I blow, blow the load? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, a very cool gimmick. Um, I think she's good. Like, just having 
Alright, because, like, I'd say she's pretty self-reliant on damage options. It's just not as huge as people might think. Uh, but if you Grail her, mm -hmm. then, yeah, she's going to scale really well just because these buffs are huge. But it, it's worth yeah. remembering that crit is the most overpopulated uh, buff, buff type. type. Um, yeah. Like, and, and I guess, like, she isn't, like, huge on buster numbers, but still, like... It, a lot the bulk of buster support doesn't buff attack it buffs uh card or crit or np damage yeah, so. yeah like just look at koi and light that's uh she's like yeah. the most typical like how buster support works in terms of buff types yeah she's like the only quote-unquote meta support without an attack buff um which is yeah but yeah speaking of being held back by stats we got the other one, which is Theseus, which, honestly, I He's feel so like, cool. he, I think he is such a good example of what I was just talking about, uh, and I think, yeah, I, I don't think he's going to be bad by any stretch of the imagination, but, uh, uh but I think he's super duper overhyped. Uh, he's a good grail target, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. So, yeah, just starting off, like, uh, he's got Buster Arts deck. He's got decent arts cards. It's 1.65%. It's pretty standard, I'd say. Uh, his quick card's alright. Because uh, it's four hits. Uh, Gain-wise, his, his quick card's, like, decent. Um, we go down Probably don't want to use his non-arts cards most of the times, anyways. Yeah. I mean, he is a single-target yeah. arts saver, so, yeah. And, which is ironic yeah. because he's drawn by the same person who drew Saberlot. Who, uh, yeah, was it, so was funny. It, yeah, and, and he was like the second single target arts saber. So, ironic. But, what? what? Oh, you mean Saberlot? Yeah. Yeah. So, Who's the first one? Uh, Near Bride, I think. Oh, yeah, Near That was oh Valentine's one. Yeah. So, he's got. Arts, 30% arts for three turns, uh, a bit of a theme there. And then he's got 20% charge, they don't want to do 30% on low stars. Uh, and then stars per turn, and I, uh, and, yeah, and seeing some consistencies here, uh, <laughs> yeah, with the <laughs> stars per turn. Um, which is nice. Uh, then we get arts absorb, and arts crit, so 50% crit. It, it, you're seeing some some themes here, right? Like it's very similar to like offensively, he's very similar already because yeah. we got thirty percent arts or buster, hard type crit up. Yeah. yeah, and then fifty percent crit for whichever card. Uh, the difference is he's got a higher emphasis on making his own stars because like he has fifteen from his second skill, fifteen from his third skill, and he gets ten per turn on his first. Um. His third skill, it's it's like his own self attack buff and an attack debuff, which it it seems kind of weird, but like it it's mm. fine. It's like he's trying to cosplay as Yagyu for one turn, uh, yeah. and then then stars, and they're all on the same cooldown, which uh, that's nice because you're probably gonna want to pop them all at the same time. Yep. Uh, so. I'd say it's a bit better with him because he does have more buff types. Because uh, he has his own... He has the attack. Yeah, yeah, he has attack, he has 30% arts, and he has this as well. But the reason why it, that is a little more important is because he's not trying to bu buster crit. He's trying to arts crit. And arts crits are not as good as buster crits. They, uh, yeah, I mean, they... trying they, to get the refund. Yeah, it's good gain, but... Like, if you're going for damage, you're better off with either Quick or Buster. Because Quick can self-actuate its own crits, and then Buster can, uh, well, do more damage. But his NP, uh, his NP is pretty nice. It ramps up his crits, because he has 50% crit for 3 turns every time he NPs. And he makes a bunch of stars, it's Luvia's thing, and 20 stars per NP. Uh, mm. And he does anti-demonic beast servants and anti-giant enemies. So, 
if you hit both of these, he does a lot of damage. Uh, does that even exist? Is just a Stereos? Like uh, the, the NPC Minotaur? It's not even the... Does, I don't know. Actually, Ibuki also falls under it. Because <laughs> oh, she's a demonic Ibuki. beast and yeah. giant. Um, so, like, his damage... His NP damage is really impressive if he's hitting both of those. Cause, but, like, you look at demonic beast servants. Like, there's a decent amount of them. There's, like... Uh, that's 21 of them. Uh, but a couple the, of these, and the funny thing is a couple of these are locked to a certain ascension, which you won't see most of the time because they almost always put them on the second ascension and uh, in boss fights and everything. Yeah. The, the, the servant part just makes it a lot worse. Like if it's just demonic yeah. beast. Oh dude, it, demonic. It been... If it was demonic, I feel like it'd be better. Actually, oh, if actually, it's demonic, no, that would be too good if it's just demonic, no? Like, even if it's just demonic beast, anything, actually, it could be better. Actually, on second thought, I think there are less demonic servants. I don't know, I haven't looked in a while. There's no, a no, lot, there's I, a I, lot. Mean, I mean, just remove the servant. Just demonic. Like, maybe, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, but, like, demonics, uh, like, servants that are demonic, have, uh, I feel like oh. they're a bit more rare. Um, really? Because there's there's a lot of these that aren't demonic, like uh, uh, like Tamamo isn't uh, demonic. I don't think Vritra is. Uh, Cat is not. Uh, Gorgon is demonic. not demonic. Uh, yeah, a lot of them aren't demonic. Uh, but demonic Super has demonic. more. Yeah, demonic has more general applicability because there's a lot of demonic enemies that are not servants. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the same thing with giants versus gigantic. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it, super giant is basically gigantic, which is... Yeah, there's yeah, very few giant servants. Because we yeah. got... We got, what, this is... 10. <laughs> yeah. But... Out of those, there are... Three that have overlap. Uh, which is Ibuki, Asterios, and Ibuki. <laughs> Of course it's a boogie. She has like 30 traits. <laughs> There's going to be a 90 plus plus where uh, Summer Ibuki is the last boss and he's going to he's going to see play. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, so like once again, like we got like the big crit buffs and all, but I, I just like, uh, I, I saw this happening on Mist's video, because, like, I, I saw the... I saw the thumbnail, and I... As usual, I gave it a big ol' eye roll. Because uh, that's how a lot of his... Uh, he, he, he's very clickbaity at times. I'm not saying that he doesn't know what he's talking about a lot of the time, but... Uh, I mean... Uh, I just don't I think... I mean, the number... Look, the number is deceptive. Like... When yeah. I first saw this, I was like, the number is nuts, right? Like, like the number is really nuts. Like, you can you can stack the crit buff on him with the MP, right? It's three turns. Yeah. Like, and, and then he, he just has so many crits. But like the 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 thing with this is I, I did use I did try him out because I actually wanted to do a hot take on him, but I probably won't have time. But like I the the stats, the the fucking three star stats is just so bad bro yeah. i even fold him i wasn't gonna foe him but i fold him just to like test his crits like <sighs> yeah they uh, should have just made him ssr or something i don't fucking know dude yeah honestly this feels like a four star kit it's just the fact that it's on a three star uh kind of yeah. sucks because, like, I mean, you see such big numbers. Like, with 1 NP, he has 100% arts crit damage. But the problem is, arts crits are just not going to be doing as much damage as buster crits. Uh, I feel like Sugitani is a lot better of a crit servant, even if she's a little bit less consistent. Hmm, that's not quite the right... Like, she might be a bit less consistent, but she at least has a kit that plays to the strengths of crit in general yeah and i mean he also like he also makes so much stars that 
do you need that? I don't know. I do. I, mean, I do kind of like that though, because like he. He's going to make a bunch of stars for your supports, which is going to help them crit. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's, I, I mean... It's a nice thing. Like, what I found out was just, like... He only has two arts cards. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the, the pain... The pain is he only has two arts cards. Like, I... Like, I, I think if he was able to... Because I, I think as an arts DPS, being able to make 30 stars every turn is so good right but he needs his arts cards to 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 like do the thing he was built to do which is yeah. just mpaa forever um but he can't because he's in a team and he doesn't have any survival for solos and he's a three star so he just dies um in a solo situation and also his mp gain is surprisingly not good enough like, I, I try to solo with him, and, like, sometimes I don't refund with MPAA. Like, I'm using, like, Ocean Flyer and stuff, and just doesn't refund. Like, it's just not good enough for solo looping, even, sometimes. Depends on how many times he gets hit. So, I, I don't know. I'd build him with a crit, but, like, here's the thing. Arts crit damage sucks. <laughs> well... I mean, it's just one point five times less than Buster. Like, just... so if you're doing more of a, a crit based uh, uh, setup, crit based setups are more general, like like buff all cards, which mm -hmm. uh, and like he he does have the arts crit, like the arts crit that is pretty mm -hmm. restrictive, and then he also has the arts. But if you're but you still got like this fifty percent crit buff, which is going to affect his Buster cards. It's just a, a yeah. lot of the. I don't know. These days, I feel like DPSing with a, with a three star. It, it, it's just kind of not that great yeah. unless you're grailing them. Like yeah, like the card damage gets held back by his three star stats. So like, like personally, I find his strength being like his strength is literally you don't have to run him in a crit setup. Like for for some arts, if if you want to refund with arts crits, you might have to think about oh, I might have to bring someone who makes stars. He doesn't need anyone yeah. to help him make stars. Yeah. So the you just run him in a well normal. Nice. Like like I even like I tried, uh, Castoria Tamamo and him versus Castoria Lady Avalon and him. I actually find Castoria Tamamo and um, and Theseus to be a better team if you don't. If you aren't facing like a lot of kill pressure, because obviously Lady Avalon with the, with the um, uh, with the with the extra uh, illusion is better if you if you're facing like very high kill pressure enemies. But like I feel like in general, like using him with Tomo is even better because the you don't need star like he makes so much stars and you would rather him just use his skills more rapidly uh, with the cooldown reduction and stuff. But I don't know, he's um. I, I just don't think you're ever doing crit damage with him. Like, I'm sorry. It's just, yeah. it's, it sounds very, it sounds so weird because he, he literally has like a 50% loopable crit buff and an arts crit. But I just feel like you're never doing crit damage with this guy. <laughs> it's so yeah. weird. I don't, I'm. That was something <sighs> that kind of annoyed me because, like, on Mist's video, uh, I think the top comment was, was saying something like Rip Bedivere. Like, Honestly, I would not use this guy over Bedivere. Uh, I feel like Bedivere is still more useful because he is going to be better at doing damage. Like, sure, you know, you've got this guy with all sorts of crit buffs and all, but Bedivere's NP hits really hard, and he's a buster servant. He's a lot... I'd say he's really easy to uh, work with. Uh, of course, his NP5 is poorly accessible but still like if you have him in p5 and you have theseus in p5 like upgraded in p that's going to be a lot more consistent I, uh, I i i definitely feel like it depends on like the comp you use the the yeah the unfortunate thing with theseus is that i don't actually think he's a good low star specific team dps you know what i mean like like if yeah. you're doing a three star or, or below only team he's he's not actually that good i i i think i don't i don't even think shufu necessarily saves him because like 
I don't uh, unless you're running like yeah, I don't. You, you, what are you running a like, fucking uh, I don't... Hans Shufu Theseus? Oh, sorry, you go. Yeah, I don't really feel like I don't know. I haven't used him much, but I I don't feel like Jufu is going to do much for him. Like, sure, no. she's going to help him in P a little bit more often, but like one of the biggest sells of Jufu for me at least uh, is just being able to give art servants stars, and that's not really and an issue he has. Uh, like, because you'll just have so much overflow that, like, why even bother? Like, the way you use Theseus is the exact same way you use Lancelot Saber. It's the exact same way you use characters like Astrea, even. I mean, not really, but, like, like characters like... Like, he, he's literally just... And, like, if you made him a four-star, I feel like he'd probably actually be better than a lot of the um, other single-target four-star sabers. Um, if you if you just make him four-star. Um, but I, I feel like his most optimal playstyle is literally just overlap with all the other single-target four-stars. And I didn't do the calculations because I think it's too complicated. This is actually one of the biggest reasons I, I didn't make the hot take because my original vision for the video was to compare him with saber hokusai and i just feel like it's such a hard thing to do because i do i do believe he has better skills in terms of dps than hokusai but i i just think the stats is so bad bro wait uh did you mention astrea uh, yeah i i i said uh, astrea but not really i said astrea but not really because i, I was like the only reason I said that was because, you know, it, it, it's a single target arts DPS that feeds themselves stars. That's the only reason oh, okay. I said Astrea. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because, uh, like, Astrea kind of hates her Buster and Quick cards. <laughs> like, you I always agree. go for Astrea those arts cards. cards. Well, I mean, here's, I, I think it's the same for Theseus, though. Because, like, especially when you pop his second skill, like... It's just it it just just I, I guess he gets so many stars it doesn't matter when the arts absorb up is there but like I I, I feel like it's similar with these it's it's more so with Theseus where he's very focused on doing arts crits instead of just doing crits like I feel like Saber Lancelot is less is less like centralized with arts I don't know it's a, it's a weird thing to say but I don't know I also um. I also feel like one advantage that Bedivere has is... Uh, so, one thing that a lot of crit servants really like is Mighty Chains, but he doesn't really care about them. But Bedivere does appreciate Mighty Chains, because that helps him get his NP more often. Uh, well, and, yeah, Mighty Chains sucks for Arts in general. Like, yeah. In my opinion, at least. Are you considering meta supports? Well, I am, and I, 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 I don't actually... I don't actually think Theseus... Like, I mean, I might be wrong. I didn't play him with a low star team that much. I, I think I tried one because, like, people love to see low star. I, I tried him with, I tried him with Shufu and Hans, and it wasn't good. I mean, I'm yeah. probably like, I probably shouldn't have done Shufu and Hans. Maybe there's a better, like, team. Like, here, here's the other thing with like, low star art supports, right? Shufu is like all about stars. Mozart is all about making stars as well and like if you want to count hans i don't think hans is an art support but like hans definitely benefits from you having an arts mp because you uh you, you you chain his art you chain arts chains easier to get his mp he also like all of the low star art supports are generate are, are like hyper focused on making stars and he just makes even more stars yeah exactly okay then what's a good team then i mean i i i'm genuinely maybe mash i guess you i guess using with mash i guess that's pretty good yeah, like if you're using Hans and um and uh, not Mash, uh, Hans and Jufu together. Uh, like one of the problems there is like uh, as I as I previously said, like one of their big appeals is both of them Making help you stars. make stars, yeah. and I feel like uh, stars in particular. It's kind of a sad thing, but that is one of those things that you were very easily just going to have too much of and just going to waste. Uh, you can pick someone that's more focused on something else, because uh, like Hans 
like Hans does a lot of things, but like there's other things. Uh, like you can focus on servants that give you uh, more damage buffs or debuffs. Uh, like Matahari, for example, she's going to give you a bigger boost in damage because you got forty percent card yeah. and fifty percent attack. Actually, okay. Is this hot take? I I think you shouldn't bring crit buffs with him. Yeah, I get that. Um, but part like, of the like if if his whole game plan is just to loop his own crit buffs with his MP, like why would you bring another crit buffer with him? Yeah, that's another way you can go about it. Like you can use uh, Paracelsus, uh, or you can use Jufu and just go for looping the crits. But at that point in time, you're not really the bulk of your damage isn't going to be on your crits, it's going to be your MP. On your MP. Yeah, so I, I, I think that's exactly his problem. Like, that, that that's what I mean, I feel like he's not going to do damage with his crits. Despite yeah. that sounding so stupid, because he has a crit-centric kit. I just don't think he's going to... Because he, here's the two choices you're making when you're using him. You're, you're, you're either choosing to do Mighty Chains to, to get his Buster crit damage up, or you're choosing to use his arts cards to get his MP to get more crit buffs. So, like, which one are you choosing? Mm. Personally, I'm choosing arts because I also get the MP damage on top of it. So, like, I I, I don't actually see him as a... Oh, that's such a fucking weird thing to say. I don't know how to put this. But, like, I... I don't. I don't see you ever picking his buster cards. Like, all oh, okay. That that's that's an overstatement. But like, so I don't. What the yeah, hell was that? that? Way, go. No, I'm I'm just slapping my knee because I don't. Uh, know. I'm like. It's really just, funny. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. It slaps me on the knee. But I, I don't know. Yeah. So, if you're going for more of a a crit centric setup, like, I mean. You're going to have three hands, uh, ideally, okay. and yeah, and you're only going to have five cards, and you can pick nine. Uh, so you're going to have turn. You might have a turn where you have Buster cards, but no Arts cards. Arts cards. Yeah, it, it's just. I guess I'm just unlucky because it's never yeah, <laughs> it, it's just it, it's just. Uh, Still, you have a bit of a point there because he has arts absorb. Like, if you're not overflowing on stars, it is no guarantee his buster cards are even going to crit. So, yeah. like, if you have to choose between the two of them, you're probably picking arts cards because he has more modifiers for arts. Um, yeah. Because, like, like the the gain on an arts card is way too tempting, especially if that's critting. Yeah, it's too tempting. Like the the thing with relying on face cards is just like unless you're doing TAs. Like, okay, Th this is my take, right? So, so I'm, I'm I'm not trying to question your like uh, I'm talking about ours person. I'm, I'm I'm not trying to question your like authority on this because like obviously I'm not as experienced with using like non traditional comps. But in my opinion, if you're not constantly cycling away your support to reset your deck, if if you have an opportunity to focus on doing damage with your MP, you would always choose that over doing damage with your cards. Because because the MP is guaranteed. The yeah. cards are not. Especially with an so Art like, Servant. Uh, yeah. Like, like there's almost no incentive to go for his crits over his his MP. Like, even though his, crit, his, his kit is so, like, crit-centric. Like, the fact that the only reason why, like, when I was testing it... I actually sometimes I prefer doing MPQB for damage was because my thesis is MP1. I don't believe like at the point when uh, like if I got my thesis to MP5, which eventually would happen because he's a permanent three star, I would like prioritize trying to get his like Buster crit damage instead of just using his MP again. In my opinion, like I I, I just I don't know like I. Uh, I really want him to be like super good because like having a super good three stars is, is always cool but I feel like he overlaps too much with the pre-existing single target arts crit saber I don't know why they made another single target arts crit saber like what is their what is their fucking like uh, obsession with this archetype yeah I, I, I like I like technically Yagyu is one of is, is Yagyu like Yagyu is kind of does he even make stars? I don't know. He doesn't. 
Wait, does he make stars? Why do people think he's a crit servant? Yagyu, do think he's a crit servant? Uh, Yagyu has... He has an absorb skill on his first skill, and he has a 100% crit buff on his second skill. So... Uh, he's I, I know he's really not... Guy. Yagyu isn't really that crit-centric. Yeah. He can yeah. crit, but that isn't his focus. It's just Saber Lot. Very... It's just Saber Lot, I guess. And Hokusai. Yeah. I would yeah. say Hokusai is Ho his art Yeah, crit. Hokusai is awkward, though, because, like, she technically he has doesn't... no crit buffs. It's just you have to crit, and then you can crit harder. You have to crit to crit, and she also only has a star bomb. She doesn't feed herself stars constantly like Theseus. So, like, that, 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 that was actually... That that was actually the um Saber Hokusai and Saito are not arts crit sabers, they're both MP Well that that's the that's 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 the thing I mentioned, right? Like like it, it's not about like what archetype they try to build the servant into. It's just that MP damage is so much more consistent than crit damage. So so if you can do MP damage, you would just do MP damage instead of crit damage. That's literally yep. how it works. It's always more more consistent uh to be able to np and that's the selling point of arts arts is able to use its np more often so yeah again that's why arts, is broken. arts crit you don't crit for arts damage yeah <laughs> we, like, there, like, there goes the 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 initial point <laughs> yeah like like if fgo had a better like way of manipulating your deck i think crits would be a lot better but like FGO yeah. just has like no way of the the fact that the most consistent way of manipulating your deck is not fully leveling your support and making them die is just this just makes the game like MP centric. Like you would never want to go, you would never realistically want to go for crits over MP. The only reason I go so like crazy over high crit damage is because I do min turns, and crit damage peaks very high in terms of uh the the maximum amount of damage you can do in a single turn crit actually peaks extremely high so th so that's why i care but like for most people i feel like they don't actually care like this is why i'm even kind of hesitant on recommending people to pull van gogh i don't i don't know if you should care like do you really care right like like do, do you care about crits like it's it crits are fun. It, it's the exact same issue it's fun, like yeah, but that this is the exact same issue when I ran into when I'm trying to sell people Pope Joan. I, I'm just like, yeah, but why? <laughs> you know, like this is. Oh man, fucking Castoria, man. Yeah. We should have deleted her when we had the chance. God fucking damn it. Yeah, but <sighs> honestly, yeah, it would be really cool if we had more card shuffle type servants. Like if there was a low star servant that could just. Uh, shuffle a deck uh, and like force cards into a hand that that'd be pretty cool but uh we have so few options for that we have yeah we have bb which can force you to keep the same cards and then we have ruler Artoria. yeah uh, but they're both yeah. pretty inaccessible for most people yeah and and the fact that the game the the quote unquote optimal way to play the game is one DPS two supports also makes that even worse. Yeah. Cause yeah. cause essentially you have like five cards to do crit damage with and then you remove the shitty quick card. So you have four like depends on the deck you have four three to four cards to do crit damage with. And yeah. then Arts Crit is literally just helping you refund MP. So essentially you only have Buster cards to do MP to do crit damage with. So Unless you have a triple B deck, you're just not, <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's kind of where crit teams are best. It's when you, like, good crit teams involve more than one servant that can crit. Uh, uh, like, yeah. yeah, like double Van Gogh, for example. Like, True. both of them that's are able. Good. Yeah. I was they're... wrong, yeah, actually. Because she herself can crit. She's not a crit support. She's a crit DPS and a crit support. But never mind, I'm stupid. But yeah, sorry. Here go. Yeah. It's just like... like that's one, that's one thing I like about servants like uh, Kazgil. Uh, it's something that isn't immediately apparent because people don't think of it. He buffs the entire team's mm -hmm. crit damage and their attack and their mm -hmm. arts. Uh, and I've used him to DPS on, like, Assassin... Uh, quests and he's not the only one DPSing. 
Uh, Castoria is doing like 30k with an arts crit. Like that's <laughs> that is oh, she notable. A, she has an arts crit passive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, but yeah. like you get so many buffs on there like th then you're making the teams all the other team the uh, all the other cards in the team do mm. more. Um but <laughs> Uh, Buster's just better for that. Uh, like, I love doing double Ibuki. Double Ibuki is so absurd. Because uh, you, you just, like, have a third servant that's, like, supplying stars. And they're just mm -hmm. dishing out big Buster cards of damage. Because, like, you can... Uh, they can AoE on nodes without even using uh, their NPs. Because uh, you can just, like... Mm -hmm. You can single out targets and just like uh, wipe them one after another. Because uh, mm. double Buster decks, it's just so good. Yeah, it's something similar I like to play with on my alt when I rush through main story content. Because I have a I have a, one of the alts where I have a Grail Draco. I just do two Dracos and they like make stars every turn. And yeah. It's like triple Buster deck, and you just do Buster card. You just Buster, 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 and you win. Right. So like. I, I, I just think for like in order for crit teams to work, you need two to three servants to be able to do crit damage on your entire like ideally. Yeah, never mind. That's why Van Gogh's so good. Because when you do a Van Gogh team, everyone on the team every single hand has like 300 percent crit crit up. Yeah. So like it doesn't matter what cards you pick. You can just you pick mighty chains on anything and you space them out, they do a shit ton of damage. Right? Like like right like uh, that's also why arts crit this <laughs> yeah I, uh... I i i would go as far to say that other than van gogh i have not used a real crit team <laughs> like like every time i use a crit team it's a ta team which means i am intentionally getting one of my teammates killed so i can get my cards back that's literally why I. That's that's like ninety percent of the quote, quote unquote crit teams I've used in this game because I TA a bunch, and like that's not even a real crit team. So, because I'm getting people killed on purpose. So, um, something. So even when I'm doing crit teams, like with budget servants, uh, mm -hmm. I, I Haunt, get, I, I get people killed off too. Uh, part of the reason why is yeah. just because I want to keep. Uh, not just because I want to shuffle cards, but I because I want to keep buffs active. Keep the buff going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That makes uh, sense. Which is why, which is one reason why Buster is better for it, uh, because Buster uh, supports are very well designed around cycling out. Because you got Chen Gong who can taunt someone, you've got Leonidas who taunts, you've got Nobukatsu who taunts, uh, and yep. you can just control when they leave, uh, and that's something yep. that. A lot of servants don't have control over like when i'm doing an arts crit team or like i'm trying to make an art servant crit i'm using jufu and jufu has no control over that uh, the only thing she, she can do is reduce crit chance uh she, yeah. her control is not die <laughs> that yeah. that's literally what, yeah like yeah yeah she doesn't art die supports, art supports are so good at keeping themselves alive that you just that's such a weird thing to say as well art supports are so good at keeping themselves alive and like not having team-wide like crit buffs and stuff that they're just like arts crits just is never gonna happen yeah and, that's, and also are, are, yeah i that, mean that, because you have the choice for it yep that's that's why a lot of people just are kind of turned off from uh crit teams in art. general it's because yeah. the standard way most people play and they're they learn to play uh, it's as you said earlier. It's two Double supports. Meta support, yeah, one DPS. Yeah, yeah, and one DPS, and that's generally not that great for crits unless you were uh, playing a specific way, uh, because a lot of people's mo in a challenge quest is just keep everyone alive as long as possible and kill the enemy. It's uh, there's not much more to it than that. Uh, yeah. But with a with a crit team, you have to choose who dies and try to make them die when you want them to 
uh, yeah. and that's a little bit more thoughts and a little more trouble than it's worth okay. for a lot of people. Here's actually a one character, okay, one character other than Van Gogh, of course, in the game, where you can run. They are meta support. You run two of them and a DPS, and if she can fix one issue, that would have been a wonderful crit team, which is Caster Scotty. If Caster Scotty can constantly get her MP back, quit like double Caster Scotty plus whatever the fuck would be like the best crit team in the game, like minus Van Gogh, in my opinion. Yeah. Like yeah. Caster oh. Scotty, oh, look yeah, at yeah. what her MP does. Yeah, it's team crit buffs, uh, and like it's three times for five turns. So, like, whenever and the you do crit, it's just five turns. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good uptime on stuff. Uh, it, it's kind of funny because, like, if we're talking about being able to AOE crit, uh, the other Scotty is really good for that too because she buffs the yeah. entire team and uh, generates a bunch of stars with the second skill as well. Uh, as yeah. Long, uh, yeah. Did you see that one video I did a while back where I I did oh, double? Scotty? Uh, I did double no. ruler Scotty, but I used them as DPSs instead of uh, instead of supports. I think I. I think I did watch that. Yeah. yeah. So like, it's it's a fun idea. Uh, it works pretty well because they're rulers, uh, but yeah, they're able to buff each other, and yeah, it's good. This is literally like the meme. You know, a meme where it's like society if something happens, right? Yeah. Like, and and it's just like a you know, society if Caster Scotty could get her MP consistently, <laughs> right, dude. The game would be so if Castro Scotty could easily like like the the buff that we, like people have been proposing, which is the you know her battery becoming fifty for herself and then fifty for another guy. Do, if that happened, yeah, that'd, mm, that'd be the world would be a better place. Uh, that would be so good. <laughs> the world would be a better place if Castro Scotty and constantly get her MP back. The 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 world would be a better place, honestly, bro. Like. I, I am so tired of people telling me Caster Scotty's MP like Caster Scotty's MP is bad. Caster Scotty's MP is bad. Pull that shit up. Hold on. I'm pulling it up right now. Yeah. <laughs> like like what do you mean Caster Scotty's MP bad? Uh, MP is bad. Like look at look at what okay. <laughs> Jesus fucking these people. I swear to fucking god. All right. So 30% Oh, okay, that's MP5. 20% attack up for 5 turns. Crit Party crit 50%, for three, three attack, times. five turns. Yep. For the entire yep. team, including herself. Party evasion for one attack, three turns. And also damage cut 500% for three turns. Uh, 500, 500 damage for three turns. Like if you could spam it or, or like you double it up, it's a thousand for it's not three turn three times. No, it's three turns, period. And you can overcharge it and you, you start getting like a thousand damage cut. And then you stack two of you get like 2000 damage cut for three turns. You stop taking damage. Yep. We, we don't need quick Merlin. We need Caster Scotty to get her MP back. Yeah. Like, literally. Dude. <laughs> these... Come on, man. Yeah. We people... Merlin. Yeah, it, it's just, like, how she plays. Uh, it's just the fact yeah. that she... Uh, the way... It, they kind of screwed her with this, uh, this quick buff. I kind of wish she just had a team... Uh, not a team a 50% general crit buff instead of 100% quick buff. Uh, because yeah. because of this, people hyper-focus on those quick cards that she buffs, which means they don't mix up the arts cards or buster cards, uh, yeah. which means she doesn't get to use her arts cards. Yeah. That, that uh, That's what Ruler Scotty tried to fix, I guess, with her first skill, because like buster is the best card to crit with, I guess. Yeah. She's just trying to get people to mix up the cards, because that's what... That's what, what what um crit wants to do no the, 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 there is a perfect world where you can like you you take the two scotties and then you like you you know how like when you're a kid you're playing legos and you put two sets of legos you mix them together and then you make like one of the coolest things like you if, if you break down both of the scotties and you put them back together but you mix and match their skills bro it'd be good yeah, you you, you 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 give like ruler Scotty's 
Actually, no, you, you just give Castro Scotty's MP to Ruler Scotty. Actually, never mind. That's not that creative. That's literally what you do. You, you just give Castro Scotty's MP to Ruler Scotty. And then you eat. Boom. Good servant alert. That's lit like. Uh, yeah. It's, uh. Yeah, it's just interesting how the game's evolved uh, over yeah. the years, like with this. Uh, like. She still wouldn't get her MP. Well, I, I mean, if her MP could refund, then it'd be worth yeah, it. Yeah, often. true. True. Actually, no, that, that'd be way too good. Like, you, you make, you keep the damage, but you add the caster. No, you don't, you don't give Caster Scotty's MP to Ruler Scotty. You add her MP on top of Ruler Scotty. Now you got, okay, I mean, that's probably pretty obviously broken. You probably just use her at that point. Like, you don't even need another guy for DPS. You just use her. She probably kills everything. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry, I I went on I went on a bit of a tangent there. I apologize, but that's fine. We don't Scotty, have much else to Scotty talk about. Nation, <laughs> Scotty Nation needs to happen. All right, like Scotty's MP is so good. She'll be too good for solo. That's okay. I have you seen Caster Scotty solos, bro? That shit's fire. Like like, like you said, it's, it's kind of hilarious. It, if Caster Scotty's first skill was just 50% general crit up, Caster Scotty solos go hard, bro. Like, Caster Scott. Okay, this is another, like, TA brain rot thing, but Scotty. Caster Scotty's MP buff was, like, the biggest thing that happened to Big Kiara bullying. Yeah. Caster Scotty's buff was what allowed John Ruler to seven turn Big Kiara. That's such a, that's such a fucking weird sentence to say. But like, <laughs> Caster Scotty's MP buffs was was, uh, was what allowed a bunch of random bullshit characters to just kill, seven turn kill the big Kiara off of just how strong her MP is. That's like they they use MLB K scope and they use her MP and then you do double Scotty's battery on one of the Scotties and you are M use her MP again. So it's like three Scotty's MP, three Scotty MPs, and now your DPS just like kills someone by breathing on them. Right. So like. Yeah, because that's... Yeah, Jean, Jean 7 turn big PR. Yeah, it goes all the way up to 100% crit at MP5, so it's just nuts. 30% <laughs> attack yeah. and 100% crit. That's that's substantially better than what you'd get out of Waver. Uh, yeah, and, and, and the attack up is times. 5 turns. It's 5 turns, not even like 5 turns 5 times or some shit. It's 5 turns, period. It's like, it's... It is, is that, like, that's the longest attack buff? Like t the supportive attack buff in the game, like yeah. longest duration one. Yeah, it, it, like, all sorts of supportive buffs are based around three turn durations, one or three turn. Yeah, and then yeah, five turns. It's kind of nuts. It's just a lot of yeah. people when they're picking quick servants, they're not looking for longevity, so they they yeah. just generally don't see that kind of. I don't care the the value in something like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I have a better one. All right, society. If Castoria had Scotty's MP, but keeps her skill, it eliminates the problem with solemn spam garbage, and then you can spam her MP. Dude, Castoria. If society of Castoria has Castor Scotty's MP, think about it, man. Castoria just needs a nut, uh, needs a nerf. <laughs> yeah. Who stopped cooking? Dude, I am cooking though. Her her MP is so good, but nobody has seen it. It it's it's like a unicorn. You know? Castor Scotty's MP is a fucking unicorn. Like you it's so good, but but you don't see it anywhere. You just never see it. But when it happens, it's terrifying. Would it be more balanced if Scotty and Castoria swap MP? Yes. Yes. In my opinion. I mean, honestly, though, like, damage cut, is it three, uh, three turn damage cut? If you start spamming that shit, you start getting like, yeah, you start it, getting like, you start getting like 6,000 damage cut. <laughs> yeah. I, the 500, okay, it's pretty deceptive. Like, once you, 
uh, once you get to higher numbers on that, if you're doing 1,000 damage cut, that is, uh, that, it's a lot. Um, because, like, if you look at what damage you take at counter class, uh, like, a normal attack would do, like, what, less than 2,000 to you. Okay, now yeah, it's going to less than 1,000. Yeah. You just take zero damage. It, it's, all, it's almost like three turns solemn defense, if you think about it. Not three turn three times. Three turns solemn defense, if you think about it. Obviously, I mean, you might have trouble tanking an MP, but if you just think about it, all right? Like, and, and you can still tank an MP because it's one turn evade. Like right, you, you can you can just use it, right? Like like damage like damage cut when you start spamming is scary. Like Scotty's MP, I guess this is why they don't make it spammable. I think Scotty's MP when you start spamming it becomes one of the scariest MPs in the game. Like cast her Scotty. But I, I don't know why they do this to quick. They they're always like preemptively nerfing quick. They're like, oh no, I'm 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 a bit scared that this quick thing might be too broken. But like when they go to Arcer, it's just like, ah, it's fair. <laughs> yeah, you know, dude, da damage cut in AOE scenarios is just nuts. Like that NP is really good in AOE fight. Uh, because yeah. like I, I know some people might hyper focus about how the evade goes immediately, but like every time the enemy attacks, you're reducing the damage by fifteen hundred. You get attacked three times, you reduce it by 4,500. Uh, mm -hmm. So across three turns, that can be like tw over 12,000 damage reduced. Uh, and that's... I know nobody's going to have the fight, but like try to fight Kamazots with double caster Scotty and try to use spammer MP. Just don't, just don't take damage. You stop taking damage. You literally stop taking damage. You just... his, M his, his MP doesn't do damage. If you can, if you can <laughs> spam that, his MP doesn't do damage. Yeah, his MP does it, zero damage. Bro. Yeah, and it's it is isn't it instant death? Oh yeah, she has death immune. Yeah, <laughs> actual <laughs> bro, can double caster Scotty against Kamazas, dude. He gets smoked. All right, like that that shit's broken. Do you still have that like, account? Uh, with that I fight, do. you should try soloing it with her. With Scotty? Yeah. The the problem with Scotty is she doesn't have a heal. But I, I might try actually. I think yeah, she might Scotty be able. Yeah, Scotty scary. Uh, yeah, she might be able to live long enough, anyways. Um, if I can borrow an MP5, I think MP1 may. Eh, I mean, depends. I mean, Tona Lico can so. Wait, no, I just bring Magdalene. No, he's male. Uh, yeah, I can just bring Magdalene because he's male. I, I remember Tonalico soloing him just because she brought Magdalene and he couldn't kill her, and that 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 that's literally it. <laughs> it's just it's just a, he he just can't kill her because and and Tonalico isn't even Tonalico isn't even getting a bunch of survival. She just gets one hit of invul when she uses her MP, and she doesn't even use it every turn. Like if Caster Scotty can spam that fucking damage cut, bro, with with Magdalene, she probably takes zero damage. Like a lot of the time, but she will die to dot. <laughs> she needs to like load all of her cards with like dot cleanse. That's to be fair, thing. to be fair, she does have ex. Uh, wait, does she? No, actually, oh, she has goddess she essence. Has goddess so, it's, yeah, so it's so twenty five percent. Yeah, she doesn't have magic. Yeah, oh, she doesn't have casters. Don't. Oh, she doesn't have it on top of. Ah, uh, she doesn't have it on top of it. Damn, it's it. still twenty five percent. Like yeah, though. I mean I've seen like like. I'm pretty sure people I've seen like Caster Scotty versus like Gatia or some shit, and she just smokes him. Like it's just not even close. Like Gatia does like those AOE damages, like like the little one that the, the quick attack that tickles your servant. Like every time you pray, he does that because he just <laughs> helps you get your MP back. Yeah, like uh, I, I'm pretty sure there's been a bunch of Caster Scotty solos. Did I? I feel like I've made a video on that before. Have I not? I Caster don't know. Scotty you, have a, you have over 2,000 videos on your channel. <laughs> I feel like I no, I've had that idea before. I feel like I've done it before. Maybe maybe I didn't do it. If, I did it with Castoria. So I mean, I I, I feel like I've been plus she's pushing Caster Scotty. Well, she's good. Like people, dude. Here's the thing. People keep telling me Caster Scotty's MP is shit, and I think they're blind. Like, how is that? Like, it, it's literally, it's not even deceptively good. It's just good. Have you, did you read this? Like, can you guys read? 
excuse like the numbers are just big <laughs> they're not even like oh my god you know this is deceptively good because if you put it in practice no it's just like massive fucking numbers standing right in front of you people are like ah nah it's, it's, uh, the cancer sky's problem is her mp sucks it's not because you know she can't use her mp yeah <laughs> i love cancer scotty uh, make video this caster Scotty still solo Gatia. I mean, yeah. I mean, with Mighty Chains, of course. You think with Mighty Chains, Gatia stands a fucking chance when she just spams Q Q A Q Q B A or Q A B? He's just gonna die. <laughs> He's like instantly. Yeah. Like I can literally go to Gatia right now and I bring any. I I don't. Gatia has like no traits though, right? He's king. Yeah, he's king and he's chaotic he's, evil. Okay. Well, there, there's no C's for that, but I mean, I can just bring it like, I don't know, bring it for Iron Will training. I'll probably smoke him. Like, it's, it's like Dude. easy. All right. Uh, what, what the fuck was I about to say? Um, oh, uh, yeah, uh, I was going to say, yeah, the, the crit rate uh, debuff. That's oh. actually, it's pretty handy on her in particular because uh, because she like reducing that damage is it means you're going to get more out of your damage cut uh because like if they crit that's that's going to disproportionately affect uh servants depending on damage cut buffs instead of defense buffs true but th this works the same as crit chance resist up right yeah it's so like 30 percent crit chance down is the same as 20 30 percent crit chance resist up it's like the same thing yeah yeah and, okay. and it's thirty percent, which is, which is enough to offset Almost an assassin. Crit. Yep. Almost not. I mean, like uh, until they use a crit boost skill, but still. Yeah, like, but crit yeah, I mean that's skill, right? uh, that's uh, that's just going to happen regardless of that. Uh, and then you can also bring command codes to deal with that. So there's that too. Yeah, I'm not gonna sure code a mighty chain. Yeah, I mean. Quick is just good for mighty chains at this point. Like I, I, I think I think Lysenko, That is actually because like okay, no offense, but I actually think the gameplay design department in Lysenko have like they like five people share probably one brain cell. Um, but like the fact that they saw this whole like mighty chain thing being good on Quick and then designed Ruler Scotty around it, I think they were so smart. Yeah. Like I, I would, I, I think Ruler Scotty was like. Ruler Scotty was like if an FGO player would design a custom servant. Like an experienced FGO player would design a custom servant. Actually, it's like at that point, those people probably don't even exist. Like Ruler Scotty would be like if you played with Mighty Chains for a year and they told you to design a character, they would design Ruler Scotty. I think Ruler Scotty's design is so smart. But anyways, I mean, I'm not even a Scotty simp, but I really like both Scotty's gameplay wise. I think they're just so fun. Um and uh Yeah. And Castoria is so fucking boring. Castoria is so boring, bro. She's like the most boring fucking thing in like bro. Just, uh... Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, sorry. This, this uh, look we, yeah, I, 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 I didn't really have anything I got a bit else of depression. to explain. I got so. a bit of depression there when I talked about And like, you're talking to the guy who grilled like how many art servants again? Like other than Koyan, other than the two Koyans, Liz and Carmilla. Oh, I guess I'm Bob. Oh, never mind. I, never mind. I didn't grill that many art servants. I'm going to shut up. Podcast title, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is yeah. a very common, commonly used word for me. I, I unfortunately start too many sentences with it. Yeah. Yeah. Or end. And Tyra. Dude, Tyra is, uh... Tyra's deck is broken. They should have... They, they should fix her deck. I don't know why she has two arts cards. I think they're... They're stupid. All the it's... arts servants who greater arts looper. Yeah, I didn't do it on purpose. I just like their design. Yeah, to be fair, most uh, AOE art servants these days are loopers. Like, uh, basically every AOE art servant is a looper uh, these days. There's... Yeah, like like who can't loop? 
at this point, right? Like, there's so little. The, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I, I, I didn't think of. I didn't think it through before I asked that question. But like, <laughs> are you are you backtracking because of shooting? Is it, what's going on? Yeah, I am backtracking because of shooting. Yeah, oh. but like, uh, shit. Even she can. Like, she's. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, under certain circumstances, you can. Uh, I think. I think there's something you're able to do with, with Summer Chloe that can get her to Black Grail, if you're up against three oh, riders. Yeah, probably. But whatever. Yeah. Saber yeah, Nero. I, I like... Actually, Saber Nero is able to do it. I, I'm not sure if she can Black Grail, but, uh, but her. She has a lot of arts though. Yeah, she's. She can probably she has do shockingly it at high side, refund. Right? Scandar. She, she well, can probably do it at water side. Well, okay, so Buster's servants are different in that regard because the reason why they're able to loop isn't because they they refund, refund. Uh, like quicker Buster do, uh, quicker Arts do. It's because they can just spam charge. Uh, it, like the yeah. their NPs don't really offer any bonus for being that card type. Uh, that's the thing that sucks about Buster and Peace, because they don't make more stars, they don't make charge. Uh, but yeah. you can't brute force them into looping in the same way, basically. They reload Buster has nerd the, emoji. Buster has, bro. Buster has the one benefit of being very easy to explain in a video. Because you don't have to like consider all the situations ever with refund. You literally just have to see if the numbers work out, and if it works out, it works out. There's like, there, there's like no like even for characters like, like uh, Saber Alter, which is enemy count dependent. You can literally work out the exact numbers they're going to refund. You don't have to like. There's no overkill. Like, what if I overkill two hits versus one hits? What if I like low roll the damage? Suddenly it doesn't work. Like there's there's no bullshit like that, and it, it, that that's literally the only advantage of Buster Loopy. Also, you can double cast your skills. That's why Cuckoo's Wave Three damage is that good. But that's the problem. Buster peaks at Wave Three, which uh, with Oberon you already peak at Wave Three anyways. So unless the un unless the ninety plus plus node layout is two hundred k, two hundred k, and three million. Uh, Buster doesn't really have that much of an advantage. Yeah. Cadra yeah. with his math shot or adding up to 100 to explain Buster looping? I mean, that's just how you explain Buster looping, though. You just make 300. That's, that's just, it's a math problem. It's literally, like, you can literally put this in a math quiz. Like, how, how do you make 300 charge in total with these servants? Solve it. And if you solve it, you loop. That That's it. That's just how Buster works. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, uh, look, I mean, I, I already argued with him in chat when when he's on stream, like when he talks about like like it, it's a it's a healthy argument. It's, it's not a it's not, you, you know what I mean. It's like a it's like a discussion. It's not a it's, it's not a it's not it's not like toxic call out. Like we we go back and forth uh, when we're in like when I yeah. watch a stream, but like but like Catharoth when he. uh when he when he looks at o when when he looks at Okuni's refund, I'm just like, why do you look at Okuni's refund? Like, yeah. I, I, when I say refund, I mean refund, right? Like, like, like his her MP, MP refund. refund. Yeah. Like not not hard. Like yeah. like there's almost no point when you look at a, a quick single target refund, right? Like unless you're like unless you're Medusa Saber, where the the devs just like forgot and accidentally gave you double the hit count you're supposed to have, then yeah. But like, yeah. yeah, yeah, he. I feel like he might be uh, uh, an option for another guest. Uh, I don't, I don't know yeah. how down you'd be th for he's that. He's probably, he's probably one of the most chill. But he's really busy. Like he, he has like his entire week planned out usually. Oh yeah, um, I, I was about to say he, like, he, oh, he streams at the same the time normally. Well, not on Sundays, yeah. I think. <laughs> So. Yeah, he 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 plans out his entire week. Like he, cause cause I I don't know. I forgot. I think he says what he does. I forgot what he does in real life. Has, but like he uses a lot of. I like, think he's like an accountant or something. So he's got a yeah, he's he, got a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, he, he uses a lot of the quote-unquote skills he has, like, it, at work. So he's, like, super organized and stuff with his, like, stream schedule and stuff. So I, I, I don't I don't know if he will be available. Oh, he's an auditor. Oh, that's... Ooh. Yeah. But, like, yeah, like, he, he he's, like, one of the most organized... Uh, like, like whenever you look at his, his, uh, his, his reviews, it's kind of like a business presentation where he has the, he has a little like pointer and he like draws the numbers on screen beside yeah. the, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. I, I like that. I, I hope he, um, I guess he, he, he usually posts VODs. He doesn't hyper edit his video, but, but like if he ever edits his videos, I hope he, he does it in like a format where he is trying to be like a businessman. He's trying to sell you a character. You know what I mean? Like for example, his servant reviews. Like if he, if he does, I feel like that, that that will give him like a lot of character. It's, I don't know. I'm just I'm just tossing ideas around, anyways. Yeah, I uh, I I feel like I do a good job of selling characters whenever I do rarely make it, make reviews. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that's a problem Kijikoyo, with Kijikoyo because Kijikoyo is like the only one that I didn't actively recommend. Bruh. It feels bad. I, I honestly, I think that's a problem with YouTube. Like, I'm glad the Smobcast is popping up. I really hope like there's a huge like creator. How do I put this? Creator shakeup on FGO YouTube. I I, I really want to see like more different fgo reviewers yeah more variety like they, they, yeah like the, it seems like there's a dominant meta i guess it, this is the the fate of fgo like like right now a lot of the review channels are just double castoria plug over on you know you know what i mean like that yeah. that that's literally just the the format the format right now is just double castoria plug over on and uh it's it's just good enough um is this GNA dig? No, it's actually not a GNA dig because I think GNA does better reviews he, than most other reviews on the platform. Right he now. tries, but it it's very clear he still doesn't know what he's talking about most of the time. He, it's, okay. Yeah. I mean, I like his format. That's what I'm gonna say. Like, I I, I yeah. adopted his format. Like like people told me last time, like once sometimes, like oh, why do you sound like GNA? And I actually understand why they say that. It's not because I actually sound like GNA, but because the first kind of reviews I saw was his reviews. So I, I think, like, my format is very close to what he does. So, so by, by format, does that mean, like, the order of events you do? Like, and the yeah. order of things you yeah, process? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you... you I mean, that's just how the FGO wiki is laid out. So it's not like it's anything huh. too revolutionary, right? You know, you just read okay. the skills, you read the passive, yeah. Yeah. you read the MP, and then you talk about how you feel about the servant. Like, it, it, it's just... That's, like, a general. But, like, honestly, I've been sticking to this, like, kind of tired format. I, I don't... I'm too lazy to develop a, a different one to shake it up. Like, I might do it if uh, I have, like... I have more motivation to do it, but I don't know. Yeah, I feel. You know. Yeah, I, I, I keep sort of a format, but like when I, when I do my scripts, I sort of like try to. Hmm, uh, I don't try to stay that loyal to the format. I guess I don't know. I, mm -hmm. I, I want to, I want to make. Uh, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up one of my scripts just so I can like give like, myself a a good old memory jog on it. Get my here, here's the jogging. thing with formatting. Formatting <laughs> is just to make things easier for you. Like formatting is never to make like for the only reason you format something is because it's easier. It's literally easier because you don't have to write different like sections of your script it's just the same thing every time and it's like honestly as much as i criticize like i'm i'm basically a wiki wiki reader right yeah, but that's uh, that's I, I know it's that's, different that's but like basically i mean that's because like the wiki is a compilation of facts like uh i, I don't yeah, so yeah 
so wiki reading to me isn't quite like okay most of what you do is based on the wiki it, wiki reading is you don't record b-roll or anything it's just you literally reading off the wiki and you're not trying to true, formulate true. a formulate a, a good analytical analysis <laughs> uh, a true, good true, true. yeah yeah because yeah, okay so what i was what i was trying to say uh and i then i derped out and had no idea what to say so i when i make a script i don't like just like i i do want to have some sort of like objectiveness to it like you know how like uh you you'll want to take this level pitch and just talk uh about how things are and not try to like banter and just very official about it um but i want to make i don't just want to make an instructional video i want it to at least be entertaining uh, i want it to look good i want it to just flow mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. it, it's easy for something that uh has a consistent composition uh to flow in its own way and, but that's because you're you expect it to it's not because uh it it's yeah it's there's a lot i could say about this and i, I i'm not in a, I'm not able to formulate it well, I guess. Uh, but I, I, I know just, what you mean. Because, yeah. like, because, like, uh, I definitely feel, you, you know, like I don't always make hot take videos. Like, I, I, I mean, yeah. I, I name them hot takes as well. But like, I, I, I make like there's stuff that I make like, you know, like five things people, five misconceptions about Van Gogh or like, um, Obron versus Koyanskaya or why you should absolutely roll for Castoria or space ishtar versus summer comma right like for those videos i do have to spend generally i have to spend a lot more time like even though th the end result doesn't even seem like it's it's that format it's li literally just me rambling but i generally i generally have to find like spend a lot more time thinking about like what sections to put in where and i do believe that a format allows me to not do that <laughs> which is a lot easier yeah. like like technically, if I don't do any testing, I can whip up a hot take video the day servant drops, right? Like that's it's it's so yeah. easy. Like I don't I don't even need to write a script. Like I can literally just look at look at look at this look at the fucking look at the kit and then tell you how I feel about the kit. That's it. Like that that that's super. Easy. I I can I can do that in like for probably two hours, right? So like it's um yeah, it's I I, I really think formatting. Formatting helps uh, helps you push things out more efficiently without spending much time, but it also makes things very boring. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, I, I, I try to make it, f like, flow in a certain way, even if I do have a consistent format, because, like, I do have an order of doing things. I, I just try to make it make sense as I'm going from one thing to another. Uh so not everything i say is something that i always say in every single review uh like all oftentimes uh, in basically every single review i do uh, i will use that context as a a uh, a way to point out something that i feel like a lot of players need to know about like uh or just like some consistency that I've noticed. It's not just about teaching people about that one thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. there's other yeah. aspects to it which are uh, which are nuanced and like I just want. Yeah, I I want to tack other information on that makes sense to add. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like for example, so, uh, with my Ibuki review, I had. A section where I went into just like how crit comps are usually supposed to be designed and like how how you mm -hmm. how that is formulated and like what types of like there's different types of servants that you would use in a crit comp uh, just to make it work better and uh, you know what I'm gonna pull it up just so I can uh, so yeah, that's myself. actually the idea I'm going to steal today, but it might yeah. 
make me like stay up late tonight because I probably will include a bit talking about like crit resist because I definitely got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is what it is. I don't, thought twenty percent was low as fuck. Yeah, don't hurt yourself too much, man. Yeah. No, look here. Here's the thing, right? Because like every time I say I'm busy and like, but the thing is like, so, like I'm busy at work at school so i just want to sleep when i come home so it's not really that i'm busy that i don't have time to do it i'm just ugh. i'm just not a i'm just not a very efficient person you know like if, if i'm a very efficient person and, i probably would be able to man do you keep saying that around me and i feel like so inefficient uh like i am no, so but, lazy but... about shit and i'm like like you're out there I mean... doing work in college and uh, you feel like you're College lazy because is... you're doing because you're not making a lot of videos all the time. Like that's, like, I, mean, I, I think you might want to just take a second and sit back and like look at all of what you do and think like, am, am I, I really I mean, like, am I really underachieving here? Basically, I I know what you mean, but like college, at least what I do at college is not it's not that you know time it's it's not that crazy like i and yeah, i like, don't know the, much the, the thing it. i do at college, yeah i the, the thing i do at college is just like a lot of waiting a lot of like so like literally last week we just had like kind of normal schedule and i already kind of can't handle it um when do you also have midterm uh it's second year masters there's no midterms hmm. second year masters is like I'm just always in the lab and I'm trying to do my like master thesis and then I'm just trying to do like an experiment and get a thesis out. Um, I am more pressured recently because I'm looking forward to like I'm trying to apply for some stuff uh, right now. So it did get a little bit more busy, but yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I could be doing a lot more if I didn't like lay in bed fucking watching fucking watching analog horror and freaking my like freaking myself out at night <laughs> like not sleeping what do you watch most recently Dude, Greylock Greylock oh yeah I know that one's been making the rounds a lot uh, yeah it, it's the it, fucking scary yeah it's good uh, I just I don't know I I, I feel it's like scary. it's it's not that it's weak. It's just like you know, there's uh, there's it's a, a lot of generic. ground. Yeah, there's a lot of ground that it's treading that has already yeah. been tread. So it's just not as yeah, not as impressive. Like that's uh, that's like uh, uh, that's something that kills a lot of forms of horror. It's just no, but like, you if you know understand. what to expect. I, <laughs> no, but I have a I, oh, I also like Vita Carnus, but I think that's oh kinda yes. Cute. Is it weird to say that that this series kind of cute? Yeah, it, I mean, okay, yeah, I understand like the, what you mean, uh, dude. I like love one it. of them is not cute. Yeah, Vita like, Carnus is my favorite one because Vita Carnus, uh, it is. There's so much effort put into fleshing it out, and uh, like they they used practical effects. They've uh, yeah. they've thought out this world, and it's it's so good. Because uh, I like speculation biology. Like, I, 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 I think I got into, like, there was a series called All Tomorrows or something. Like, I, I, I really like speculative biology. I like, like, weird creature shit. So, like, if, if, if there's a, if, if there's, like, a series that is focused on, I mean, most of them are focused on creatures, but, like, Vita Carnus feels the most, like, like a biology class. Like, they're trying to teach you about, like, yeah. Like a bunch of shit and it's just fun but have you seen um, yeah I like... have you seen i think it's happy meat farms yes i yes that but one did I, it continue i'm not sure um just like it's fucking chicken put put together there's like 10 chickens melding into one chicken um they're one? like they're like doing experiments to make uh things uh, to make uh, grow more large meat, right? yeah meat yeah uh, mm -hmm. uh i i really like that one uh, uh it's not scary at all 
Uh, it's yeah. really silly, but like the the story it's telling, uh, it, it has its own style. It, like it's trying to do its thing. It knows that it can't really do it in a in a that interesting Curious of a way. Way. So instead, yeah. it's trying to make it cool and it, injecting this dumb humor every now and then. I, I don't. I love that because it. It's. I, I, it's. I think something... I got into it too early. Did it continue? I, I got know. into like years ago. Uh, I only I only saw it like older, a, right? like a week or so back because I was watching Windigoon oh. watch stuff. Oh. Yeah. I uh, might. I might recheck that because, like, I'm. I I think a lot of this stuff, like, like, why are channels like Windigoon blowing up? It's just like they they they're uploading very slow. Like you wait like weeks for like a ten minute video, so you just kind of want to wait for the whole thing and then somebody to sum it up for you. It's very lazy, but that's just kind of how I feel. Yeah. I yeah. mean, to be fair, his stuff isn't like ten minute videos. His his is like hours videos. Oh, but I it see. works I, for him because like he doesn't the, have to put. Like he doesn't have to do a lot of editing. I'm not. I don't mean to say he doesn't do a lot of effort because, uh, I mean, yeah. because like the 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 effort he puts in is on the front end rather on the than on the back end because like yeah he has uh, to read all that shit and put it together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He has to formulate like everything he's gonna say. He has to write all of that out. Uh, he has to do all the yeah, figuring stuff out. Those... It's just the part Dude, no on the back end isn't. Uh, as heavy and i'm glad that he doesn't put that much effort into yeah. it because that would uh that would mean he would never have any videos <laughs> basically yeah like i this is not meant to be an offense to the monument mythos guy but like i try to watch his stuff because he, he has new stuff so i try to watch his stuff because like i i, I watched his sub i watched windigoon summary on it and i try to watch his stuff like raw I didn't understand. <laughs> I don't understand what the fuck is happening. It's a very complicated one. It's very convoluted. Have you watched yeah, any so of Yeah, so like the... the amount of effort. But... Uh, have you watched any of the Gilbert Garfield one? No, I have not. I have watched... It's, uh... <laughs> it's very strange, but it is... It's kind of interesting, I guess. It's really weird. There's one I really like called... Um, what is it fucking called? Some national park. Um, it's like meat, meat. There's, national park. I don't. There's two different ones that are park ones. Uh, is it the one with it, the it, Wendigo? No, it it's okay, the it's one the where one. the it's the one where the cre Puppets? the park is inside of a creature. The park is, um. Okay, that's a National that's Park a different Park? one. Uh, that one yeah. is, oh, shit. What was, what is that one called? It's based off of uh, some other story. I want to say. Uh, uh, I see. No, 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 no. It it's a it's just called something National Park, right? It, it it's like the it, it's not even a analog horror. It it's just like a series. It's like a speculative biology series where um, mystery flesh where the pit. Oh yeah, mystery. Yeah, mystery flesh pit national park. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that one. Where, where, where? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah where, where you're inside of a giant like dragon thing, and then he they they built a whole like like yeah. That like, that uh, one's pretty interesting. Park inside of the yeah, it's a cool idea. I right? like. I'm not into vor, but damn, that's cool. I right? like like and and the idea of like you know like Man, um I... like the little immune systems inside of the inside like it it but it's like enlarged it's like a not, like like you can physically see them as like sort of wildlife but they're actually just like germs i don't know it's cool why were we talking about this you're talking about how you like the idea of being inside a dragon oh true yeah i mean who doesn't i mean <laughs> <laughs> all right mr jurassic uh yeah yeah. Um. Oh. Uh, yeah. Monument Mythos. I mean, then we just no. Okay. Never mind. I. I was like, we talked about Monument Mythos last week, but we didn't actually do that. I just said, I just said, um, a Galatea reminded me of the Freedom Faller. That was. That's literally uh, what I said. Yeah. yeah. That's just. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, I don't know how I waste time. Yeah. 
I, I just lied there watching this like fucking two, three hour compilation videos and I scared the shit out of myself because I have a closet that looks exactly like the one where where like the, the mimic pops out of it, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. It's not even that scary. I don't know why. The mimic is probably one of the least scary. Like, it's not a supernatural. It's just like a creature that looks like a guy. Well, like, yeah, that's probably the thing. As it's uncanny. As so. Yeah. It's also like, honestly, it's like, probably it's also the most threatening thing uh, uh, that Vita Carnus has. Because like, like for example, harvesters or whatever the. Is it harvesters? I don't remember oh, what it's called. Yeah, uh, it's a harvester. All the, all it the, the ones one after the kid. Yeah, those are dangerous, but, like, if you don't go out of your way, like, if you just go to work and then you, you go home, city you, yeah, you don't have to worry about it. But if you, yeah, it's just but like mimics plant. will hunt you down even in your safe places. <laughs> and that's what's scary. Mm. And you can't fight back. True. <laughs> You're just screwed. I, I did hear some criticism about it where it's like, oh my god, there's so many, like, it's just this thing pretends to be a person like this like literally among us is half of these uh <laughs> half of these plot points but i mean it's i i like it because it's just like a small part of it you know it's just one a, a, one of the links of the uh entire chain of creatures man wow okay um <laughs> there's one that i picked up recently because i was watching windigoon uh, um, he watched Woodlands National Park. That's not the one that I was thinking of, though. There's another one that is based in a in a park area, yeah, no which I, I I like that one so much more because like Woodlands, it feels kind. Of, do you know which one Woodlands is? I know, but the acting is a little bit cheesy. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And it, the act, I don't know. It, it's it, just... it's like two college kids trying to make a short film. I mean, it's probably what it is. Like, yeah, I like mean, obviously, no offense. I I'm not yeah. gonna pretend I can do anything close to that. But like, you know, bro, I would love to make and, like a tier list of these things. <laughs> yeah. I okay. Here's the one of their monsters is just bullshit, right? Like, 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 like. I, I when I was watching it, I wasn't scared. I was just like, this is. This is kind of cheating. It's like a 45 feet, feet invisible giant. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to beat that? And you can't even see. It's a 45. Is, isn't yeah. that what it is? It's a 45 feet yeah. invisible. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to beat? That's like, that's broken. Like, I, I just think of like a, like an unfair video game boss. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to beat it? Like, it, it it's, it's, just, it's bullshit. I I'm sorry. It's, a, it's, they nerf, nerf him. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's uh, which a, one you're gonna bring up? Ah, uh, there's another one. Stop. Um, God, what is it? Right, let me let me look it up on YouTube. Uh, Sling and a rock. Oh, dude, I I was I got so into like uh, analog horror. I wanted to do something for Halloween, but I was like the most busy I've ever been during that week and i was so sad i was gonna do a parody because like yeah like 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 think about this like concept of how terrifying like a plot point i'm describing to you right so it's an alien meteorite okay i mean you know it's gonna be koyan sky but like dude, it's like an alien meteorite that landed like in Russia and there's like no witnesses and there's this fucking alien creature that comes from it and it pretends to be a per it like it has all the tropes uh, of uh, like a pretender uh, no okay i'm going to kill my okay <laughs> look they, they, like they ha it has all the the common tropes of uh, an analog horror it's like it's cosmic it's from space it's body horror it's uh it's like it pretends to be a person. It tries to blend into society. That's terrifying. Yeah. Like why? Like people are not scared of coins. She's terrifying, bro. She's like a cosmic horror that tries to blend in with society, and she succeeded. She's like, it, doesn't she have a lot of money or something? I don't know. So I found yeah. the one that I was uh, I was mentioning. It's White Stag Education. It's a uh, 
it's I feel like it's a lot better of a take on the whole like uh, being educational about uh, like the the this being a park ranger in this whatever place uh, and it's it's higher effort for sure like uh, and there's obviously more production behind it uh, but I feel I like the lore is a little bit more interesting also there's this it? uh, uh, it's, it's white stag white, something? white stag, white stag education uh white stag education all right so y'all know if i if i don't make the hot take tonight uh it's his fault <laughs> <laughs> hey at least you'll be I'm happy go not on. doing it uh <laughs> the most recent episode uh has like this this fat guy in it that who is absolutely based and he's learning how to be a park ranger and he can and will kill a bitch <laughs> bruh he's <laughs> great it's actually not that long, uh, like, it's, well, you could get through it all in, like, 30 minutes, like, oh, 45 wow, right. minutes, because there's only five episodes, I don't right know. Now. I also freak myself out over it. I don't know why I'm, I'm still, like, freaked out by it. I guess that means they did a good job, but not really, I don't know. Yeah. It's kind of, it's, I don't know, it's, I'm, I guess I'm just scared of this genre. What's this? Uh, did, uh, you Olga Marie. You Olga Marie's not that scary. You know what's scary though? That scene where Oberon's like frozen on the floor and he's eaten by bugs. Like yeah, that, that shit's pretty that disgusting, is, right? Yeah, that is nasty. I remember. That uh, I remember that people were sharing that. Uh, didn't that? Wasn't that? Uh, it wasn't that put in the game files like before, like on anniversary six probably yeah because Pro like they, yeah because yeah, people, they, people data mine over on basically yeah they mixed it around in like the the cgs for for part three of lost belt six were put yeah. into the game files before yeah, it was yeah, supposed yeah. to be released uh so there were like a bunch of uh yeah there were a bunch of images yeah and they such. fucked it up and yeah. run this post okay never mind. <laughs> yeah and then and that, that that probably helped them a little bit with Oberon because like people were already kind of into Oberon but then hype. his final ascension where he's it he's an edgy built boy a shit ton of hype. Yeah, yeah it definitely that, built a lot of hype yeah <laughs> like yeah, I, really as much as i criticize this this is like it, yeah it oh my god can can send this can pull that up on stream Dude, nobody's gonna complain about Lost Boys six spoilers at this point. Are you right? talking Please about the, the 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 one yeah, where he's getting bug. bugs? I don't really. Yeah, look at, yeah. I don't really want to see that, um, honestly. Oh, look at Jesus fucking Christ! Look at that. I mean, I mean, it's not as bad as his broccoli hair in summer, but you know, it's it's almost as bad. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. It's just a it's... disgusting. It's it's such a horror, like you know, like horror trope where it's just bugs crawling out. Like nobody likes bugs crawling out of your eyes. Yeah, wow, those are. That's a phrase to say. <laughs> uh. Kiara. I also thought about a Kiara, like a cult, but like it's it's too horny. Like people are too horny for them to be scared. Like like if you tell them, oh my god, if you fuck Kiara. You're gonna get. You're gonna join a cult, and then somebody's gonna kill you. Uh, I feel like most people don't care. Bro. Pe 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 people are too horny to be scared of a sex cult. That's why it works. And you telling me that you and and all of your furry uh, horny for Jurassic glory, <laughs> you aren't you aren't into the yeah, idea of being tossed like around by a giant Wendigo. No, <laughs> it lo it lost its fur. I'm joking. I no, mean, don't 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 clip that. Don't fucking clip. Do you know what Mallow is? I mean, no. Uh, it's like this SCP that uh, uh, it's supposed to be like this digital Wendigo that follows everyone around, but uh, people people ended up latching on to it because it's like oh it's like a yandere girlfriend oh but, um, but yeah it's it's furry yeah. i mean wendigo the wendigo has a very cool design 
right? Like it's a it's a it's like a deer skull. Yeah. On a on a, like it's a cool design. Like it's a it's a cool creature. Like if 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 they made a servant design like that, I'd probably roll. Like if uh if, if have uh oh you yeah. you don't play Ark Knight. I know you don't play Ark Knights, but yeah. like Wendigos are like a race in Ark Knights and there was like a boss uh which he he was like the hardest boss in part one or something <laughs> patriot i mean people in chat probably knows like patriot like he's fucking cool because he, he he's just like a giant beefy windigo who has a spear that one shots you and he like tanks everything and stuff like what windigos are like like the creature design is cool like i i don't know mm. but it is kind of scary I but it's not uncanny. I'm like more scared of like uncanny stuff. Ancient than, Magus like, Bride. Could... Yeah, the yeah, the guy in that is kind of Windigo y. I'm not sure if he actually is a Windigo. I never watched the the whole anime. I started that was like one of the first ones that I picked up and I, I never finished it. Like uh, I got like four or five episodes in and I was like, oh this is artsy and it's kinda cool. Oh, thanks. Yeah, like the window from Sub Alex. He's a very cool character. Is the creature? Yeah. Yeah. I, I I went on vacation uh, after watching a little bit of it, and when I came back, I had no desire to continue it, so I never did. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah cool 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 creature i i think like cool creature i stopped getting scared of them because they're cool like i'm more scared of like like people looking things that are not like just uncanny yeah like uncanny yeah like, Un like uncanny scares me more yeah uncanny scares me more like like honestly if, if you made like ascension 3 bob into a like a real life like a really it's pretty scary it's like a it's like yeah. a fucking half dead vampire with his arms rotting off trying to kill everyone, right? But it's... like it, but it's cool. Is it cool? <laughs> I, I think it's cool. I, I think that's a I mean, viewer. Uh but yeah, that's I mean, it's uh... body horror. Um, body horror is uh, honestly that's like one of my favorite types of horror because it actually can kind of get to me. Like uh I I don't know. There's not a lot of things that just like outright scare me beyond like ooh, suspense jump scare. Uh, but like on a conceptual uh, level, like there's all sorts of there's all sorts of things that uh, that body horror is able to do that are just very interesting. Yeah, I mean somebody said uh, Beast 4L is body horror, I guess, because <laughs> he has like a she has like a foot hang out of her ass. <laughs> you know, that's a is really. That cool? That's a really she has like, brief way of putting it that doesn't really do it justice. <laughs> it just sounds she has funny. Ten breasts. Yeah, she has ten breasts. She has a bunch of legs. She has so many legs on her, her leg. <laughs> what is this? But that's the... Okay. So, uh, the thing about that, though, is, like, I can't really relate to that, you know? I, don't, I can't imprint any part of myself onto it because, like, it's not... Yeah. Like, that doesn't even look human. Yeah. Uh, now, if we were now part of body horror is uh, it isn't just like the the end product. It's the what happens in between because like if oh, you're, how she transforms into that. Yeah, like if if we were to follow someone's uh, transformation into something like that, that would be uh, more oh, disturbing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they should have animated that. Uh, Beast 4L and the hey, thing. This is an horror. Thing. Game, well, though. no. Well, no. She can't turn into anything. She, she, she just. Also, also, the thing cannot make your buff land only fifty percent of the time. Yeah, I and it can't cut that. your batteries in half. Oh, actually, it, God, actually, it probably could. If, uh, now that I'm phrasing it that way. <laughs> it's, uh. Does the fly? Oh yeah, that's disgusting. I mean, it's it's probably too old these days in terms of practice. I mean, it's still disgusting. I haven't watched the fly. I actually haven't watched that many horror movies in, just in general. Have you watched the the one that got turned into a walrus? 
What? There's a guy who got turned into a walrus. In a movie? Yeah. Like he like <laughs> he skinned him and then used his skin and put him back in but he's a walrus. What is this <laughs> called? Tusk. Tusk. Plushy that sounds no. familiar. It's, fine. it's just he, look, he looks kind of funny in it, but it's kind of like the concept is scary, but he looks oh, kind of funny in bro, it. Bro, I've seen the I've seen the cover art before. The, you've you've seen the creature, yeah. I mean, like it's just the skin walrus, dude. Bro, what was the end? bro? It's based on a story of... from this guy's podcast called the Smodcast. Bro, it's what? literally us. No, wait, wait, what? Wait, really? I didn't watch the whole movie. Yeah, I know the ending because they throw him in a zoo. That's fucked up. That he, like he's still in there, and they threw him into a zoo. Why? They they said it's more humane because he already got used to living at that. I call bullshit on that, bro. <laughs> Like I eat fish. I'm not a walrus. Wait, is it really a? Is is it really from Smobcast? Smod. Am, am, like, am, am I getting turned into a walrus? Yeah, like yeah. basically, what happened was they was that they have a podcast, and then the guy was like, "We need to talk about some crazy shit every week." I am week. the Eggman. And then we are the Eggman. You are a walrus. And then. And then they ran out of ideas, and so they he he tries to get like some spicy news and shit or something. I don't know. He they claim he's mentally a walrus. Yeah, I agree. They should throw all the furries into a fucking zoo. Yeah. Not me though. I'm not a furry. <laughs> Look, I'm uh, not what, a furry. They, all right. What are they called? Is it otherkin? Is that? What is uh, that? Um. Shit, is it okay to make fun of this group of people? I hate asking that! <laughs> he now identifies as a walrus. I mean, that's basically what it is. He sexually identifies as a walrus, so he sends him to a fucking zoo. Uh, other can- or people that identify as creatures or something. I don't know. Uh, that's just I'm, skinwalkers, bro. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna delve into that because I think that might. What? That's. That might no, be. No, that's called skin. That's called skin flat. walkers. No, They're no, it's like walkers? IRL people. Oh. Yeah, it, it's also not Bruh, flat earthers. Good, it's a, flat earthers is. I, I'm not gonna delve into that because that that that's goes good. into yeah, gender I was like, stuff. I think you're talking about skin walkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's another kind. Other kin. Yeah. Let's let's not go into that. I mean, people that are like actually no wait, skinwalkers are like animals that are actually they're monsters that are uh, pretending to animals. be either animals or people or people. Yeah. So it's just like Among Us. All right, congratulations, half of the horror in this. It's just Among Us. Like among how how us. how to unscare yourself? It's just all fucking Among Us. Congratulate. Like I mean, skinwalkers are just Among Us, but. You can disguise as an animal. Wouldn't that be actually? Wouldn't that be more interesting if Among Us had animals and you could disguise as an animal? I don't know, plushie. No, I I don't know. No, fuck, <laughs> this is no, a strange fuck, question. Look, I didn't even I didn't even mean that. Okay, no, what I mean is like, I didn't even like, mean that. Fuck, what do you mean? Okay. What do you mean? What do you, you mean? I, I wasn't even Pretty going there. I made Among Us a Pokemon. Oh, you mean Among Us? <laughs> Do you mean Among Us or Ditto? Among Us. Among Us. I, I, I have a purple Among Us in Pokemon that I named uh, Locusta because it's a mushroom. Yeah, didn't, you, didn't you name that matcha thing uh, Riku? Riku, yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize for my sins. I'm, I'm not the... I've never been a tea person myself, so I, I can't really judge. What is a chupacabra? A chupacabra? Yeah, I see a lot of uh, usernames with it. Um, not sure where exactly. It's something like either American or Central American. Uh, oh, it's just some kind of goat eater. 
It's just a dog. I looked. It's just a dog with no hair, which actually exists. It's called. It's like a Chinese breed of dog that just has no hair. It's not a skin disease. They just have no hair. They look ugly as fuck, but they're still cute because they're dogs. Oh, in South America. Wow. I. I I cast a wide net and I still missed the <laughs> the correct America. The wolf rat thing that eats cattle in South America is that a uh that's goat a goat sucker. Ugh. That's just a that's just a hyena. Okay, well this one looks a little bit scarier. This one looks like Kamazots. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm never gonna pull him now. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it just looks like a hyena coyote thing. I guess Bigfoot is just like a fucking monkey. Or a very hairy dude. Yeah, it's just it's just a big guy. Uh. Did you name your Brixton Koyanskaya? No, I named my Alolan Ninetales Koyanskaya. Man. Alright. Brixton's so... more of a Tamamoaria. Is the same color palette, it's like yellow. Mothman? So, oh my god. So, Rio <laughs> is a Lolicon. You're a furry. Uh, Klidge is very into Monster Girls. What do what do people Who think I am Monster into? <laughs> what do people think Monster I'm into? Girl. Everybody's into Monster Girls. You're into Ibuki. I mean, oh, yeah, but. But I gotta have my own distinct thing, you know? Uh, I, I don't know. You're into Wario? <laughs> okay, not Bruh. that distinctive a thing. <laughs> is that a big bruh? Miss is into feet. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. Why did that remind me of an episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog where you turn into a feet? Unisexual? Well, well, I mean, I, I don't care that much for Ibaraki. Like, I mean, there's the other ones, but... You turn into a foot. Turn into a foot? There's a, there's a, there's a Courage the Cowardly Dog episode where Eustace turned into a foot. Bro. I don't know why they remember I'm sorry. It's just, he, he turned into a foot. <laughs> That's very strange. Uh... Yeah, it's yeah, real. It, it's, <laughs> I, I don't doubt it. I, I've watched a decent amount of Courage the Cowardly Dog, and I know they went into some the very strange fantasy? concepts. Bro, bro, you you show a foot fetishes that episode, they would never be into feet ever again. That's that's literally the cure to fucking foot fetishes. I, I think they should just guys, round up like 50 of guys, them and play that it, in a fucking cinema. Send it to Mist. And, like and, honestly, and like they should, they should just round up dude, fifty people, fifty people, no, no, like. Dude, uh, we invite him on the podcast. We don't say anything I'm about sure. it ahead of time, but we we tell him that this is an intervention, episode. and then we play, <laughs> then we make Show him watch the that. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Yeah, but that that dude, that you could never be into feet after looking at that. It's... <laughs> Bao? Bao isn't even into feet. She's into shoes. All right, like yeah, those are the, very different. The Bavanshi ba is is a uh, is a fae in Celtic folklore who collects human heels because she doesn't have a heel. They're supposed to have hooves, and they wear green. Bob is like the most inaccurate fairy out of all three of them. Like, her design is like, she even references it. I'm pretty sure one of her ascension is like, I know I'm supposed to wear green, but that thing, that, that, that's too, that's too formal for me. So I don't wear green. Like, yeah. yeah so like the Bavanshi is like a, the type of fairy that they're all afraid of steel because they're fairies. Um, if you play Pokemon, you know, <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and, and then she, she wears green and she has hooves, and she lures men into the forest and kill them and drink their blood. And if and if a woman gets caught by a Bavanshi, 
they bite them and they turn into a copy of that. Jeez. So like, so technically, in British forests, there is a one bob, and then there there's like a random woman who wanders into the forest, and then she bites her, and now there's two bobs, and then you just get a full army of bobs in the forest. Oh, jeez. The more women, she, the, she she just turns the like. Look at the smob photo in the background. Like it's it's like an infection. You just got a f full forest of them. Yeah, I mean, so so it's all the women become smob and all the men yeah. become bloodless. Yeah, all the men die and all the women become smob. That's but amazing. Then what? <laughs> What's it? What do I they do? I don't. I don't know what their end goal is, but that's just what happens. Uh, that's so funny. They became I, an invasive species. Yeah, I. I think they were like cautionary tales to tell men to not cheat. Cause like, they they like find lonely men. Yeah, that, that's why that's ah, why yes. she's an FJR guys. Ah yes. Uh the, she, the... she looks for lonely men. The, that's why the number one, one most party. likely group of people to cheat on people. People who have no <laughs> significant others. Well, okay, no, not lonely <laughs> men, sorry. Men that like went out and then they feel lonely because they haven't seen their wives for a long time. And then they're like, Oh my god, a smob. That's pretty that's pretty hot. And then they kill them. <laughs> but 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 they're scared of horses because horse hooves are iron. So you just hide under a horse. And then they go away. It's a very strange solution. Yeah. That's a that's a I don't yeah, I mean none of that translates to FGL, but there you go. Well, well, guys, you heard it here. Uh, if if she scares you, uh, if she's if you're trying to roll her, and you can't roll her, uh, that means throw every iron, uh, not iron, steel object in your possession. Throw it all out the window or put it in a lake. Uh, then she'll come by. Yeah, she'll she'll come back. Yeah, there you go. It's a reverse catalyst. Yeah, but how does she collect people's heels if she turns other people into smobs? That, that doesn't mean, actually make insulin? sense. Hold on. That doesn't make sense. If she's collecting the women's heels, that means she cuts them off. But how does she Inhibitor. turn them into herself if she cuts them off? I don't know what's happening. Yeah, dude. Ironically, she wears like so much fucking like iron armor <laughs> minecraft no i mean like her armor design has a lot of like spiky steel stuff it seems she does seem like a, a spiky steel type person yeah she she, she has no lore but does does the bar guest have more lore I, I i think the bar guest is just a bad omen like if you if you see a bar guest walking around something bad's gonna happen that's it i'm pretty sure that's the whole thing that's... like is there even lore for bar guest the melusine has the most lore but melusine doesn't even fucking look like melusine she's just albion yeah it's just a demon dog and it's like a bad omen damn well, I'm not British, so I don't know about a lot of this. I guess it's something to be proud yeah. of. <laughs> I retweeted a picture of Bargess shaking off water after a shower like she's a dog. Like is why. is that is that like a safe for work thing or It is like... safe for work. It's safe for work. It's supposed to be like cute. Oh. <laughs> huh. Uh, okay, so did they actually oh. retcon her having pointy ears? I remember hearing something about that. I don't know. I don't know. Also, nobody got my joke yesterday with like the pit bull named Cupcake. I'm sad. Uh, man, don't worry. I would have gotten the joke if I saw it. 
Nobody it's got my joke. I was like, I was like, far guess skill buff should be that she taunts child trait enemies, and then like when she kills them, she heals for five thousand apiece. Jeez. Ah, yeah. If she got a niche, <laughs> it, she just gets a a power mod versus uh versus child trait enemies. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. Is a mistake of the artist. Damn, really? It's kind of interesting if she had pointy ears. Man. It's not an EDP joke. It's a pit bull eating children joke. <laughs> it's better that... It's better. I mean, EDP, Is it better? UDK... What's the difference? Uh, EDP, I guess. Uh, UDK, 445. <laughs> no, please don't. Please don't. No. And Cupcakes as well. Oh my god. No. The, okay. I, I'm done. <laughs> Gotta make that account to bait some more adonis. No. Literal child predator, though. Oh, jeez. Uh, this is going in a very strange direction. destroyer of kids. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, no. No. Unilaterally devouring kids. <laughs> Please stop. Oh my god. It's so sad. She was. That's literally her biggest fucking PTSD, but it's so funny. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, I'm I so feel proud so bad of for I'm so proud of that thumbnail I made for that. That, that clip with uh, Rio. Hold on, I'm gonna pull it up. Uh, I think I still have it here somewhere. Uh, also, also, it sucks that I'm in. Uh, I'm not in Taiwan anymore. Uh, usually, I would be able to purchase Japanese items, but now I can't do it easy, easily anymore. Uh, and... I I saw them just released uh, a bean set for for uh, Lost Belt Six, and I really wanted to buy it, but uh, the there's a bean plushie. A set bean for LB stick. Yeah, like I, I collect those. Uh like the bean plushie FGO character. Like, yeah. But I don't know how I can buy them. I have a Kiara one, she looks like an eraser. Man, why do they make it so hard to order shit across seas? Like, do they not want money? Yeah. <laughs> like Yeah, I mean it's it's a lot of like exclusive shit. Cause like, there. Oh man, it exclusive it sells so of, easily of external markets. That's what it is. It, it's no. Th there's like, um, if you go to like a physical store to pick it up, you get like an extra bonus. I see. Overseas shipping. Yeah. I want to ask Rio. Because <laughs> Rio people buys call that, uh, shipping fees. <laughs> Yeah, cause cause Rio buys um, buy stuff overseas. I wanna ask him how he does it. Does he use Buy Yi? God, do you know Buy Yi wanted to sh fucking sponsor me? But at that point, I I was already in the United States. That right. that was probably going to be my biggest sponsor ever. Buy Yi is a big company. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> it, it's basically you can order like you order stuff, they buy it for you in Japan. Oh, so a middleman. The detail was probably sponsored by Bai, right? I, I I'm guessing he got sponsored by Bai, um, but uh, because like he because we probably get similar sponsors uh, offers, so I I got I got offered. I don't even know if I can find a single fucking sponsor. Like it, the point when I go back to, uh, like the point when I go back to monetizing because like i close it off for so long i don't i don't think anyone's gonna want to like sponsor me anymore but uh, uh yeah i i don't think that would i i don't know why that would affect them uh because like because uh, like regardless Blacklist? you're still making a bunch of content and it's still getting clicks so uh, that's what really matters I to them. Uh, i mean they're sending me a lot of like i still get it even though i closed off my uh email 
uh, on my own channel. Like I usually, I used to have my email up for in inquiries, but I, but I pulled it because I can't take sponsors now. But uh, I, I still get emails now and then, usually from like Chinese websites. So I'm not. So who yeah. do you who do you think is gonna be the first people offering to sponsor the Smobcast? If anyone ever does. Oh, true. Because podcasts um, get sponsors pretty commonly. And it's pretty often. Uh, L LD player. LD player? Uh, yeah, LD player. Yeah, LD well, player's not bad. Uh, <laughs> I hear a lot of people use LD player. It's not bad. Yeah, right? I, I'm sure they do. It's just like, I got, uh... I'm, I'm on blue sex. I guess that's a good reason to change. Yeah. Great Shadow I, 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 I don't know think... how good it is, but like... I don't think Ray Shadow I, I, Legends would want to pay an FGO podcast to. Yeah, raid. Like, it's the, like I mean, the only <laughs> the only FGO guy who ever got a raid sponsor, I'm pretty sure, was missed. I don't think anyone else was big enough for raid, which is saying something. Like FGO community is so small. Like raid was lit raid is literally known for like sponsoring whatever the fuck but like i'm pretty sure the only didn't ray okay razor's not even an fgo player anymore yeah he's huge now <laughs> yeah he's huge now because he quit fgo and he plays fucking genshin back in, i don't know i don't know if he did back in the day mm. mist actually played raid after his wait for real <laughs> i know I, I know he has a series called like I forgot what it's called, but like he has a series where he like reviews shitty gacha games he quit. Well, he, I don't think he can make one on raid though, because he got sponsored. Yeah, I'd imagine a little bit of that money would prevent a person from wanting to do that. Like, okay. hey, I mean, hey, I mean, yeah. Ray can, I, mean, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, Ray can pay me to not shit talk them. All right, I'm I'm not on above a side, that. <laughs> What do you guys think of a big collab stream for New Year's? Well, who though? I mean, for New Year's, the, the, the thing is most people have plans. Like, I, I'll probably be on stream reacting to the New Year stream with you. Like, if I don't have anything yeah. better to do. But, yeah. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, it just depends on, like, who we can get in on it. Because, like, I mean, I'm sure we could get uh, Rio into it if he's not too busy. Um... Dude, what the fuck? It, look at this. What is this fucking look, look? Look at this sponsorship prompt I got. Uh, to the, to the anime girl, humanoid cat girl, super cool RPG sniffing cat. What the fuck is this? What? It's in Chinese. English. So I'm trying to. Oh, oh, no one. Okay. <laughs> It's targeted at me because it's furry? No, it's- shut the fuck up. Alright, no. Uh, 10 minute gameplay video. Well, he didn't even link me the- the furry game. <laughs> you didn't even give me a chance to try, bro. I might like it, idiot. Man, surely they'll- surely the- and people will offer a sponsorship towards a 3k sub channel. Yeah. This fucking sniffing cats, bro. I don't even. Cats is not even. Actually, no. I mean, I think cats are cute, but I've never kept a cat. I'm probably more like a dog person. I like dogs. I miss my dog, bro. Oh. Yeah. I mean, they're not dead, but I just can't see them because I'm not. I didn't bring her here. All the furry talk now is coming back to bite me. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not. Oh shit! It's almost nine. Yeah, this. My bad. No hard feelings. This isn't because of political reasons. I just don't want random, fucking people coming in and making po political shit. Not Wait, saying what, what happened. Someone, someone said something in chat. It's probably oh, a spam bot. Oh yeah. yeah and. I don't want to fucking deal with that, <laughs> sir. This is a Wendy's. <laughs> I don't. Why, why? Why would? Why would we talk about political stuff, bro? Yeah. No, they probably. Uh -huh. it, it. It. It was probably just some account that wanted to. It was just spamming that 
in a bunch of different places. Just probably just trying I mean, to hey. get reactions out of people, but like whatever. Hey, the fact that we got targeted by a spam bot means we're pretty big. Except for back in the day, like on YouTube, where somehow there was isn't there bots on YouTube that specifically target small creators? Like, what's uh, the fucking point of that? Um, well, some of those are like viewbot channels, uh, viewbot uh, uh, services. Uh, what is it called? Uh, this this it's something ism. Uh, I've had it happen to me like on two different occasions that uh, they will a, a random account will post a just a single word which is the name of the service and they put it in like a special font uh, just to just to avoid any filter and, uh, oh. and I've had it happen twice and like if you look it up you'll find the a viewbot service like I I'm, see like I mean I'd love to have more viewers but I'm not that desperate damn there's hundreds well, of bots in every comment of yeah yeah criticals had a uh, Charlie's had a huge bot problem for a long time that's been going on for years Bruh. Okay, there's like this like some of them are they don't even like try to get anything out of people it's just they're trying to annoy people like there was this one that uh that was very aggressive for a while where it it, it was right after jack septica's dad died and it would just go around spamming jack septica's dad is in hell now lamau what like, the fuck that's ho what the fuck bro yeah it, it's just like why even like, it, it, they're just trying to what, get a what? reaction out of people dude it's I, I swear to god, people making yeah. fun of, like, the kind of stuff. It's just horrible. Yeah, people... People obsess a bit much with, uh... With celebrities, you know? Yeah. You know, parasocial, uh, relationships. Unfortunately, none of... No one in my chat has a parasocial relationship with me. They all love me, and I love them. Wow. Sarcasm. <laughs> I, I I love you guys, but no, <laughs> but and, and, yeah, we're we're yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just, uh, yeah. Now now, Plushy and I, we don't have a parasocial relationship. It no, is, it is we're uh, not going we're, there. we're bros. Yeah. Okay. We're bros. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta with, with, gotta yeah. specify that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going there. All right. Someone make well, a fan cam. <laughs> I forgot I had to make dinner. That's that's a good idea. If you need to go do that, then it's fine. We can just end because we've been going for like four and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, I apologize, but like I, it's I, fine. I, I'm gonna see if I can order anything. If I can't, I, I'm gonna be forced to like cook at nine. Let him cook. Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna continue cooking after stream. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, well, yeah. go cook something nice. Uh, but yeah, I guess this is gonna be it for this episode, everyone. Thank you for being here. Thank you, uh, Thank you for coming. Uh, yeah, and uh, go sub to uh, Klidge. He, uh, I'll link mm -hmm. in the, the description of this video. Uh, uh, I'll link his Twitch channel and his YouTube channel, so go there. He's got cool stuff. He wasn't here for most of the stream, but like... The time he was here was great, and I have to reply to a message yeah. on Discord because he he said thanks and like uh, uh yeah, I just haven't had time to reply. But yeah, that's it from us guys, and good night. Good night. Bye. <laughs>